Tinga donga bingo bonga, it's time for chapter one and seeing who dies in this game. Woo! Oh, trust me, I am not the ultimate clairvoyant, fam. That ain't me, that ain't me. Uh, Jada, thank you so much for the 100 bits. I appreciate it. How is everyone doing today? Hi! I'm excited to play more. Pray for ultimate depression. Thank you for the 100 bits. I am more excited for this game. Sorry to adjust my light. I'm more excited for this game because so far, I like all of the characters except two, which is pretty. That's a lot better than the first game already. <laughs> I like all of the characters except for two. Uh, so I'm, I'm excited because it'll be a journey with these students. Oh wait, but that also means it also sucks because that means if I like the characters, then that, that means I wouldn't want them to die at the same time. Wait, I, I kind of didn't think that through because they're going to die. Oops. <laughs> I'm a failure. I didn't. I didn't think that through. So it's gonna. It's gonna be. Um, <clears throat> yep. Oops. Two. Uh. The. I don't remember their names. Obviously the chef, and then the 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 the, the, the other the one girl, the dancer girl. She's. She's a little bitch. Um. Uber Skippy, thank you for the 18 months. I appreciate it. Stop bullying me to watch this game. Too bad. What are you gonna do about it, Hope? You gonna leave? I'll just drag your ass back in here. <laughs> Somehow. I have that power. <clears throat> yeah. Indeed. I don't have any theories, guys. I don't have any. I said I was gonna think about it, and I didn't. I fucking lied. Ugh. I don't trust the pink hope uh, rabbit thing, bear thing. I mean, I have some theories, but like the, it's it's too early in the yeah, game and they sound really months. stupid. So like sometimes I don't always say all of my theories because th then when they're not like fleshed out fully, it just kind of um it comes across as stupid. Like I want I, I like to think about my theories more. Although I did spit out the the first theory I had was that we are in a video game. Wait, but maybe if we're in a video game, does that mean nobody dies? If you die in, maybe if you die in the video game, you die in real life. I don't know. <laughs> Just like the way that we got here is a little bit weird. Cause like uh, we were in a locked classroom and then the classroom just kind of like burst open and then we were like suddenly at a beach. I don't know. We're in a video game! Come on. I mean, there has to be some sort of like video gamery happening. <laughs> Why else would they put the ultimate gamer in this game? All right, there's a reason for that. There's a plot reason why the ultimate gamer is in this game because she's gonna be the first person to realize that we are actually in a fucking video game. Just say it. She's gonna realize it. She's here for a reason. That's right. I will, okay. <laughs> it makes sense. Uh, totally. Um, how did we get in a video game? Uh, I don't know. I'm the ultimate gamer. No, I am the ultimate bullshit theorist. Can that be my title? Ultimate bullshit theorist. I'm, I'm very good at that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I don't know what to think about the pink rabbit bear thing. Monomi, other than like having the best music ever. Um, I don't know, like I never, it seems weird because like the game makes you feel like at the beginning that you can trust her. Everything is happy, but I don't know. It's weird because maybe the, the fight that Monomi and Monokuma are having are like a staged thing. Maybe they actually do get along and they're working together. I don't know. Could be staged. I don't know if they're actually working together. 
because what if this game is all about despair then what hurts more than giving you hope if you if you're giving people more hope that things will be okay then that means whenever things go down yeah. south there's more despair yeah, because there is no despair things. without hope so the the pink rabbit gives the hope so that the despair moments are more mm, ouch you know what i mean so that's what i think i think they're actually working together also thank you you guys for complimenting my top <laughs> I went on a little mini shopping spree, so you're gonna get a lot of new outfits soon. Um, if you wanna, I have, I'm, I'm wearing new pants right now. Uh, if you wanna see the magic of these pants I bought. They're not like the most stylish. They are stylish, I think. But I bought them more for the, uh, uh, what's the word? Convertibility? Convertibility? So my pants can be short. <laughs> so uh, whenever I dance, I can wear these in the studio at the beginning, like to warm up, and then I can like take off the bottom parts so they turn into shorts. So uh, maybe I turn up the lighting a little bit so you can see. But so like they're not bad looking. They're pretty. They're pretty stylish actually. The like uh, the gray, the gray with the black. It's actually not bad. But um, like here, there's there's a zipper underneath of this gray so you can just make these into so uh yeah zipper on the inside and then it's like whoa these can be shorts and it's like cool so i bought them more because i like that <laughs> but they are kind of like they're kind of stylish kind of kind of kind of stylish oops i didn't mean to do that i just wanted to lower the lighting a little bit <clears throat> but yeah they're pretty cool they're pretty cool I'm the ultimate pants hunter. Look, I figured <laughs> I, I wear the same, like in the winter time, I wear the same three sweatpants over and over again. And I kind of got to a point where I got real tired of it, okay? <laughs> um, so I, I was like, you know what? This year I'm gonna fix that. So I, I hunted down some like joggings or like, I don't, I don't want to wear leggings all the time, so I was looking for like joggers to wear this year. So I bought like four new pairs of pants, and I showed you guys the last pair of pants last week. And this is my, this is my new pair of pants. Another one that I bought that I'm wearing. <laughs> I got good character design. Thanks, I try. But yeah, I do like the pants, and I like that I can separate them into shorts very easily. That's pretty nifty, especially for my dancing rehearsal days. So. That is why primarily I bought them. The other pair of pants that I bought that I'll probably show another time next week on stream, uh, they also are convertible in a different way, but uh, I find those more stylish than these ones. But yeah, I'll, I'll make sure to share my, my drip journey with you all. <laughs> this is still all Korean fashion. I, I, I've been, I've been so into Korean fashion lately. I think this is from... I have to remember, I bought from a couple stores. I think this one is from Fashion Chingu. If, here, I'll put it in the chat for anybody that wants to. So, uh, okay, Fashion Chingu, I think that's what it's called. I think that's where I got the pants. And I think that's where I got the shirt, I don't know. But yeah, that's the website for those that want to surf. Korean fashion. <clears throat> You will wear many, many pairs of identical sweatpants forever. See, I would do that, but like, uh, as I as I grow as a content creator, I'm also getting, I don't know, I feel, I don't feel pressure, I shouldn't say that. I don't feel pressure at all and when it comes to fashion. But I get more and more compliments about my outfits and I feel like I gotta deliver, you know? <laughs> so I'm like, all right, time to, time to one-up my fashion and my wardrobe a little bit. So I've been working on it a little bit. Uh... I, uh, I gotta, I gotta keep impressing, okay? <laughs> I, w I eventually do want to have my own fashion line. I know I've said that multiple times. So I'm kind of like messing around with a lot of different styles lately to try to like mix and match and see what I want to create. Um, because I, ha I do have a lot of ideas, but yeah, I, uh, I'm trying to build inspiration through my wardrobe eventually. Hmm. Yeah, um... But yeah, 
another thing no one's gonna care about, but I'm just really excited about it because, uh, <laughs> bear with me. I'm just excited because I finally, finally, yesterday, started making a new cosplay. And that doesn't, uh, I don't count the cosplays that I do for my dancing videos, not like all the persona shit, but like a, a cosplay, because I haven't made something from scratch in a really long time. <laughs> So I'm really excited. Oh my god, don't even. Joel, thank you so much for the two month resub. I appreciate it. So I on my table I've been like I have a bunch of patterns splayed out. Cause I just I made so many patterns yesterday. But it feels nice. I'm making um do I mmm I, I can say it. I'm making the Final Fantasy XIV uh, level 89 dancer job gear. Because I made the level 80 job gear, and now I want to make the level 89. So I started making that cosplay yesterday. Yay, Mina! Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you for gifting a sub to Alan. I appreciate it. <laughs> oh my god. Wait. You both gift gifted a sub to him at the same time. Wait, I hope one of you gets refunded. Has that ever happened? Oh, gee. <laughs> That's awkward. But anyway, so yeah, I'm really excited to actually be making cosplays again. I have, like, uh, three regular cosplays lined up on top of, like, fashion-y things outside of cosplay. Because I want to make cosplays, but I also want to make, like, my own outfits. So I have a, I have a plethora of things that I'm making, but finally getting there after all this time. This whole month I've been struggling with motivation outside of like my normal editing for videos. So it was nice that yesterday I finally got like the kick in the butt to make cosplays again. So yeah, there should be a lot more coming in the next months because they take a long time to make, but it's nice that I started the process at least. <clears throat> I'll check my bank. Yeah, I hope so. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe that happened. <laughs> I know, yeah, a lot of people, I know that's a common thing to struggle with motivation in the winter. It is, it is a struggle. I mean, for those of you that don't know, most YouTubers take a, take January off of making like big videos because there's not a lot of ad money in January. All the advertisers spend their money on ads in like, you know, the holiday season. So usually January is such a dead month for YouTubers. Like even a super successful video will not make a, you a lot of money because the ads just aren't there to give you the money. So January is usually the month where everyone just takes a break. But I guess that kind of worked out for me because yeah, I just like have not been motivated this whole month. It's been, it's been a struggle, but yeah, I finally got, got, got that kick in the butt. So I'm good, I'm good, I'm back, woo! <laughs> I'm finally back. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, just keep an update on that, hope. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah! Wait, uh... 17th month of Boggy Boggy. Okay. Um... Sorry, I'm, like, looking at five things. Uh, Alexander, thank you so much for the seven-month resub. I appreciate it. Yeah, I hope that works out for you, fam. Also, welcome to the stream for any of you that are new to the stream. Hi. Welcome. I hope you enjoy your stay. <laughs> that being said, let's play some Danganpupa! Because, yeah, I want to hear that Monami music. Ha ha ha! I need to jam to that shit again. I totally forgot what we were going to do. Um... I think we were- we had to go in for a meeting. Oh, right, it's morning! And I forget everybody's names. So there's that. All right, let's leave and we'll just walk there. <sighs> All right, time to remember these characters. Oh God. Oh yeah, the bad camera. Oh! Hi, Nagito! You're the cool guy. <sighs> Not everyone is as strong as Byakuya. I've never thought about having to overcome anything before. It's not like I just run away from my problems, but it's 
more like uh, it's more like I was just living my life without even thinking about them at all. Even so, I was still able to live. But this is different. Sorry. Uh, sorry, I was being too negative. No, I understand. I'm the same as well. What? But now that we've talked, I feel assured once again. Being loners won't get us anywhere. That's why I think we should all help each other out. Also, I think we need to get stronger. An ordeal like this is what'll make us cling to hope. Eh, yeah, you're probably right. Bye now. I'll be heading to the restaurant now. Bye, Nagito. Oh, 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 oh. I don't have like a solid theory. I just have like a thought that um he's bad. Uh, okay, so like, let me explain. I, I was watching through my VOD. Uh, uh, um, I was watching through my own VOD ye uh, yesterday, two days ago, sometime this week. And uh, I got super sus, man. So hold on, let me let me explain. I'm gonna, give me, give me a minute. Uh, because, oh God, I, I don't like hearing myself. Shut up, Crystal. <laughs> I looked through my VOD and I was watching like the introduction to the students. And uh, not gonna lie, I was kind of terrified of Nagito. Hold on. In the initial picture... Okay, here we are, here we are. Um... Display... Okay, so yeah, I was watching... I was watching my own stream. This is Old Crystal. And I'm like looking at like the array of characters. Why does Nagito look so evil? Like in the background, why? Look at that. He looks so evil! Like, look at that face! The hair is even, like, more edgy. I'm looking at that like, bruh! You, why do you look so evil? He, like, looking like a... Ah! You know? That's not like a... That's not like a chill stance. He'd be looking like... He'd be looking like an evil little gremlin. I don't know, man. I don't trust it. I don't trust it anymore. I looked back at that and I was like, holy shit, you look so sus. All right, that's it. That's my theory, okay? I, I I don't know if I can trust him just based on that picture alone. All right? <laughs> Already paranoid of your bros not cool, Crystal. <laughs> Look, it's valid. He looks extremely like creepy. He has this like scowl on his face and his hair is even more spiky than normal. It has like, it has its own mood. And then like his hunched over, he's just like <laughs> So I think he's sus now, just on that. All right. I'm not a bully. Uh, hello. I'm not, I'm not a bully. <sighs> Good morning. <laughs> What is it? I just said good morning. Why is she so shocked? <laughs> My first time greeting someone and I was actually greeted back. I'm so happy. Not a bully. Oh my god. Uh, could you do it one more time? Uh, hello. Good morning. Uh, good morning. <laughs> what kind of life has she had? Also, can we also take a note? She's supposed to be the ultimate nurse and she's just like covered in bandages. She can nurse everybody but herself to health. That's, that's my, that's what I think about that. Jeez. <sighs> Jeez, I am so sleepy. Mr. Ham Hands is so selfish. It's totally fine to spend the morning sleeping in, but if we need to eat breakfast anyway, what's wrong with eating it together? Aww. Well, I like to spend my breakfast eating sweets in my room. That's already fine. Um. Eating sweets for breakfast is bad for your health. You are consuming too many sugars and fats. Hey. Who made you my doctor? Don't speak to me without my permission. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> Jeez, listening to this ugly bitch's crying face in the morning makes me so sick. Hayako, you definitely have the ultimate bad attitude. <laughs> hey. Good morning, Hajime. Uh, yeah, good morning. Aww. Jeez, what's with that sullen face? Hmm. Well, I guess I'm not one to talk. I couldn't really sleep last night. I had a lot on my mind, and I don't know if I'll ever get the answers I'm looking for. Aww. 
Man, just for kicks, I should prepare some yummy desserts and tea and invite some people to come chat with me. Got it? And just so you know, it's gonna be girls only gathering. Don't expect the boys to be invited. Sounds like an excuse for some girl talk. What do girls even talk about? I guess guys will never know. No, you guys will never know. Hmm. <laughs> ah, but I don't know how to make desserts. Is there like a recipe book around here? Recipes, huh? That reminds me, I have this magazine with me that has an article in it about beginner d dessert recipes. Huh? Eh, really? Hey, hey! Hey, can you show it to me? I'll invite you if you do. What should I do? Show it to her? Uh, I'll be invited. Oh, God. I'll be invited to an all-girls gathering. Uh... I have to. I have to. Thank you. Awesome! I'm saved! Mm. I guess I should change my evaluation of you a little. From unreliable Hajime to sometimes helpful Hajime. I'm not really thrilled about that. Hey! <laughs> then come to the restaurant after breakfast, okay? She, she sure likes to boss guys around. Oh boy. I don't know what I did just now, but I think I'm, uh, I think I should be scared. So I'm gonna be scared about it. Oh, my two favorite girls. Oh, <gasps> look, it's two, the two waifus in the same room. Oh my God, which one do I talk to first? Oh, I love them both. Oh shit, fuck. Ah, uh, Chiaki. <laughs> hey. Good morning. What was that pause for? Well? I'm in the middle of doing combo strings. I couldn't really reply. Doing what? Hmm. I guess it's almost time. I'll go to the restaurant then. Did I interrupt something that she was doing? She was gaming! Don't interrupt a gamer. Meow! <laughs> <laughs> what? I thought of a greeting for when we all eat breakfast together. It's a revolutionary new phrase that combines good morning and nom 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 at the same time. <laughs> this is definitely the new hip thing to say. In fact, I'll make sure it's the new hip thing to say. Meow. Good nom nom nomming. <laughs> so I'm gonna go tell everyone. Even if she makes it popular, it'd still be limited to this island. Good nom nom knowing everybody. Several people were already at the restaurant. Uh, Neko. I have to remember these names. Neko. Uh oh, what happened here? Nobody was talking. Not a single word. Uh, while they sat there, the people who were late began to arrive as well. I've made you wait. Is everyone here? Huh? Huh? It seems Fuyuhiko is not here yet. <laughs> Maybe he already got killed. <laughs> Dead bodies already? No. Don't go killing people off. I saw him outside earlier. However, he told me that he would not be joining us this morning. Hm. Why did he have to act like that a lone wolf at a time like this? Maybe. Goody, uh, is he thinking of a plan to kill someone by himself? You must not. Kazuichi, you should not doubt your friend. Hey, hey, hey! He's a Yakuza, isn't he? Do you understand what that means? He's part of the Japanese Mafia! Hmm. Wow. Can't believe you would just judge, like, judge a person like that. Clearly has not played the Yakuza games. <laughs> I presume he's the kind of person who would not come even if we summoned him. That's fine. I guess it can't be helped. We should just talk amongst ourselves. Someone can fill him in later. Talk? What are we gonna talk about? Rejoice. Rejoice! I have decided to throw a party tonight. When did Byakia become a partier? Jeez, who the fuck are you? A party? That's right. A huge party that will last from sundown to sunrise. What the? Party until the sun comes up. This is Just so we're clear, I will not allow any absences. Your attendance at this party is absolutely mandatory. Huh? Hey, now's not the time to talk about stuff like partying. Hm. On the contrary, there's no better time than this. Hmm. But still, we should really shouldn't be partying. Wait! Uh, hold on. I agree with Byakuya. It doesn't do us any good to stay bummed out like this. Hey. In fact, because of the situation we're in, it's probably best if we all strengthen our friendships with one another. <laughs> That's what you thought too, right? That's why you want to throw a party. Hmm. It doesn't matter why I'm doing it. 
Anyway, it is of vital importance that we all stay in one place tonight. See? You say that with such significance. It's all clear now. It's decided. We're having ourselves a party. But even so, I'm not sure it needs to last all night. Stop talking. If I thought that, I would have made that clear from the beginning. I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry for trying to meddle with your plan. I see. It's important to be flexible in situations like this. Perhaps a diversion from all of this is just what we need. Yahoo! And then let's party hard. And in that case, um, okay, uh, I don't mm -hmm. care about you. Where is the party going to be held? Would this restaurant be okay? Hmm. No, this won't do. We need a location that's impervious to interference from outsiders. A place even Monokuma cannot enter. What we need is an enclosed space. Um, an enclosed space? How if the restaurant won't do, then neither will the lobby. That's not nearly enclosed enough. Um, Nor will the cottages. With so many people, we would all be pressed up against each other. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't stop. There's something wrong with you. I can't believe how comfortable you are with saying your perverted thoughts out loud. <laughs> <laughs> hey. How about that old looking building near this hotel? Huh? That rundown place? You're right. Yeah, but if we do our best to clean it, I think it'd be perfect. Plus, it's basically the only place that meets our needs for an enclosed space, right? However. Indeed. However, Monami has forbidden us from entering that old place. As I recall, it's in the middle of being renovated. Oh! <laughs> surveillance cameras. Are they from Monokuma's eyes only? <laughs> Hello! She looks so disappointed! Yeah, it is of no concern. We can settle that issue another time. Listen. Regarding the old building, you came to tell us everything about it, right? <laughs> yes, if it straightens everyone's, everyone's bonds with each other, then I will not hesitate to cooperate. I shall allow it. <laughs> that jumping around was too much, man. I will allow you to enter the old building. I'll cooperate so we can all party together. <laughs> together? That's not gonna happen because you're so disgusting. Understand? So yourself, do yourself a favor and stay away from mirrors. You'll be grossed out by what you see. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Your kind words make me want to cry. Uh -oh. um... Great! You made the music go away, you bitch. So we're all good with the old building? And? Then what about the preparations? If it's in the middle of a renovation, don't we need to clean up first? Wow! I've never done the dirty work known as cleaning before. I am excited to finally experience it. Hey, hey, hey! No way! There's no way we can dirty our dear princess's hands! Aww, yeah, I don't want to do it either. Sheesh! Nobody's gonna do it? Hey. In that case, why don't we decide by a random drawing? Actually... To be honest, I already prepared a drawing because I assumed something like this would happen. To go to the trouble of preparing this, just what did you think would happen? See? Whoever draws the chopstick with the red mark on it will be in charge of cleaning, okay? Does that sound fair? Judgment! Well then, let us entrust our destinies to the whims of this drawing! All right. No hard feelings. One by one, everybody took turns pu pulling the chopsticks Nagito held in his hands. And when it was all said and done... What? I'm left with the red mark? <laughs> For someone called the ultimate lucky student, you don't seem very lucky right now. Wow. I guess it can't be helped. All right. If it's just cleaning, leave it to me. I'm actually pretty good at it. <laughs> I thought so. You seem like you'd make a good stay-at-home dad. I'll take that as a compliment. Okay. I'll handle the cooking. There's no cool. mistaking it. Then... I just need to pass along the party details to Fuyuhiko. 
Let's go about our business then. After Monokuma's nightly announcement, we'll make it, we'll meet at the old building. After everyone left, I decided to go back to the cottage. <clears throat> My hero did tell me to go to the restaurant. If I show up late, I'm pretty sure that she'll just yell at me, so I better get there soon. Looks like nobody's here yet. Am I too early? here. Um, I heard this was a group of girls only. My hero asked me to bring her to the de bring her the dessert recipe. Hmm. Oh, that's why. You're then you're a special participant. Like Oh, why is Monami here too? Um Chiaki invited me. Yep. Yep, that's right. I invited her. Aww. Why? The snacks will taste gross if that thing hangs around. What? Shook sure. just from being here? But all the girls are making desserts, right? Oh, that's right. Monami is sort of a girl, too. Um, even though it's a stuffed animal? Aww. Oh, well. At this point, it'd be mean to kick her out. Plus, I've already made an exception for Hajime to be here anyway. She's putting Monami and me on the same level. <laughs> all right. All right, let's start. Yahoo! I'm gonna kick it into overdrive! No. I don't believe you need to be so energetic when it comes to cooking. Oh god. Wait! Uh, Ibuki? Did you make that out of dough? Wait. She made herself. Wait, did you like sculpt that? Oh my god. That can't be real. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? That cannot be real! <laughs> uh... Mika, be sure to watch your fingers. You can be clumsy sometimes. I'll, I'll do, do my, my best. best. I'll, I'll try to live up to your expectations so you don't hate me. No, I mean, I'm just saying lighten up a bit. My femininity is hella fun. Is this sort of activity? It's not so bad once in a while. Aww. <laughs> it's not bad, but ideally it'd be more bowl shaped. What? Ibuki, what is that? What are you making? For many years now, Ibuki has always dreamed of making a cookie statue of her boobs. Oh. Your boss. <laughs> Booba statue. <laughs> Throw that dream away right now. I don't even want to look at it. <laughs> Hajime doesn't want to look at boobs confirmed. Uh, Akane is just mindlessly eating all the desserts being made. It's better if I just keep my mouth shut. I want to try eating it. That, uh, you mean the one on this page? Yeah. Damn right! That looks totally delicious! Hey, hey! It looks like a simple recipe, so we should all try to make that too! Hey, hey, at this rate, won't it take all day just for the prep work? We are making so much shit. 
After taking part in this mysterious female ritual, I went back to my cottage for the time being, mostly because after I helped with the prep work, they kicked me out. I know it was girls only, but to think that they even let Monami stay, uh, it makes me want to cry. Alrighty. Free time! You know where we're going. Chonky boy, where are you at? In your room? All right, I'm coming to stalk you. Whoa. How come you get all the books? Oh my god, fucking nerd. I'm seeing if there's a thingy in here. Nope, okay, we can only just look at, okay. Listen. What's the point of searching for what this means? We should be searching for a way to safely escape this place with everyone. Alrighty. Hang out. Let's hang out, buddy. I will continue to search for clues, but I won't stop you from following me. <laughs> Same as usual. Alrighty. Now we have to give him a present, which means we should give him my man's nuts. Too bad we can't actually do that. All right, so what would Mr. Biakia like? Oh, maybe glasses. Do you want a new pair of glasses? Maybe. Blend with reality. They also have a function that lets you shoot your passion with a laser. What? Know what to give him. Lust Setsugeka. Just make him, just get him a drink. I really want to give him the man's nut, man. But I'm not allowed. All right, well, we'll go all the way to the top and try the laser butt glasses. I want you to give me a better That's item. Fine. If you desperately did your best to choose this for me, I guess I must accept it. The chicken in my hands is far tastier than the beef inside the freezer. What? Huh? It's a German proverb. What? It means something inferior, th inferior that's nearby is better than something good that's far away. Hmm. Well, why would a chicken be inferior to beef? Aren't there times when you'd obviously want to eat fried chicken instead of steak? That's true, but like, what are we even talking about? I mean, is that even a real German proverb? What are you thinking? And furthermore, why is pork not even mentioned in this comparison? If, if, is pig meat unattractive to Germans? Why? No, that's impossible. When you think of Germany, you think of sausage. And if you think of sausage, you're thinking of pig meat. But that's... What does this mean? What is this conspiracy? What in the world is he so worked up about? Uh, Hajime, do you know which meat is the most efficient source of energy? Listen. Which meat contains the most vitamin B1 for converting glucose to energy? Biakia is so serious, it's scaring me. Uh, chicken. I see. It's a splendid exceptional meat that's low in calories and lowers your cholesterol. He's really absorbed into talking about it now, but it looks like that was wrong. Okay. Uh, well then, beef. It's certainly possible. It has plenty of fat and iron. This supreme meat contains essential amino acids. He's really absorbed into talking about it. All right. That was a, I was hoping that would be a more fun response, but I thought it wasn't. <laughs> Correct. The same amount of pork has 10 times the energy efficiency of other Listen. meats. Do you understand? 10 times. I get it already. What's your point anyway? Such There's only one thing I want to say to you. 
Hajime, become my assistant. Oh boy. Huh? Listen. The situation surrounding us and this island is even more complicated than I had thought. Even if it's just a commoner's assistance, it's better than having nobody at all. But I don't even remember that much about myself. We don't even know if I have a talent that would be useful to you, you know? Memory. Who cares about that? Huh? So in Even other if you words... don't have your memories, you're still you, right? You are able to live your own life. That is already enough. Uh, are you, all you have to do is be yourself. As you stand before me, I will believe in your potential. Byakia! Also, what use is the past? I too was powerless in the past, but I'm different now. Throw away your past self. It's meaningless. Powerless? What's he talking about? Was Byakia really powerless in the past? Hmm. Anyway, think about my offer. More importantly, Hajime, Listen. do you like chicken or beef? I still ended up discussing meat with Byakia until I had heartburn. Months. Anyway, uh, what happened to Byakia in the past? Hey. He was a little bitch, as usual. I'm his assistant now. That's pretty cool. Got assistant status. I parted ways with Byakia and decided to return to my cottage. All right, more free time. You know where we're going. I got a flip flop. Am I missing something? Where is Nagi though? Hello. Chicken is way better, by the way. If you really wanted to get into food talks. All right, Nagito, it was nice knowing you. I was gonna hang out with you. Maybe, okay, maybe I should hang out with one of the girls. Uh, Chiaki or Ibuki? Let's go with... Chiaki or Ibuki? <laughs> Sorry, bods. Uh, Ibuki. Ibuki time. Now, you guys all want Chiaki? Well, too bad. Ibuki. Oh, she's next to Gotcha. Even better. Did I even get any coins since last time? I don't think we got anything. Nope. Well, that's disappointing. Bullying chat, not cool. <laughs> get out of here. Get out of here! Wait, that's the ocean. I don't care about the ocean. I want to talk to the second best girl. Aww. I'm worried. If we don't get out of here soon, I won't be able to see my f favorite artist concert. Dude, mood, dude, mood. <laughs> and Ibuki will expose Hajime to her recommended artists. <laughs> All right, time to give her a gift. Definitely. Look at her, she's so cute. Um, I know I have a couple of like musical things. I forget though. Toy camera, power gauntlet. Was this? That's the Yakuza film. Oh yeah, Desperation. This is like a song thing. Sure. I don't know, she might not actually like it, but whatever. Hearts are connected as one! <laughs> awesome! I was just thinking I wanted this right now. Hajime! Yes, yes! What? Meow. Jeez, hurry! Hurry up and choose for me! Um, what? Hey, hey! Were you ever in any school clubs? School clubs, huh? I can't say for sure because of what happened to other, our memories, but I probably wasn't in any. <laughs> That's a major bingo! What is? <sighs> Well, isn't it obvious? You should be part of Ibuki's music club from now on! 
For a while, everyone thought music clubs were outdated because the rock and roll boom was dying off. That's totally but it. now, music clubs are super popular with boys for some reason. We should jump on the bandwagon too. But I'm not really into music. <laughs> no problem. You can just pretend you're playing an instrument while a music track plays in the background. That's not something that ultimate musician should say. <laughs> but even if I'm pretending, uh, I've never even held a musical instrument. <laughs> Everyone starts at that point. <laughs> starts at that point. As long as you feel the love, there's no problem. What do I have to do if I don't really feel the love? Aww. It's okay. Jamming out is so much fun. You'll be po so popular with the ladies. Chicks go out with guys who pretend to be musicians all the time. Hajime! By the way, Ibuki thinks guys who don't like bands are narcissists, so she doesn't like them. That isn't something the ultimate musician should say either. Meow. Yep, yep. Now choose the musical instrument you want to see. Guitar! Ibuki has dibs on the guitar, so you can't use that. Looks like I've been roped into her scheme. I guess I really do have to choose something. Um, I feel like, um, you know, let's go with the bass, the under, the underlying. I'll use the bass. Aww. Nope, denied. What? Aww. You might stand out too much and steal Buki's spotlight. You're supposed to be the main event, you know. She's supposed to be the main event, you know. What a selfish reason. The reason. Okay, she's the main event. These all make... <laughs> Are you serious? You can play the keyboard? Oh, what a surprise! What? No, I've never even touched one. <laughs> it's easy to tell if you're faking at playing the keyboard, so that's a no-go! What's next? <laughs> I guess the drums? Good job! That's awesome! All right, it's decided. Drums are great, because you can just hit them to the beat and you don't even need to know how to read music! <laughs> As long as you can move your arms and legs independently of each other, even a novice can play them real easy. Every drummer in the world would hate you for saying that. I see. I now see. that we've decided on an instrument, <sighs> let's start with learning how to use a loudspeaker. Oh, hold on a sec. Why would you need a loudspeaker? Huh? What are you saying? It's a must-have for them. For, a must-have item for live performances. <laughs> it doesn't mean you just hold it and scream into it. If you don't put your soul into it, the loudspeaker won't respond to you. <laughs> Get a hand, put your soul into it! Shout! Shout! I was forced to do some weird training that didn't make any sense to me at all. I didn't really understand Ibuki to begin with, but with this, I don't understand her even more. <laughs> but we still love her. I need that chaotic energy in my life, man. I parted ways with Ibuki and went back to my room, feeling exhausted. Binga donga binga bongo. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Oh boy, an announcement. It is now 10. Please return to your now bin. Sweet dreams, everyone. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. Good night, he says. Whatever. I have a party to attend. All right, time to go to the old building by the hotel. Party time! Everybody better be there. <gasps> hey, Boogie! Oh my my! Are you also here for the party? Why else would I be here anyway? What are you doing at a place like this? <laughs> I'm doing a little exercise so I can enjoy all the yummy food we're gonna eat. I'm excited to eat Terra Terra's cooking! Yeah, especially since he's the ultimate cook. Yeah, no. I don't care. It's really hard to walk. I let Fuyuhiko know about the party, but he didn't look too pleased about it. You tried, Petko. You tried, you tried. <laughs> it's about time for the party. I'm really excited. I'll do my best to not be in the way, so it's fine if I stay here, right? Are you really worrying about something like that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay.
This is the old building. Compared to the hotel, it definitely looks worse further away. You're here. Now then, stand up straight and raise your arms. Why do I have to do that? Hmm. I need to do a body check. Oh, okay. A body check! Since I'm the one hosting the party, it's necessary for me to take all possibly possible security measures. I already promised that I would not allow even one person to become a victim. Uh, I get it, and so I reluctantly raised my arms and stood up straight. Biakia went ahead and thoroughly searched me, starting with my legs and working his way up. I see. It appears you haven't brought anything dangerous. What are you kidding? I have like two knives on my being, by the way. Of course I haven't. That's fine. Very well, I shall allow you to enter. It was at that moment that I noticed a strange item near where Biakia was standing. Metal cases? What? A derulumen, actually. I found them at the supermarket. This one is used to store any dangerous items I find during body checks. The other one is for... Well, let's just say it's for emer emergencies only. What do you mean emergencies? Stop talking. Don't worry about it. The others are already here, gathered at the dining hall in the back. Go there and wait. As soon as he said that, Byakia turned his back to me. I guess that's the end of our talk, but he's so cautious. I didn't expect him to perform a body check. And what did he mean by emergencies only? Well, emergencies only. I mean, it's kind of what it sounds like. Oh, that picture is broken. The slow turnaround. Oh, I love it. What is... Oh. The fire extinguisher is, like, open. This whole place is gonna burn down. It's all made of wood. Oh, the bathrooms! Let's go to the office. Oh, this office looks like shit. Oh, the bear. Is this the dust the staff use for busy work? It looks like it's dusty. It's better if I don't touch it. More importantly, I should hurry over to the dining room. No. Uh, I've been found. Yay. to go through your house at during a party get out of here i do not this is the remote control for the air conditioner i wonder if the filter is clean well more importantly i should go to the dining hall no circuit breaker why is it all the way up there has anyone how's anyone supposed to reach it more importantly i should go to the dining hall oh my god yeah how are you supposed to reach it there's not even a chair in here You can't even jump and make that. All right, I have to go to the bathroom beforehand. Unisex, I don't need to go there now. I should hurry over to the dining hall. Hey, it's Neko. Close, close, what the hell? There's a tantalizing aroma wafting from the kitchen. However, Byakia will yell at me if I don't go straight to the dining hall. You should have her head over there as well. I mean, I'm just, uh, you know, why are those bolted up? Close. Why is everything so weird? Whoa. Equipment list. This is a kitchen's equipment list that details where each item is supposed to go. More importantly, I need to go to the dining hall. Oh my god! Holy fucking dishes. This meat on the bone looks like something a caveman would eat. Where do you even get something like this? I'm hungry, I should go to the dining hall. Blah, 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 blah. Look at all those knives. It's a knife set. Never knew there were so many different types of knives. I don't even know anything about knives, but Terry Pierre probably knows what each knife is used for. <sighs> K. Cole, but we're never talking to him. Oh! I see. 
see, I see. Hold on. So this is what the meat inside looks like. There are so many caps in the wooden floor. Is that because it's so old? All right. I must tread carefully so my feet do not stumble. My adventurous heart is pounding with excitement. I guess when you're a princess, even little things seem exciting. What the fuck? What the fuck is this room? What are, are these are irons? Why do you have three irons? Were they used to prepare the tablecloth? If so, why do you need three? I should head over to the dining hall. Seriously, though. That's a jumbled mass of stuff all stacked together. It doesn't look very organized. I should head over to the dining hall. That scarf looks like that uh, Gundam guy. That's what he wears or something. Sacks of clean tablecloths. It looks like they haven't been used yet. I should head over. Let me explore. A laundry hamper. I'm not heading over to the dining hall. Okay, now I'm heading over to the dining hall. Holy food. Hajime, how did you like it? What do you mean? See, I decorated the whole dining hall for the party. I even laid out the carpet. Oh, that's why I couldn't hang out with you tonight. Really? Even the carpet? Yep. Yep, I brought it from the supermarket. That place sure does seem to have a everything. I actually wanted to cover the whole floor, but I guess the carpet wasn't big enough. There was a lot of dust and cobwebs all over the place, too. It took me all day to clean the dining hall just because of that. There's no way I could handle being stuck cleaning the whole day. You're commendable, Nagito. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. Hmm. This old place sure is a rundown. I feel, I feel bad Nagito went to all the trouble cleaning it. Even cleaning has its limit, limits. Yeah, why didn't we have like two people work together to make, to do the cleaning? I don't understand why one person had to do it and not two. Like, cleaning is always better whenever you have a buddy. Who thought of that? Nagito, why didn't you choose to have a person clean with you? Maybe the wood shrank because of de because of deterioration? Doesn't don't these openings seem dangerous to you? You're right. Aww. Well, the carpet is spread out enough to cover most of the floor, so I guess it won't be that big of a hey. deal. But it might be best to tell Nikon to be careful. Yeah, she is the type to trip over nothing. She tripped one time. If he finds out we're having a party, there's no way that he'll leave us alone. So... We gotta do something about it. You're right, we should do something. Super difficult. I wonder if someone can do something about it. I wonder. Hmm. I wonder. So we're on the same page then. I'm not sure I understand. <laughs> Whoa! That creepy Biakia rubbed his ham hands all over me and called it a body check. More like sexual harassment. That's not what it is. He did the same thing to guys too. <laughs> so I feel like he was getting frisky while he was frisking me. <laughs> I'm pretty in demand, you know. Uh, you're just kidding. Oh, Akane. Uh, hey, what's up? She's dr <laughs> Holy shit, girl. It's pointless. She's completely focused on the food. Mood. Ah, man, that was so uncomfortable. Getting groped so thoroughly by a man? That was my worst nightmare. Oh, you mean the body check. How annoying. He got super pissed and started yelling at me whenever he noticed I had a wrench with me. Seriously, how freaking annoying! It's your fault for having a wrench in the first place. Man. I just happened to find it at the airport. Carrying it around uh, calms me down. But Biakia put it all put in put it in that Duralumen case. Aw oh, man. Sorry, buddy. I need more Gundam in my life. You 
good instincts. Even though that man is a lonely worm, it appears that his cooking skills are most impressive indeed. Nevertheless, even his food cannot stand against the gourmet cuisine of the multiverse. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> Even though he took me the entire day just to clean this hall, I'm glad everyone's so happy. Aw, that's wholesome. Table. Such a big table, will the dishes be placed here too? All the food is making me hungry. Same, and I literally just ate. It's nice that there's an air conditioner, but the filter might need to be cleaned before we turn it on. Nice chandelier, actually. Iron plate. Iron plates? That reminds me. I saw some similar looking iron plates in the hallway, too, but are there. Why are there iron plates bolted onto the walls? All is not what it appears to be. <laughs> eh? Stay back. One of my four devas, Supernova Silver Fox, Sandy, has seen what lies shrouded amidst the darkness. Though that iron plate appears to be bolted to the wall, it's actually bolted over what's known as a window. A window? Let me tell There are no windows this. in this dining hall at all. I assume that those iron plates are covering them. But why are iron plates covering the windows? The night is my Sandy, is it appears that your fur is rustling more than usual today. Hey, why are iron plates covering the windows? Let's make history. Such a fine day, countless lives grasp their first breath, and countless more go the way of all flesh. I guess he doesn't know. Well, this building is in the middle of a renovation, so I guess that might have something to do with it, but this place sure has a creepy atmosphere because of that. Suddenly, we heard the voice of the ultimate affluent progenist ring throughout the dining hall. I've made you wait. Thank you for waiting. Hmm. Teru's in the kitchen and it appears Vihiko did not come. I apologize. I did inform him about the party, but... Jeez. Ugh, it's not like you need to apologize, Paco. It's his fault for not coming. I explicitly... Oh. I explicitly stated that attendance was mandatory, but... It's fine. If not, it's just... If just one person is absent, that shouldn't pose a problem. He won't be able to do anything. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by that? What? More importantly... Come hmm? on. Hey, what is that? An intense expression spread across Viakio's face as he looked at the table with various food dishes on it. Not possible. Dangerous. As he stomped his way towards the table... Hey, what are you doing? You're hogging all the food! No fair! No, I'm not! I don't care what you say, you're totally pigging out. I'm telling you, I'm not. Look carefully at this dish. It looks like delicious roasted meat. And just what is stabbed into this roasted meat? How is he eating that fast while talking? Mm -hmm. It's an iron skewer. That's right. This iron skewer is definitely a dangerous item. I must take full responsibility and collect it. Hello there. Huh? <laughs> Who made this dish? Um. That would be me? Are you a food critic? What are you thinking? What are you plotting? Cooking with such dangerous items. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> These iron skewers are a problem. Why? If that's how you're acting, then there might be more skewers than just these. Let's go. Hey, Hajime, come with me. I need your help. Why me? Man. It's your fault for standing right in front of him. My condolences. I mean, I'm his assistant now, so I guess I, we just live this life. Ryakio's face bore an intense expression as I reluctantly followed him out of the dining hall. Let's go. This is the kitchen. We have to thoroughly inspect it to make sure there are no dangerous items. Byakia stomped into the kitchen and I followed after him.
Listen. Let's get on with it then. Search this place thoroughly. As he issued that order, Byakuya began searching the whole kitchen from one end to the other. Hmm. I found these. These are forks and knives on that shelf. Don't tell me those too. Naturally. These are definitely dangerous items. If you're just eating, chopsticks are enough. After he said that, Byakuya threw the forks and knives into the Duralumen case one after the other. You're being very thorough about this. Is it necessary to go this far? Don't make me repeat. I'm myself. doing this because it's necessary. If I'm to fulfill the promise I made to not let anyone become a victim, I must be extra vigilant. Really, is that all? What? What do you mean? Well, I'm just assuming, but I think something must have happened to you. After all, you decided to throw a party so suddenly, I can't help but think that there's a reason for that. Hmm. That's not it. I've been a distrustful person for as long as I can remember. Distrustful person? I don't really talk. I like to talk about my past. But it's fine. I'll just tell you a little bit. A little bit of it. I cannot talk to others about my past. I suspect that my skeptical nature is partly to blame. Yake has a past that he can't talk about. Hmm. Distrusting others and being distrusted in turn, for a long time, my life has become a living hell. It was inevitable that I would end up like end up this way. <laughs> But in, the, in this kind of a situation, my skeptical nature might be of good use. If we're to survive here, skepticism is necessary at all costs. By the way, that pass you mentioned... That's enough. Now is not the time. However, one day, there, there will definitely be a time when I will be able to tell you about hmm. it. If nothing happens and time passes for us peacefully, I'll have no choice but to talk. That sounded pretty deep. I sort of feel like things are even more mysterious now because he hasn't told me the whole story. This guy might have a deep mystery hidden within him, deeper than I thought that he'd have. Such silly talk. Enough with the unnecessary banter. We'd better hurry and find the rest of those dangerous items. Yeah, got it. Even so, he were sure works us hard. That's probably more in line with his actual personality, I bet. Don't make me repeat myself. Okay. Excited for the stream. Uh, sweet! Thank you so much for the two months! I appreciate it. I'm excited you're here to watch the stream. <laughs> Chinese, Japanese, French, and Italian cuisine. Seafood dishes, too. There's even a huge piece of meat on the bone! That taro, he sure got fired up. I don't even know if I'd be able to eat that much food. Seems there are also no- there are also no- there are no dangerous items, like that skewer in the churrasco earlier, inside that pile of food. That appears to be the case. Phew, I wouldn't have known what to do if he said fish bones and meat bones were also dangerous items. What would you do then? I see. This paper is, I see, it appears to be an equipment list for the kitchen. 20 forks, 20 knives, 20 spoons, 5 iron skewers, 3 frying pans, 20 wine glasses. There are also iron plates for barbecue and even a portable stove for cooking hot pots. Hmm. Iron plates and a portable stove, I do recall seeing them on the shelf over there. This kitchen seems to be well kept. There should be no problems using it. Though the building is old, the kitchen is impressive. Compared to a normal restaurant, it's not too shabby. Very strange. One of the items on this list seems to be short by one. I wasn't paying attention. 20, 20, 20, three frying pans, five fire, wait, there's three frying pans, five, five knives, and there's four knives? Is that it? Oh, five iron skewers, three, oh, oh, 20 knives. Oh, 20 knives, that's a lot of knives. Oh, five iron skewers and three frying pans. I don't want to count everything. Hmm. Very strange. We can't really see everything, can we? I mean, no. I guess for now I won't worry about it, even though it's clearly plot relevant.
You love Byakuya? Me too. We love a stupid little petty bitch. Don't make me repeat myself. Oh, okay, okay. Various types of knives, but these... Out of the question. Knives are far too dangerous. Hand them over to me. I'll safeguard them. Byakuya grabbed the knife from my hand and threw it into the Duralumin case with the rest, of course. Huh? Why? Stop talking. Don't raise your annoying voice. I just removed all the dangerous items. Huh? Don't make me repeat I literally myself. just said that I removed all of the dangerous items. You're kidding, right? No, 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 no. Before you start getting all flirty, explain this. I checked the equipment list and there seems to be one iron skewer missing. It's been missing all along. We can't really do anything about it, right? You're right. There's no place to hide such a long skewer anyway. Very well. All I need to do is keep a watchful eye. Don't tell me you plan to keep a watchful eye all night long. Let's go. Let's go back. The other should be waiting for us. You too, Teru. Come to the dining hall for now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, he's such a pushy leader. Ah! They're finally back! Hey, hey! Let's eat already! I'm starving! Hmm. There's still an issue we need to address first. Right. An issue? All right. Who do I gotta beat the crap out of? Just say the word and I'll do it for ya! That's enough. That won't be necessary. The issue is where the safeguard where where to safeguard this Duralumin case that has all the compensated dangerous items. Can't we just leave it here? Hmm. I've already put a lock on the case, so it shouldn't be a problem, but we should definitely up the security and keep it someplace safe. Um someplace safe? Oh! There's a storage room at the back of this old building. I see. A storage room, huh? Even so, we can't leave the case alone in there. Then Someone should guard it. That would keep it safe, yes? Aww. Who? Who? I'll do it, of course. Uh, <laughs> are you sure? I guess if you insist. <laughs> Just kidding. Aww. It'll be lonely there by yourself. I don't mind. I don't mind. I'm really not that, that good in situations where I have to be around lots of people anyway. <laughs> nah, if I wrote a song about this, the title would definitely be Lonely Girl in the Storage Room. However... However, Teratero has gone to the trouble of cooking. Is it all right for me to bring some of it with me? Okay. That's totally fine. But, but if you're going to do guard duty anyway, it might be better if you avoid the storage room. Not only is the storage room packed with lots of stuff, it's hard to see in there and full of cobwebs. <laughs> also, I was so busy cleaning the dining hall that I didn't even have time to clean the storage room. If you stayed in there for a long time, I think it would be bad for your health. I see. In that case, why don't you guard it in the office? If I recall correctly, there's also a circuit breaker in there, too. It'll be a good idea to guard that as well. Yep. Yeah, the office sounds nice. I'm pretty sure it's not that dirty, either. Understood. Understood, so I need to be on guard duty at the office. Then I should get going. Have fun, everyone. Picking with her the Duralumin case and a plate piled with food, Pekko left the dining hall. I see, I see. Seeing Pekko's back, Pekko's back as she walks away, um, makes me feel like she's got this super cool melancholy vibe. Huh? <laughs> but shouldn't she have taken the other case with her too? <laughs> this, no, this case is fine. That's weird. Oh, that, no, oh, no fair. You're like the only one who got to bring our own stuff. Naturally. When you're as special as me, you get special privileges. <laughs> you put it that way, it's hard to argue with you. Listen. This Drew Lumen case stays with me at all times. I've put the key to the other case in here as well. I will take full responsibility for watching over it. There is no way I can let anyone else handle this matter. More importantly, we're all done now, right? Let's start the party. Stop talking. No, there's more. I'm gonna do it! Who do you want me to be the crap at? Hurry up and tell me! Seriously, it has nothing to do with that. Actually, if you're volunteering, I do have one particular nuisance in mind. Taro. That's right. Monokuma, fuck. Monokuma, of course, he's the only one that could obviously disrupt this party. I'll show 
show you my right. So you'll let me eat it, eat it if I beat the crap out of Monokuma, right? Hold on. Wait a sec. If you actually pick a fight with that thing, you're gonna ha you're just gonna end up being proof poor for perforated. Oh. You telling me to wait until I starve to death? Hey, starve to death. That's a little extreme. Hmm. Our opponent is not someone we can just fight. Rather, it's better if we use our heads and think of a plan. Hey, hey. Uh, I'll do something about it. What? Do something. You. Hey. hey. <laughs> Don't roast my girl. Hey, now. What can a girl like you do? You're just going to put yourself in danger. Nope. I won't. It's not like I per I'll personally do something. You won't? <laughs> do you intend to utilize Monami? Yep. Yeah, if I can talk her into helping us, she might be able to keep Monokuma at bay. At least, that's what I think. Uh, that's probably a good idea. She looks like the type that's easily manipulated. Oh! Plus, Monami and Monokuma totally have a rivalry going on. <laughs> a pretty one-sided rivalry. Are you okay? But will, the re will you really be okay, Chiaki? I still think it's dangerous. It's gonna be fine. I'll be fine. If things get dangerous, I'll just run away as fast as I can. Well then, I'll be going now. Oh god, please don't die. I love you. What is this feeling? I feel somewhat uneasy. It's not like I have a bad feeling about this, but something feels off. It's all settled, right? And can we? You're right. Let's begin. <laughs> so the banquet has finally commenced. <laughs> you better keep me entertained. And with that, the party started. I'm so confused. I'll mention it later. Now that I think about it, I still don't understand why we are even having a party in the first place. But whatever the reason, everyone seems to be having fun. Hey, are we good? Can I finally eat? <laughs> You're already eating! <laughs> I, I can't stop! <laughs> I can't stop my hands from shoving food in my face! Well, of course you can't stop. These are the world's tastiest party dish. No matter how full, that is what I... That's rather scary. You're not eating? Then I'm gonna eat all this by myself. I'll make lots more in the kitchen. Hey, everyone. While we're at it, why don't I take pictures for you guys? Wow. Pictures! That sounds wonderful. Please. Snap, snap. This feels weird. When I first came to this island, everyone uh, watching everyone have fun was so frustrating, but now it feels reassuring. We're actually friends who fight together, friends who've developed a sense of unity. Mm. Unity, I don't know about that. Neko, did something happen? The party's just started, but I must return to my cottage. Come on. Don't be foolish. I won't allow such selfish actions. He's got to take a shit, man. He's got to take a shit. Don't stop me. There comes a time when a man knows that he's got to go. If I don't go now, it would be sh it would shame me as a man. Shit. Shitting my pants would totally shame me as a man. So he was talking about the toilet. What else do you think he was what? talking about? If you need to use the bathroom, there's one in this old building. Why do you need to go back to your cottage? I've been trying to use it many times, but the door just won't open at all. What? What is this blasphemy? <laughs> what now? Impossible! My hellhound earring has disappeared! D did it vanquish into some space? <laughs> Calm down, you probably just dropped it somewhere. Shit! I'm gonna shit! Quiet. Shut up, don't you dare. <laughs> hey, is it really all right if I eat all of this? What did you say? Don't be an idiot. Make sure you leave some for me. Come on! Bianca, everyone, come on! I'm gonna take a picture. Say cheese! <laughs> Why can't you all act a little more mature? What? What was that sound just now? It's all dark all of a sudden. It's a blackout! Blackout. A blackout! Hey, I can't see anything. In that instance, as we stumbled around in the darkness, one fear swallowed us up like a flood. It's pitch black! My future is pitch black! The sounds of screams and frantic footsteps rang, rang throughout the dark dining hall, and were immediately swallowed up by another sound. Uh, 
Everyone, calm down. We gotta stay calm in a situation like this. Ah! Don't step on my feet! What the hell? What's going on here? Because the windows were entirely covered, the blackout surrounded us with complete darkness. Complete darkness. Therefore, no matter how long I wait, there's no way my eyes will adjust. This is... Ow! Turn the damn lights on! I can't eat like this, you know! <laughs> you guys? Where are you? Perhaps the breaker overloaded? Hold on a sec. I'll go along the wall and do something about it. Within the darkness, we fervently waited to be released from our fear. We anxiously waited, and after a while, it finally... Zap. At that moment, when the lights in the dining hall finally turned back on, a shocking scene unfolded before our eyes. Ah! That is... Mikan's appearance has been... Compromised. Oh god. Oh, I'm sorry! I tripped again! Seriously? How do you trip and land like that? Yay! An erotic pose! That's obviously a fan service moment. Ah, no! Oh, <laughs> I can't take this at all! My room! It's time to snatch some shots! There's no way I can do that. <laughs> Please forgive me. Just forgive. Everyone, I think it would be best if we help her already. Sonia's the only person. <laughs> only decent person in this game. Ow! Sorry. Hey. Just from yeah, from now on, just be careful. <laughs> Oh, I'm glad the lights are back on here, too. Yay! You were the one who fixed the breaker, Kazuichi. You were unusually useful this time. Hey. Well, no, I couldn't find my way to the office with the circuit breaker. Huh? Why are the lights back on? <laughs> who knows? What? Are you stupid? Don't who knows me? You're so useless. <laughs> it's not my fault, you know. There's no way I could have found my way to the, to the office in that darkness. Oh, my. What happened? Sonia, did something happen? No, uh, Byakuya's missing. Did he go somewhere? Huh? Byakuya! We immediately looked around the dining hall. Sure enough, Byakuya, who was promised he would lead us in situations like this, was nowhere to be found. Huh? That's weird. He was here earlier, right? Um... Did he run off somewhere during the blackout? In that pitch blackness? Hey. I'm a little worried. We should split up and go look for him. I'll look in the storage room, so can I ask you to check the entrance, Hajime? Yeah, got it. For now. I guess I'll look in the office. Then... I shall go look around in the hallway. <laughs> oh, wait, here! <laughs> Since I'm kind of in the middle of eating anyway. She's still gonna eat while this is going on? Mm. I must... Bathroom! Sure! I must man up and check the bathroom! I don't understand this man up thing. Jeez! Mr. Mayhem Hands ran away just because there was an itty bitty blackout. <laughs> Such a shameful leader. If I find him, I'm gonna finger flick him in the face as punishment. Even so, where did Byakuya go? I believe I have to check the entrance. I'm pretty sure Chiaki was there. How's the bathroom? What are you doing? Weren't you gonna use the bathroom? Damn it! It appears someone else is using it. And the door's been shut since before the party even started. <laughs> Damn you, the bathroom is for everyone! How long, how dare you hog it? Someone's been using the bathroom since before the party even started? <laughs> That's what it looks like. No matter how many times I check, it never seems to open. Shit! I'm gonna, I'm going to shit! What? The more I try to hold it in, the more it wants to come out. Hold it in, come on, you can do it. Even so, it's a long time to be in the bathroom. Who's in there? If they've been in there since before the party started, then it can't be Byakuya. It's not opening. It seems someone is in there. Oh, God. It's just what it looks like. Byakuya is not here. In fact, nobody is here. Doesn't that seem odd? Peck 
Pekko. Yeah, she was supposed to be here. Now that you mention it, wasn't Pekko supposed to be in this room? Hmm. I know, right? Isn't it weird? Why is she missing too? Oh, God. I don't know who of the people that are missing is dead. Which one of the people is going to be dead? Pekko? Biakia? They can't kill Biakia. Too important. I've searched the hallway, but there's no sign of Biakia. Where did he go? Is he outside? I haven't looked yet. I'll go check. Monaki and Monami are standing in front of the entrance. I guess they're watching out for Monokuma. Huh? Hachime, what about the party? Oh, uh, it's not done yet, right? I haven't even joined in yet! Hey, Chiaki, did you happen to see Biakia pass by here? Nope. Biakia? Nope, I didn't. But what happened to Biakia? There was a sudden blackout inside the building, and Biakia vanished during that time. So we thought he might have gone outside, but... Nope, nobody came out. If nobody came out, does that mean he's still inside? If that's the case, we might have missed each other. I think. That's what I think. Why is Monomi like all dot dot dot? Hey. Ah, uh, Hajime, how did it go? Well, when I talked to Chiaki, she said that she didn't. He didn't go outside. That's. That's weird. No one was inside the storage room either. Hmm. He wasn't in the kitchen, obviously. Hmm. No one was in the office. Is he like hiding under the table, maybe? It is strange, no? Nobody was in the office? That's weird. What about Pekko? I thought she was supposed to be guarding that area. Hey. Actually, not even Pekko was there. Huh? Pekko's gone too? Hmm. Well done. Did something happen, Akane? It smells. Do any of you smell something? Well, the partially digested food is absorbed by the small intestine. It's decomposed by bacteria releasing gas, which is mostly absorbed in the intestinal tract. Intestinal tract, but whatever cannot be absorbed is excreted by from the anus. Yes. Those are the mechanics of farting, but farting isn't supposed to be. It's something to be embarrassed about. It's not like that. No, I'm not talking about that, huh? Oh, I'm just here then. He's always like, what are you playing? Talking about farts. I don't know what I'm playing. I don't know. <laughs> I imagine like if you know nothing and then you just like hear someone like Talking about it. I have to take a shit, and now we're talking about like the smell of somebody having a massive fart in the room. Like, yeah, <laughs> what a game, man. No, I'm not talking about that. What? It smells like blood. Oh God. Hmm. As Akane's nose twitched like a beast's, she suddenly pointed. <sighs> it's coming from over there. A table at the very back of the dining hall. Who's dead, Biakia or Pekko? I don't want either of them to be dead, but I'm just hoping it's Pekko and not Biakia. That is. Can anyone even do that? It's just your imagination, right? That's obviously what it That's is. Impossible. You better hurry and check it out if we want to know for sure. No, I gotta talk to everyone first to see how you react. So I can see who's sus in this room. It's there, I can smell blood coming from that table in the back. Nagito, what do you have to say about this? You did it, huh? The That's... smell of blood coming from the table? Hey. It's best if we go check it out, Hajime. Mirage Goldenhawk, yes. Jump P, would like to inform you of something. From this point on, if you proceed, you may eventually regret that decision someday. 
If you still intend to go, I will not stop you. <laughs> Gundam is here to tell you to stop playing the game now. Just stop, buddy. Just stop. Don't don't keep playing. Don't keep playing. This is going nowhere. My nose is super untalented. <laughs> but my ears are way talented, so no joke no joke. What the heck? The smell of blood, you say? It's probably the smell of a rare steak or something, right? Dude, I wish it was a rare steak. <laughs> You're like a wild doggy, Connie! <laughs> you even wolfed out a ton of food! She doesn't even care. She did it. Uh, if it's the smell of blood, I should be used to smelling it. I'm sorry! I don't know! Yeah, shouldn't you be used to smelling it? I'm gonna shit, I'm gonna shit, I'm gonna shit, I'm gonna shit! Is the bathroom still occupied? Here we go. Here we go. My nose. Oh my god. I feel like I should delete the nose emote. Why was this ever a thing? The smell of blood. What in the world is that table? It's at that table. It's under there. Under the table. I dashed toward the table at the back, reached out toward the tablecloth, and then I stopped. Is this nervousness? Fear? Why? Why am I nervous? It can't be. It obviously can't be. There's no way that's gonna happen. With a shout, I grabbed the tablecloth and flipped it back in one go. Everybody close your eyes. If you close your eyes, you don't see it, and nothing bad ever happened! It's not real! It's not real! It's fake! It's fake! It's fake! It's fake! It's fake! It's not real! It's not real! It's not real! For the rest of my life, I will never forget what I saw. What I saw! I saw the ultimate affluent progeny, Byakuya Togami, already dead and beyond recognition. They can't kill him, he's an important character. He's not actually dead. It's a video game, remember. It's a video game. Like, I mean like not that I'm playing a video game, I mean like we're, the setting is in a video game so he's not really dead in real life. Byakuya? Why is Byakuya? No. no! I just stood there horrified as showers of screams rang out behind me. Did he have like night vision goggles? Did he expect this to happen? Oh Jesus Christ. As I gazed quietly at the body of my former friend. We he was I was his assistant! Why? What is this? He's gonna shit his pants. Oh. Hey, 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 hey! Uh, this is it's impossible! Are you kidding me? Don't mess with me! This must be some kind of mistake! Uh, this can't be real blood, right? It's gotta be something like jam or sauce! Cause if not, this... Oh, she's dead. What the hell? Good gracious! Things quickly took a turn for the worse! Yippee! My, my, now this is interesting! Girls, chills, On this chills. tropical paradise known as Jabberwock Island, the very first murder has finally taken place! Murder? Could it be? Hold on, th th does, it, does this mean? <laughs> of course! That's right! Byakuya was killed by one of you! Of course! I guess you got promoted then? Oh my god, ban that guy! What? <laughs> I guess I got promoted? I didn't just read that. I <laughs> Fuck off. I'm crying inside. <laughs> if you look at the body, you can tell instantly that he was obviously murdered. I hate it here. <laughs> Uh, hmm, hmm. Look, he has such a horrible expression on his face. Don't you think? What 
What is the green stuff? I don't understand. What is that like green thing? A face filled with regret that his life was ended by force, all thanks to someone else's selfish desires. To have a dying face such as this. If this isn't murder, then what the heck could it be? Hmm. Byakuya was most likely sacrificed by someone who really wanted to leave this island. Lies! All it's all lies! You're lying that he was murdered! Murdered? The moment I screamed that word, a thick, muddy feeling of despair swelled within my body. Which means that that I've accepted the fact that Byakuya was murdered. What is this? <laughs> Where did you come from? Why? Why did this happen? Why Byakuya? Here. I see, I see. It appears that Fuyuhiko is the only one who isn't here. What are you gonna do? Is the spirit of keeping everyone on the same page? How about we do this the usual way? A body has been discovered! Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin! Class trial. Hey, um... I've already explained this to you, right? If one of you gets murdered, the rest of you have to debate who you think is the blackin! You're telling us to figure out who the killer is? Correct! That's right! From this point on, you guys must investigate and uncover the blackened culprit! That's impossible! It, it can't be! Someone actually killed? There's no way! <laughs> If you make an outburst like that, you'll end up being a suspect. That's... I, I won't believe it. One of us killed Byakuya? There's no way something as useless... As useless, as hopeless as that would ever happen. No, no, no. If you're actually thinking that way, it means you guys are already being conned by the killer. <laughs> come on, come on. Let's hurry up and begin. An impassioned, life-risking battle between you guys and the Blackened. And it's already started. It started the moment one of you plotted to kill someone! Hey! What are you saying? You can't! Everyone, please! You cannot! You should not believe what Monokuma says! <laughs> no matter how much you interfere, there is only ever one truth! On my grandfather's... <laughs> you have a grandpa? On my grandfather's... Hey! Grave? Your grandpa is dead? What happened to him? On my grandfather's... Plane. Emergency! What happened to your grandpa? Did his plane crash? I don't even know where to begin at this rate. You ain't my comedy partner anymore. Oh. Uh, he got fucking... Pwned. Blue mage. Thank you so... Blue flame mage. Thank you for the nine months. So much when you hit me with a charging corkscrew attack. Did you see that? This stunning display of power. Defy your big brother, and I will show you no mercy. I will harden my heart and teach you a lesson you won't soon forget. <laughs> oh God! Even bleeding. If only I had my magic stick, I'd be able to fight back against Monokuma. Fine, fine. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Let's just leave the whiny rabbit loser alone and get on with the investigation. Now then, is the, in the spirit of lovey doubt and dummy deception, put your heart and soul into investigating. Yahoo! I wish you the best of luck. Who did it? It was that, um, the foo I forgot her name. And with that, Monokuma vanished, leaving those of us who were grief-stricken alone with our despair. What? What is does this mean? I, I don't understand this at all. <gasps> Search for Byakuya's killer. Why did it turn out like this? What's going on? Give me a break. Why do I have to be involved in this horrible situation? Um... You can't doubt each other, because you're all friends. Understand? Mr. Hamhands really did get killed, right? 
And if we don't find out who the killer is, we're all gonna get killed, right? Hi, Yuko. She did it. Uh, Jacob, thank you for gifting us up. Please wait! That being said, I cannot abide by this. Now that I have finally made friends, there is no way that I can doubt them. So... Seriously? Did you even listen to what I said? It doesn't matter if you can abide by this or not. We can't... We gotta do this to survive, right? Then we have no choice but to do it. I won't forgive you. Friends doubting friends is a major no-no. Shut up! Shut up! Just go away already, you useless piece of trash! Oh, uh, threats are scary! Do we really have to do it? But... I don't want to do something like that. No! I don't want to do it either! It sounds so scary! However... However, it is just as my, my Hyoko has said. If we're going to get killed for not doing it, then we must do useless it. Useless piece of trash. Kazuichi talking directly to Twitch chat, Hiko. Oh, damn! Starting to fight, man. Crimson, thank you for the seven months. I appreciate it. But still, I can't believe one of us killed Byakuya. There's no way. I, I can believe it. There's no way. So for that reason... Yep. I'll do it. I'll investigate Byakuya's death. I will do my best to prove that there is no killer among us. There's no need to deceive or doubt each other. What we need to fight is not ourselves. There's no mistake. But that which is trying to crush us, this despair. Thank you for the gifted sub. This hopeless reality, that's the real enemy we need to fight. If I'm going to survive this, then I have to fight it. Um, and before you start, can I say something? Well? In closed circle detective games, the player usually has to decide on who's going to guard the crime scene. What should we do? I know! Oh yeah, it would be bad if the killer destroyed the evidence and got away with it! Destroyed the evidence? Pointing! Look over there! That big bulky brawny guy is perfect for the guard job! <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna shit himself, dude. What the heck? What happened? Man. That guy has a sensitive heart, despite his looks. Is that what that means? Hey. I can be the one who watches the crime scene. I don't have enough confidence to investigate the body. And it's not like I have the brains either. Just stay by Byakuya's side. That's the least I can do. That's what guard duty is, right? Uh, my hero. Uh, uh, I'll do my best. I'll do my very best to not get in your way. Yes. I have medical training, so if, if it's not too much trouble, I can perform an autopsy, please. Um... You're going to stay as well? Is that okay? <laughs> and what specifically should we be doing now? I have no idea. Hmm. It's pretty obvious that we're all just amateurs. Going through each grain of sand on a beach just to find a clue would be a waste of time. The only ones who can do that are the police. There's no way amateurs like us would be able to do hey. that. So let's re first rely on our intuition. We'll start from there and prove that none of us could have killed Byakuya. <laughs> but to perform an autopsy on your friend, how cruel. <laughs> I have no choice, right? There's no way I could do something like d d decline, right? I won't believe. I won't. Ah, uh, you are right. If we are to survive, this is our only path. This is the worst. Something like this is the only thing that we can do in order to stay alive. Finding out who the killer is, that's our only hope for survival. Gundam doesn't talk as much as I wish he did. Something like this is hope? Even so, I still gotta do it. Ta da! You thought it was time for the investigation, but. It's the Monokuma file! Hey! Hey! Just as I thought you amateurs need this, right? What the hell is a Monokuma file? I don't like this. Jeez, explaining the rules all the time really breaks my bones. Why you? It's not like I have any bones in the first place. Like, don't even make me such make me say such lame jokes. Allow me to explain. The Monokuma file contains precise and detailed information regarding the dead body. What? I've brought it to you so you guys can smoothly proceed with the investigation. I'm such a nice guy. Ching. I'm so nice that I want to be known as the Mother Teresa of the mascot world. Hey, hey. 
nice, you say. You're just a selfish meanie. What's this? My, 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 Mona me, the meaningless mascot, you're still here. You stupid Don't player. Don't play in the meaningless mascot game. Damn it. Come on, let's go. Your turn is already up. Hurry up and get the hell out of here with me. <laughs> Ouchie, don't pull my ear. They're gonna come off. They're finally gone. The Monokuma file, huh? I guess I should look over it. The victim's body was discovered in the dining hall of the old building near the Hotel Mirai. I still don't get what the green thing is. Confused. The estimated time of death is 11.30 p.m. The victim was repeatedly stabbed over 10 times between the throat and the abdominal region, resulting in death. Aside from that, the body has no other external injuries and no chemicals such as poison were detected. Jesus. Yakia really is dead? Damn it, you promised that there wouldn't even be one victim. Why'd you end up being one? And now I'll never know where what you were going to say to me. We literally just had that scene. Why did we need a flashback? In the end, what did he even mean? Could it be... A traitor. No way. Just because he said a lot of serious things, it doesn't mean that he was the traitor. What am I thinking? Monokuma file number one has been added to the truth bullet. Anyway, we need to carefully examine everything. That's right, I need to do it. If you're gonna survive this, then we need to do it. I have to prepare myself for the worst. Oh, the music. Ooh. Woo! Ah, this is the metal case. Ah, this is the metal case Biakia had with him. I believe he said it was made of duralumin. Last time I saw it, it was closed, but there are lots of odd things inside the, this case. Like a nightstick, a pepper spray. What's this? A hard plastic case, but it's empty. It's the goggles. I wonder what was inside. Uh, the one thing that really catches my attention is this small key. It must be the key to the other case. That other case was in the office and all of the collected dangerous items were inside of it. If the key to that Dur Duralumin case is right here, then it's likely that the murder weapon used to kill Byakuya was taken from that case. Which means the weapons inside that Duralumin case aren't related to Byakuya's murder. Even so, I still don't get it. Why did Byakuya have this Duralumin case in the first place? A case packed with all of the security equipment? Maybe he was being extra cautious just in case. No, that can't be right. That's way too overboard. Could he have known something was going to happen beforehand? And because of that, he went to all this trouble to be extra careful. Duralumin case has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Hellhound Earring, answer my call! Impossible! Is this effort futile as well? Hey, are you still looking for the earring that you dropped? You! It is not a mere earring, it is the Hellhound Earring! Fine. Long ago in a faraway, faraway land, a beast known as the Hellhound was feared by all, even by he who summoned it. Oh, this is certainly random. 
The, the Hellhound tore its way through an innumerable battlefields, its fangs glistening with blood. And his drenched blood red fur would dry in the howling winds of loneliness. When I finally tamed that diabolic beast, I received an earring to commemorate that event. Shiver! The Hellhound earring. So that I may never forget the night that I battled that fearsome pro marin pro oh po pomeranian oh i don't know dogs pomeranian i wear that earring at all times was that really about a friggin pomeranian i understand it's important to you but for now we need to investigate the hellhound is a pomeranian oh my god what is it where do it where did it disappear to maybe it fell underneath the floor the carpet didn't cover the whole floor. It might have fallen through the gaps between the exposed floorboards. <laughs> so that's what transpired. Such a clever little bauble. Gundam laughed uproariously as he walked through the wall and pressed his head against the gaps in the floor and peered beneath the floorboards. I can see it! There it is! I have found it! Truly, that is the Hellhound Earring! <laughs> it seems God exists for my benefit. I see, good for you. Let me ask. How do I recover it? I cannot fit my arm through this opening where I use were I to use a tool, it would probably not reach either. Then maybe you should just give up? What? Give give up what? The world! I meant give up the earring! You! Have you not yet realized? The world will come to an end if the human race were to lose that earring. You humans are so satisfied with clothing yourselves in layers of false knowledge! If you flinch, you will die! But even with all those layers, you still will not survive the winter. Why am I being scolded? Fine. It was foolish of me to rely on you fools. Fine, I shall do something about it on my own. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must go save the world. He wants that hearing back by any means necessary. His determination is truly inspiring. But it'd be nice if he actually helped with the investigation. Gaps in the floorboard is definitely relevant. There are lots of fancy looking party dishes. In the end, nobody reali really ate that much. I can't imagine that these are related to the incident. What if they are, though? Wherever I go, the surveillance cameras are all over the place. Uh, okay. Being watched by a lunatic. Yeah, that is a thing, isn't it? So what's under this table? Such a huge table, there's nothing much out of the ordinary. Hey. hey, Hajime, there is something I want to run by you. Before the blackout occurred, Byakuya was in the dining hall with the rest of us, right? Yeah, that's right. And if Byakuya's dead body was discovered after the blackout, then don't you think he died during the blackout? Now that you mention it... What? Why was Byakuya's body under the table? Even if the killer tried to hide him, it's not like he would have stayed hidden forever. Isn't it confusing? You're absolutely right. It seems finding out what exactly happened during the blackout is key to solving the mystery. There's no way I'd know. It was so dark during the blackout I couldn't see a thing. That's not it. If seeing was impossible, then there's a possibility someone might have heard something. Heard something? Are you talking about her? Mihiro, are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. What's going on? Is that what you expected me to say? Because I feel terrible. One minute Byakuya is alive and well, and in an instant something awful suddenly happens. Of course I'm not fine. Why? And not only that, but whoever killed him is one of us, right? That hasn't been determined yet. It's already been determined. You've already accepted it, haven't you? This is the worst. That we have to find out who the killer is. Find out which friend killed our friend. I don't like it either, but we won't survive if we don't go through with it. It's not just for yourself. We have to do it to protect all of us. If I, I had only acted calmer during the blackout, Byakuya might still be alive. This is the worst. This whole thing would have never happened. Stop blaming yourself. Nothing good will come of it. Jeez. Aww. Getting
being cheered up by a boy isn't like me at all. Got it? Hey, Hajime, forget about what I said. Got it? Yeah, fine. Got it. Hmm. Anyway, I won't dwell on it for now. I can't become a burden to everyone. Plus, there might be a clue that only I have access to. A clue? Hey. Photos. The ones I took just before the blackout, remember? Yeah. Yuck, Everyone, come on. I'm gonna take a picture. The pictures. Mm. Wanna see them? I have a digital camera so I can show them to you right now. Really? Please. Dude, Nagito, why do you always look sus in the back? Always. Always be looking sus. Let's see. It's this photo. I'm taking in the photo as much as I can. Hmm. He was on the opposite side of the room? Oh my god, Gundam. Dude. Nurse lady, I forget your name. But ma, 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 why does she look so angry? She looks so suspicious. I took these two photos right before the blackout, but... Huh? Is something wrong? Hmm. I didn't realize it until just now, but right before the blackout, Byakuya was standing in a totally different place than where we found him. Wasn't his body under that table with the lamp on top of it? The one underneath the monitor? Prior to that, Byakuya was standing along the wall, farthest away from that table. You're right, that's pretty far. There's something... Everyone's standing position before the blackout might be a huge clue. Hey, can you approximate everyone's standing position from these photos? Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Uh, it'd be hard to understand from the photos alone, so it might be better for me to plot it, plot it out. Hmm. Will that actually provide a clue? I don't know yet, but I feel like it could. Leave it to me. I got it. Then leave it to me. That's pretty much the only job I can do anyway. Thank you. All right. Uh, now that that's decided, you better do your best. You better work hard on your investigation too. How much longer are you planning to stand around? Do you understand? What's going on? You gotta find out how Byakuya died. Okay, I know, but it's good that she's all fired up now, but she's a totally different person now than she was when she was feeling down. Sheesh! Jeez. So everyone's like, around the table here. Ibuki is so cute. Although the nurse girl kind of terrifies me in this picture, I'm not gonna lie. Got it? Oh! 18 months yo Was it moved? Hot. No, not necessarily. Okay, not necessarily. Um, thank you, Calvin, for the 18 months. I appreciate it. Hmm. Mekon, that's your name. Uh, I must, I must investigate my classmate's body. <laughs> I'm the one who has medical knowledge. <laughs> that's why I need to do it. To, to, to do it somehow. Before you start, why don't you calm down a bit? Aww. You're right. I need to calm down first. Uh, I'm careless enough as it is. That's pretty obvious from how you felt earlier. Uh, <laughs> I'm terribly sorry about that. For showing you something so unsightly. Ah! Yeah, you made me remember it again. Oh, God. We didn't need to see it again. Uh, uh, yeah. I made such a fool of myself in front of everyone. Forget making a fool of yourself. How in the world did you end up like that? Well, I got started by the blackout, slipped on the carpet, and once I was struggling to get back up... <laughs> it's so embarrassing! 
please, please erase it from your memory. Well, unfortunately, the game put the picture in my face again, so blame that. Even if you ask me, I won't be able to forget it so easily. I can't stand it. Oh my god. Oh my god! No! Why? I get that it was a distraction, but seriously? I get it, game, but really? There's a lot of tasty looking party dishes. In the end, nobody really ate that much. I can't imagine that these are related to the incident. All right, time to go look at the table. Huh. First, I should investigate the top of the table. Though the only thing on top of this table that really catches my eye is this desk lamp. It looks like an antique lamp and it seems rather heavy. The power cord has uh, was connected to the outlet and so it must have been useless during the blackout. Other than that, there's nothing else on the table that really stands out to me. Now's not the time for me to flinch. I gotta do it. I let out a shout as if to encourage myself and then quickly looked beneath the table. Immediately, I noticed an unexplainable smell, like rusted iron, hanging in the air. During the stinging pain in the back of my eyes, I slowly shifted my gaze toward Byakuya's body. Byakuya Togami. Okay, he was the kind of guy who said a lot of hurtful things, but he tried his best to lead everyone. Why did he have to end up like this? The only thing I can do right now for Byakuya's sake is to uncover the truth behind his death. Okay, first let's look at the tablecloth. Oh no, can we not? I was okay, blood on the tablecloth means nothing. I wanna look at what is what is this green thing? Something stuck to the back of the table. Is this duct tape? It seems to be paint applied to the non-sticky side of the duct tape. In the dim light beneath the table, it seems to glow dully. Oh, is it like um that glow in the dark shit so they can see? Because the blackout was planned. They, oh, maybe. Oh, oh, glowing paint. Okay, never mind. <laughs> they literally just said it. Um, but same with the knife. It also it has glow in the dark stuff. Oh. So the killer could see stuff. A bloody knife. Is this the weapon that killed Byakuya? Hold on. How did the killer bring this knife to the dining hall in the first place? Byakuya thoroughly patted down everyone and thoroughly inspected every corner of this building. And all that comp all the confiscated dangerous items were supposed to be placed in that Duralumin case. It's possible they stole this knife from the case, or they hid it somewhere hard to find. Also, there's one more thing about this knife that's strange. The paint. It, the dim light beneath the table, it seems to glow dully. I gotta level up! It's also weird because, like, the paint... Or not paint, oh my god, it's the blood. The blood looks like... Like, if it was... A, you know, he was stabbed ten times, why is the blood not, like, covering the knife, but it's literally only on the blade side, like he was slashed? Chuck, 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 chuck! Like, the blood's only on the blade side, but, like, if he was stabbed, it, wouldn't it be the whole knife? Maybe that just doesn't matter. What is this? It looks like binoculars, but why is there a pair of binoculars under the table? Hey. Hajime, those aren't binoculars. What are they? Perhaps. Those are probably night vision goggles. Night vision goggles? I've seen them at the supermarket on this island. They also stock self-defense kits, too. If that's the case, did the killer use these night vision goggles to kill Byakuya during the blackout? Night vision goggles has been added! Woo! The blood flowing from Byakuya's body formed a huge pool of blood under the table. There's a lot of blood. There's blood splattered everywhere. Even the inner side of the tablecloth is covered in blood. The blood might have splattered all over the place when he got stabbed. But there doesn't seem to be any drag marks leading from the pool, blood pool. Is 
that everything? Oh, I guess technically Bjarka's body we have to look at? The body is clasped face down under the table as if he was in the middle of, con of, of attempting something. It looks like he was. According to Monica Vafile, he was repeatedly stabbed between the throat and abdominal region. Repeatedly stabbed. Would one of us really do something so horrible? I'm sure I've pretty much investigated what's under the table, despite the fact that it's just me. I think I'm working pretty hard. Even if it's just a little, I'm sure that we're getting close to the truth behind Byakuya's death. Why are the windows covered in iron plates? Does it have something to do with the renovation project? Alright. Can we leave? Oh, I still need to investigate more things? Uh, the AC? Could it be? Hey, all of you, why can't you act a little bit more grown up? What was that sound just now? This air conditioner is probably the only machine inside the room. And the air conditioner is remote control. The timer is set to 11.30 p.m. Fahrenheit. 86 Fahrenheit. Dang, that's hot. I'm pretty sure Byakuya's time of death was around the same time. If so, then that means that mechanical sound before the blackout is probably came from this air conditioner. My flashes of inspiration aren't as bad as I thought. You don't know Fahrenheit? That's really hot. <laughs> like, room temperature is considered, like, in between 72, 68. That, so 86 is, like, really hot. Why would it be set to hotter? Maybe to How'd use more electricity so they cause a blackout? Maybe like they were purposefully causing a shortage? So it was set to hotter? To make the electricity work more? I don't know. Hey. 30, yeah, 30, okay. I don't know the equivalent. <laughs> I'm not good at converting without Google. When we're finished with the investigation here, would you like to hear what everyone has to say together? If I go by myself, some people might not talk to me out of caution. Uh, we've been told that one of us is a killer. It can't be helped if everyone ha everyone's on edge right now. But why me? <laughs> You're easy to talk to. I feel like you have a sense similar to mine. We both harbor special feelings towards Hope Peak's Hope's Peak Academy, isn't that right? Yeah, what, but... Fine, if we're going together, let's get on with it. There's no time for idle chit chat. Thanks. I'm, you know, I'm glad. It'll be a great help. Special feelings, huh? Even so, when he, what he said about us being similar, I don't think I agree. Now then. I guess for now, we should search the we should search the inside of this old building and listen to what the others have to say. Not just the dining hall. I think we should consider that this whole building is the scene of a crime. Yeah, you're right. Why did it skip like that? That's so weird. I didn't click it twice. Uh, what's the button again? This one? <clears throat> Would have happened throughout the entire building. Okay, right. Hi, Sonia! Um, there's something I wanted to ask you. Um... It is strange, It no? appears that only that wall is a different color and material. Why is Perhaps. that? Perhaps. It's probably a fire door. Fire door? You've never seen one before? It's a door that shuts to keep fire from spreading by containing it. If that happens, you can run away, right? Wow, I see. It's like a barrier. Just like lining up plastic bottles around the house. Huh? That's only done to keep cats from getting in. What? I've never heard of that in my life. Huh? Literally, is that a thing? Line up plastic bottles to keep... What? I've never heard that. I'm, I'm very... I know about keeping cats from getting inside, but you don't know about fire doors? I don't know about keep... What? I am ashamed. Truly, I'm culturally ignorant. I am ashamed of myself. Fire door has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. 
So obviously something happened to happen from under the ground, I would assume. Do I really have to talk to him? Hey. Since we've come all this way, let's investigate the area just for the heck of it. There's a chance that there might be some sort of clue here. Yakia must have confiscated all the dangerous items on the equipment list. Just from reading through this list, it looks like the knife next to Byakia's body didn't come from the kitchen. It appears that it brought from outside. From outside? Then how did the killer get past Byakia's body check? That's weird. Strange, isn't it? I mean, he didn't even go easy on the girls when he was performing the pat-downs. If that's the case, that they probably brought the knife in advance and hid it somewhere. Hey. Still, it's surprising how much equipment in, in this kitchen has. There are iron plates for barbecuing and even a portable stove for cooking hot pots. But is all that stuff that d that doesn't pertain to the murder, so I guess it doesn't really matter. I agree. Meat. Tiny Japanese official. Okay, okay, that doesn't matter. <laughs> well, guess that's about it. <laughs> you asked Neko. He killed the cow at the ranch with his bare hands and brought it over. Excuse me? His bare hands? <laughs> That's a little hard to believe, but it doesn't seem completely impossible either. Holy shit! Those hands of his, they look like they specialize in punching things. I wouldn't want to get punched by those hands! He just took the cow meat by beating it with his bare hand. Jesus Christ! I guess this meat has gone to waste since this awful ha awful has happened right before right when the party started. The fucking cow, man, yeah. Jesus, imagine. Ooh. The only ones who ate any food were Akane and Pekko, who took some portions for herself. Eh? To tell you the truth. Can I be done? Oh. They're making me talk to him. Ah. <laughs> Couldn't you have used that kitchen stove as a light? No, 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 no. Gas stove needs electricity to work, so it was directly affected by the blackout. You work with fire in the kitchen. I figured that you'd be able to use it as a light source or something. Nagito, let's get you're going. Right. Your thing. Nagito, you're looking a little sus right now. Didn't you clean this place beforehand? Maybe you set something in here. Maybe you're the traitor, but I like you too much, so I don't want to accuse you. Um, but... Just saying, man, like, you know, I think there's a reason that you're, like, really close to me, dude. I think you're trying to, like, win my favor, but you might- you- you could be the traitor, but maybe you're, like, a double traitor. What if he's the traitor, but, like, he's also the traitor for the traitor? He's a double agent. Yeah! Hey. That's what Nagito is. Let's just talk- let's try talking to everyone. It's definitely going to help us out. Maybe he's just gay? Wow. No, he's definitely the traitor, man. Either that, he committed the murder just now, but I don't want him to die this early in the game. I like him. <laughs> I like him! The storage room is really dusty and dark. Wow. My hands were full cleaning and dining hall and full cleaning the dining hall, so I couldn't even touch this room. It even has cobwebs. There's no way it could stay in here for a long time. Are these irons recently turned on? But why are there three? 
Just as I thought, your eyes don't miss a thing. When I was looking for Byaki after the blackout, I also found these irons, but when I found them, all three of them were turned on. Yep. It'd be bad if another blackout happened, so I turned them off, but doesn't this feel kind of sinister? Sinister? Why would the irons need to be turned on? Were they just, like, trying to cause a purposeful blackout by having, like, as much electricity? Like, irons use a lot of electricity because it's anything that creates fast heat, right? Wait, but the air conditioner... Yeah, the air conditioner would be the same. But who would have the time to cause a blackout, a shortage to happen? So it, they're, they're causing a shortage by having all this power, high intense power on. We don't have time to, to uh, go through each and every one of them. I guess I should leave them alone. Yep. A wise decision. There's a huge piece of cloth randomly shoved in here. It has blood on it. There's something on it. Oh! Huh? Who had time to do this? Seriously, I feel like two people have to be working together. This is a lot for one person. You're talking like in the short time set. What is happening? This seems like way too much for one person. Unless I'm just, oh God. Okay. What? It's too dark. I can't really see that clearly. There's no mistaking it. This is clearly a blood stain, which means the tablecloth is connected to Byakia's murder, right? Oh. Kevin! Woo! Oh, <coughs> uh, then it's a possibility. Seriously, it is a blood stain. Hajime. How much longer are you gonna stay in this dark place? You're just wasting your time. Uh, let's move on and investigate other places already. Ah, I get it, you're right. for the pet. Wait, wait, wait. Shit, shit, shit. What's going on? Oh! What happened? Why are you in a cocoon? It's in a cocoon. Am I about to evolve? Can I just take 80, 97 steps right now? I'm gonna walk back and forth. We're running, we're running, we're running, we're people running, we're people running. Okay, how many steps was that? <laughs> 65 more steps? Okay, people running, people running, people running. man we do this now Biakia will be fine I'm sure he's not really dead ah we got it oh god Ooh, what are you what are you Piggy me, piggy me, piggy me, piggy me. Okay. I see. Apparently, I see. a great man once said, "Investigations should be done on foot." Yes. So that's why I'm also using my feet. I'm just walking around for no particular reason. Hey. Hey, Hajime. I just realized something. Could she by any chance know what happened during the blackout? Yeah, I was just thinking the same Are thing. Are you serious? How'd you know? 
So you did hear us. Every, even though Hajime and I were talking pretty softly just now. <laughs> Not only do I have perfect face style and personality, but I also have perfect ears. I see. If your heart is, hearing is so good, maybe you heard what actually happened during the blackout? Hey. When the blackout happened, you could hear everybody's voices through the dining hall, right? We couldn't tell, but you would uh, but you would have been able to make out who's who, right? Huh. Just leave it to Ibuki! It'll be easy as fried rice with gravy. Ew. I don't want fried rice with gravy. That sounds disgusting. Lobby Lala! Oh, I'll heartily eat it for breakfast. Oh, you mean like it'll be easy as pie? Except eating fried rice with gravy for breakfast is kind of heavy. <laughs> Any fried rice that isn't fried rice with gravy is so wrong! She should make a metaphor with a more common type of fried rice, like egg, egg fried rice or lettuce fried rice. <laughs> anyway, can you tell us what happened? I got it! Leave it to me! I'm gonna take a bite out of you! Yep. What? If you tell us, I'll, uh, I'll take a bite. I'll let you bite Hajime later. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> Nagito! Bro, you are so sus. Stop it! What, what if she takes you seriously? Aww. Let's see, the first person who raised their voice during the blackout was... It was Mahiru. Uh, it's a blackout! Next was Kazuichi's voice, and then the next next voice was mine. Hey, I can't see anything. It's pitch black! My future is pitch black! What a nice remark I made. It's to the point it has its own unique charm. Just continue. And then there were more voices, one after the other. Uh, everyone, calm down. We gotta stay calm in a situation like this. Ah, don't step on my feet. Oh. What the hell? What's going on here? This is... Ow! Turn the damn lights on! I can't eat like this, you know? Oh, that's interesting, because the people that are saying, Ow, don't step on my feet, in the picture were the same people that are in the direct line of the table. Because it was like... Uh, I forget the girl's name, bitch girl's name, and then it was Nagito against the wall. And then Ibuki was in the... Oh, that's interesting. You guys? Where are you? Perhaps the breaker overloaded? Hold on a sec. I'll go along the wall and do something about it. <laughs> also, I thought Tara was in the kitchen. Alrighties, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Aren't I awesome? Praise me, praise me. Give me lots of praise. I heard you the first time. Seriously, don't get any closer. Hey, Nagito, say something to her. Hey, did something happen? No, I was just thinking about what Byakia said during the blackout. Hey. Why did he say something like that? Why was he able to say that? Because he was wearing the night vision goggles. <sighs> about that, why don't we discuss it after we've investigated a little bit more? For now, I can't really say anything for certain. It's not like I really care. Yep. Anyway, you don't think Ibuki's account just now is an important clue that will lead us to the truth? Yeah! Praise me! Let me bite ya! Ouch! Why are you really biting me? Uh, uh. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Ibuki. Very cool. I cannot... My controls? Jesus Christ, these controls are so fucking jank. It's locked, still. Someone appears to be inside since it's a unisex bathroom. I don't know who's actually in there. Hey! Is someone in there? We knocked on the door and tried calling out to whoever was on the other side, but... No response. This is going nowhere. I guess we should just give up from now and check on it later. <laughs> Alrighty. 
Hajime. The old building circuit breaker should be inside this office. Circuit breaker, huh? It might be related to the blackout. So it's better if we check out the circuit breaker first. No. You <laughs> can already tell you doubt me, correct? No, not really. It does not surprise me. An unexpected blackout occurred, and during that time, Byakuya was killed. Anyway. The, cir the circuit breaker is in this office. Naturally, I look suspicious since I was able supposed to be here. Wait! Supposed to be here? Does that mean... I see. So I was right. You weren't in the office. But why? Weren't you supposed to be guard to guard the circuit breaker and the Dural Lumen case with all the weapons in it? Huh? Where'd you run off to on your own? This is... Pekko suddenly dropped to one knee and started groaning on the spot. I'm just not <gasps> feeling too well. I apologize, but I excuse me. What the heck? Excuse me, but what was hey. that? Pekko, it appears the bathroom inside this old building is currently occupied, so I'd recommend the hotel lobby or your cottage. Huh? It seems like it will be a tough path. <laughs> With cold sweat dripping from her forehead, Pekko wobbled out of the office. What happened to her? It's kind of hard for me to say it myself. I already feel bad enough for Pekko as it is. What does that mean? I mean, is it cool? She didn't like run away or something? That's right. Because if she ran away, she's obviously the killer. I'm almost positive. Is that really what it is? Maybe. Is it Pekko the killer? Why do you think that? I mean... She wandered off somewhere, even though she was supposed to be in the office. When we were looking for Byakuya after the blackout, I went to the office right away, but when I got there, when I got here, she was gone. No. I shouldn't say this out too, too loudly, or else Miss Sonia will yell at me. Hmm. Pekko's probably the one who tripped the circuit breaker and used the blackout to her advantage to kill Byakuya. Yeah. And don't you think that she looks kind of ruthless, too, like an assassin? It's not like you look any better. Um, wow, judging Pekko. Pekko's fine. She didn't do it. I don't know why, but I'm just like 100% certain about it. <laughs> Poor girl. The Stir Lumen case. It could, should contain all the dangerous items Byakuya collected. Hey. Maybe we should check inside just to be safe. But it's locked. Yep. Byakuya had the key to this particular Dura Lumen case with him. Check it out. I brought it with me, so there's no need to worry. Is it okay to take that key without permission? Byakuya's dead, Hajime! Now, now. It's forbidden to tamper with the crime scene, but if we don't, we can't check inside the case, right? <laughs> so I should open it. <laughs> this guy, he doesn't feel any remorse. See? That's suspicious! He doesn't feel any remorse! Oh. Huh? Huh. Forks, kitchen knives, iron skewers, and various tools are crammed inside, but it's not possible that the killer took anything from here because the key to this case was inside the case Byakuya had with him. I guess you're right about that. Where did Pekko go? She looks pretty pale. If she made it, then I'm sure she's fine. Beyond that, it'd be improper for me to say. Huh? Hajime does not understand! Oh, uh, drift. Joy-Con. Look at that Joy-Con drift. Oh, no, okay, it's gone. This remote control is for the office's air conditioner. Huh? Ah, same thing. Super hot. That must be this old building circuit breaker. The blackout probably happened because of this. I see. It doesn't look like someone did anything to anything to it. Nothing else looks suspicious either. The circuit breaker is pretty high up. Even if you use a step ladder, you won't reach it. Hmm. I totally agree. That's why it's so mysterious. Well, during the blackout, I was panicking so bad that I forgot that. But you're right. Even with the step ladder, there's no way you'd be able to reach that circuit breaker. Someone must have reset the breaker after the blackout, but who? Ta-da! I did it! Whoa! It's here! Actually... You idiots had no idea what to do about the blackout, so I'm the one who reset the circuit breaker! By the way... I'm not the one who tripped the breaker. The killer did that, of course. Uh, how did someone as small as you re reset the breaker? Hey, um... 
Firstly, my eyes work real good at night, so I have no trouble seeing in the dark. Even if you want to know how I reach the circuit breaker, my body stretches! You know I'm very elastic. I won't be fooled. Liar. I'm serious. You want to see? Want to see a version of Monokuma with his body all stretched out? It's gross. It's grotesque. No thanks. Just imagining it makes me want to puke. Oh, really? Such a shame. So cool. Don't you think Monokuma's such a nice guy? In a popularity contest, he'd take first place. I see. What the hell? So he's the one who reset the breaker? Well, in that case, I'm convinced that there's no way that we'd be able to reach that. If that's the case, how did the killer trip the circuit breaker? If they didn't trip it and set it to be tripped... Now then. I guess we're done with the office, don't you think so? We should get going now. I'd be sad if this whole thing was an accident. No, 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 never mind, it can't be an accident. Dumb crystal. Nothing in particular that catches my eye. Hmm. Hey, isn't Pekko the killer? I mean... No, accidental 10 stabs. No, I mean like if the first stab was accidental. I was thinking like if somebody fell onto him and like was carrying a knife. But the thing is, why would you be carrying a knife so casually? So I'm like, oh, what if you just like accidentally stab somebody in the dark? And then you're just like panicked. So you're like, ah, make sure that he's dead. <laughs> but no, it's like literally impossible in this case. She wandered off somewhere, even though that she was supposed to be in the office. When we were looking for Byakia after the blackout, I went to the office right away, but when I got here, she was gone. Okay, sorry. I had to refresh myself on that. Leave here. Yes. Yep. It looks like you pretty much finished looking around the old hey. building, so how about we check out Byakia's cottage? Yep. There might be clues there, so I thought it'd be good to check it out, just in case. I don't mind going there together, but aren't you worried about the possibility that I might be in danger? Hey. That might be- there might be danger? You mean, am I worried about you being the killer? <laughs> to be honest, I don't think you're the killer. In fact, I can't even imagine it. It's like, instead of living with doubt in others, it's so much better to die believing in others. We're doing this so we can live, you know? I see. As I thought, you sure are strong. You definitely are the chosen one, chosen by Hope's Peak Academy. All right! Let's get going. I don't know why, but every time we talk, I don't really know how I'm supposed to react. Oh, we left the building and there was a strange scene unfolding before me. Oh yeah, there is definitely a space underneath. I'm like thinking there was some gremlin underneath the hotel building that's like stabbing people from underneath with a knife through the gap or something. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, what are you doing? What am I doing, you say? Ha! Now that is truly a foolish question. Um, we're just checking to see if we can get under the floor from here. Under the floor? Why? Who said it was futile? Who decided it was impossible? How did you know I cannot recover my earring? If it is possible to get under the floor, It'll change our understanding of the murder, I think. I, uh, yeah. So I thought it was important to check it. I love her bag. I see. Never considered thinking of it like that. Wow, you stupid Nagito. See? Think about it. Hey. The carpet I laid didn't reach the table where we found Byakuya's body, right? And the dining hall floor had huge gaps between the floorboards. Is it possible that the killer killed Byakuya by stabbing him from underneath yep. the floor? That's what I thought, so I'm trying to see if we can get under it from here. Well? Mm, uh, I guess it's not possible to get under the floor from outside. The building is surrounded by firm fences, so there's no way to sneak under the floor from there. What? Me not bullying Nagito, not cool, Crystal. Get out of here! I will bully this man all I want. He's sus, okay? Even so, I couldn't find a way to get under the floor from the inside from inside the building either. 
Do you think that there's a possibility that there's a hidden hole somewhere? Wow. No, that's not possible. <laughs> Are you sure? At any rate, it seems that you can't get onto the floor from the outside of the building. That's a relief. But the fire door's on the inside of the building. If you could get onto the floor from the outside, there'd only be one logical suspect. And the only person who didn't come to the party and also doesn't have an alibi. Oh, right, Fihiko. So... I suspected him too. That's why I was checking it out, checking to see if it's possible to get under the floor from outside. Well, speaking of which, not long after I began guarding the entrance, Fuyuhiko came here. He did. Huh? What happened, Fuyuhiko? Huh? Hey, what are you doing here? All alone, at, all alone at a place like this. Yep. I'm standing guard so Monokuma doesn't come inside. Huh. How diligent of you. He's blushing. Hey, hey. <gasps> You're not coming to the party? What are you saying? Hell no, not even if you paid me. Parties are stupid. They make me want to puke. You want to come to the party, right? Isn't that why you came here? Of course not. I was just going for a damn walk. What? Do, do I have to report to you every time I want to go for a fucking walk? That's wrong. No, it's not like that, but... <laughs> leave me alone. Hmm. And then he just left. So that happened, but... Why did he come here? See? He probably wants to be part of the group, but he can't be honest about it. He believes that he's different from everyone else. That's why he's always alone. Hey, hey. He's like the main character of an RPG. Have you played those before? We start talking about video games. I see. Even though we don't really know what he's thinking, I don't think we have any reason to doubt him. Glad. Argo, thank you so much for the prime gaming sub. I appreciate it. That's a relief. I'm glad. You keep saying that you're glad, but we have no idea who the killer is, Nagito. <laughs> I guess we should. We uh, for now that we should stick to the plan and head over to Biakia's cottage. <laughs> As long as the probability is greater than zero, that will suffice. I have not unleashed even half of my power yet. I will most assuredly reclaim the Hellhound Earring with my own two hands. It seems he has no intention of investigating. Um, I guess for now I've discovered the building is surrounded by firm fences, so there's no way to sneak under the floor from here, from there, I think. Yep. Also, Fuyuhiko came by, but not off long after the party started. Fuyuhiko wanted to come in and be a part of the party. You wanted to be a part of the party, didn't you, you cutie? Huh? What the hell? Didn't they tell you to leave me alone? That's not happening. Didn't you hear Monokuma's announcement? Of course I did. Apparently, Byaki is the one who got killed. <laughs> so what? What did you just say? Do you think I'm the killer? Think whatever you want. I'm used to being mistrusted. Oh, baby, that's not why I'm... Whatever, just tell me what you were doing uh, while everyone else was at the party. Huh? Checking my alibi, huh. eh? Well, I don't have one. I was just chilling in my cottage all by myself during that time. The whole time? Jackie said that you, she saw you in front of the old building. Shut up! No, nosy Jeez. bitch! It's true, I went for a little walk, and then just by chance, I ended up passing by the old building. Were you really going for a walk? Don't tell me you were actually trying to join the party. Don't fuck with me! Why the hell would I do that? It's a coincidence! A coincidence! All right, I got it. <laughs> Dumbass. Uh-huh, just a coincidence. Uh-huh, I'm sure it's just a coincidence. All right. Let's head over to Byakuya's cottage. If we get if you get lost, check the map in the student handbook. No, I'll just press the X button and go to. Oh yeah, my mailbox. It, it keeps. Why are these controls so fucking ass? Jesus Christ! How do you digress so much from the first game? Use the first game's controls. Hey. It's locked. I guess we need to ask him for help. And so Nagito took a deep breath. Hey! Monokuma! Did you call me? Oh god. Nag Nagito, why when did you train Monokuma? Hey. 
Hey, Monokuma, I was wondering if you could do us a favor. There's something we want to investigate. This is so sus. What's this? Hey, who are you talking? Oh, that's Monokuma. Hey, who are you talking to? That's just my after image. <laughs> when I get serious, my after image is unleashed. What? I can even play soccer by myself and as, as long as I have this floating technique. It'd be boring to play alone. I don't have time for this. Just hurry up and open Byakuya's cottage already. Well... That it, this is for the class trial. It's something we really need. Hmm? For the class trial? This is troubling. If it's for the class trial, there's no way I can refuse. Now then, there's only one spell that can open these doors. Ba -ba -ba I'll leave the rest to you. I've unlocked the door. Now you can investigate to your heart's content. Va -va -va Why does it open with a magic spell? Because we're in a video game. Jeez. Probably powered by electricity. At any rate, that performance was a waste of time. I see. I guess we should go inside then. You're right. Room's interior design isn't that different from mine. There's not much to worry about. Books. Oh. Envelope. Uh-oh. There's an envelope on the table. Is it a letter someone sent to Byakia? That's weird. There's so there's no sender. That looks pretty suspicious. Hajime. You should check what's inside. Yeah, you're right. Why do I gotta do it? Why can't you do it? Is this why he threw a he threw a party? He was so insistent on throwing a party because of this. This is. Is this a crime warning? If it says "be careful," it's probably a threatening letter. Regardless, who would send something like this? Hey, this is why Biaki has suddenly decided to throw a party. The first kill will happen tonight because someone made this threat to Byakuya. He gathered everyone in one area and was extremely cautious about all the dangerous items. He was trying to create a scenario in which everyone could monitor each other. He thought if he did that, nobody would be able to kill anyone. So he believed this crazy letter? He couldn't ignore the possibility of this happening, even if it was just a worst case scenario. Remember what Byakuya kept saying? How, how he wouldn't let anyone become a victim? He couldn't overlook that slim possibility just to keep his promise? Then why did he keep it a secret if he had just told us? Nope. He probably couldn't. He probably thought that that was also a worst case scenario. What do you mean? If everyone knew what was in the letter, whether it's a lie or not, everyone would have likely begun to doubt each other. And at that point, there'd be no turning back. So, Miyakiya tried to do something about this all by himself without telling anyone. Yep. His strong sense of responsibility is the only explanation I can think of. Anyway, uh, whoever sent Byakia this letter also killed him, is that what you're saying? Sorry. No, this could be a prank. It might have nothing to do with Byakia's death after all. What was that? He suddenly became really quiet. He doesn't want to believe one of us could be a killer. But still, there, we've come all this way here and it's the only thing that I can think of. The only person who wrote this letter murdered Byakia. If that's the case, then that person completely predicted how Byakia would react once he received it, right? They planned to manipulate Byakia and killed him right before our eyes. Isn't Byakia supposed to be like the smart one getting baited like this? In my video game, either that's not actually the real Byakia or somebody in this group is actually way more five head and i refuse to believe it hey there's probably not much time left until the trial class trial starts probably <laughs> which reminds me you asked mihiro for a favor earlier right i wanted her to find out where everybody was standing just before the blackout she's probably finished by now you're coming with me right sorry that's all you what huh I need some time alone. I'd like to some. I'd like some time to collect my thoughts. Hey. 
Also, if you're going back to the old building, you should hear what Mikan has to say as well. I think the results of her autopsy should be ready by now. Bye now. He was pretty pale, I wonder if he's okay. But now's not the time for me to worry about Nagito. There isn't much time left, I better hurry over to the old building. Yikes. God, ah, uh, I just want the controls to not suck. I'm gonna be complaining about this the whole playthrough, I'm so sorry. This is just truly so bad. <laughs> what the? What the hell was that loud voice just now? That was Mr. Gundam. Did you take a shit yet? Huh? Feel so lighthearted right now. <laughs> I, Nekumaru Nidai, have been reborn! I have no intention of losing anymore! Losing to who? Oh. I won't lose to anyone, not even to my past self. That sounds cool and all, but what are you even talking about? Sure. <sighs> what? <laughs> I don't know who was behind it, but someone tried to make a shitty bastard out of me. Some scoundrel was occupying the bathroom before the party was able about to start. Now that you mention it, you said something like that shortly after the party started. Jeez. If you think I'd be angered by something like that, then you've all underestimated my nerve and patience. Oh. Do all and achieve all with one's presence of mind. That is the goal of a true leader. Yeah. In other words, a leader must never falter in any situation, but always have the presence of one's mind. He says that, but I'm pretty sure he was shaken up by that whole ordeal. Oh, well, best not to go into it. So you're saying that the bathroom door was shut from before the party started after the blackout. So what I mean is... The bathroom was fully, un finally unoccupied after Byakuya's body was found. That's about how long that lasted. What he said sounds stupid and irrelevant, but I guess I should remember it just in case. Of course it's relevant. So, the question is, what's in the bathroom? Let me take five years to turn around. Thank you, game. Very cool. There's no need for me to go inside. That is the biggest plot bullshit in the world. Why wouldn't the bathroom be important? Like, what the fuck? This is called a fire door. She memorized it as a barrier. Hero. <laughs> oh. Hey, I can't. It's just what? Everyone. What the hell? What's going on here? This is. Ow! Turn the damn lights off, you guys. Perhaps the. Hold on a sec. <laughs> <laughs> She's cute. She's gonna bite you again? Uh, hopefully not. Um, if you'd like, I can tell you a little bit about what I want to say. Did you find out anything? I tried, within reason, to perform an autopsy on Byakuya's body. And I discovered that there were several puncture wounds around Byakuya's chest and abdominal regions. D deep wounds! Deep enough to reach his lungs and internal organs! Ooh. It can be assumed that a very thin, sharp object around 5 millimeters in diameter was used to... ...stab him over and over again, which is what I b believe. Hey, are you okay? I'm sorry! Talking about it made me sad! No need to push yourself. I've mostly got the gist of what you wanted to say. <laughs> I'm sorry! Still around 5 millimeters in diameter. It's a skewer. That's a thick ass. Okay, whatever. Isn't that pretty thin? That's as thin as an ice pick in an all. 
I don't know, man. The skewers that I have in my uh, drawer in the kitchen are like two millimeters. Just as I thought, it seems that there's no way to get under the floor from inside the old building, maybe. If that's the case, I guess I should give up on finding Gundam's earring. Oops, didn't mean to press that. Wanted to talk to uh, our friend, Mihiro. Mihiru. Hey! Hey, you're here! Where the hell did you wander off to? I wasn't wondering. I was investigating as much as I could. <laughs> well, if you weren't slacking off, then I guess it's fine. Did you find anything? Hmm. Yeah, sorta. You don't sound too sure. Hey, just take a look at this. Um... Just as you told me, using the two photos I took before the blackout... I tried to pinpoint where everyone was standing. And when I did, this diagram was the result. I love this drawing, it's so cute. I've made this diagram from analyzing those photos, so I'm pretty sure it's accurate. Just as I thought, Byakuya was standing a far distance from that table. It's impossible, there's no way that he'd be able to move that far during the blackout. What's this line extending from the table where Byakuya was killed? Um, it's the desk lamp. I drew the power cord for it just in case. The power cord for the desk lamp? If that cord is extending from the table where Byakuya was killed, then that means... Hey, did you find something? It's not clear to me yet, hmm. but... I guess you're right. I didn't really understand it myself when I was drawing it. I have a feeling that it's either a potential clue or just a waste of labor. No, it wasn't a waste at all. Uh huh? It's not clear to me yet, but there's no mistake that a clue is hidden here. Um, an extremely important clue. Ding-a-donga-bing-a-bonga, wait, why don't we investigate the electric- Okay, whatever, we're not gonna look at that. Alrighty, guys! It's finally time! That's right! It's time for the long-awaited class trial! Oh boy, here well we go. Then, I shall tell you all the meeting place. At the central island of Jabberwock Island, there is a mountain with my adorable face carved into it! Woo! That, my friends, is Monokuma Rock! Once you're there, please proceed to the underground by taking the elevator located at the secret entrance. <laughs> I'll see you soon! A mountain with a carving of Monokuma's face at the central island. So I don't think the knife was the murder weapon. I think it was the skewer that was missing. Because the, the knife, I don't know, it doesn't seem accurate to the actual crime scene. Um, I think it was placed there later, but the, then it kind of wouldn't make sense for the glow either. It's a little weird. A little bit weird in that regard. I should check on my pet. Monokuma rock. Oh my god, why? All right, how's my pet doing? You got a lot of shit? Oh, oh, let's clean that shit. Oh, wow, I am so good to my pet. Oh boy, what do I do? What do I do? I really want the killer to be Teru so that he can die already. Um... It's just me hoping that it's Teru. Huh? Are you kidding me? Hey, what the heck is that mo mountain? When did that get there? Never mind that. How did they even make a mountain shaped like Monokuma? That story, that story might be true after all. There might be an enormous organization involved in all of this. You mean what Byakuya said before, you right? right. Byakuya, we still need- we still needed his knowledge. <laughs> still can't believe he's dead. Uh, 
What happened to Gundam and Fuyuhiko? Now that you mention it, it appears that they aren't here yet. I got it! I, I know, they probably ran away. And the fact that this girl no doesn't even give any fucks, like, she doesn't even care that anybody died. <laughs> Oh, hell nah! There's no way I'd let them escape, you know! Look, I dragged this one back over here! Don't fuck with me! I'm telling you, let me go! Hey, hey now. now! If you keep acting violent, I might just eat you up! Hey! Hey, Fuyuhiko, what were you doing all this time? Uh, nothing. I was just... I wasn't really doing anything. I was just chilling in my room when I suddenly heard that fat bastard had got killed. Who the fuck cares about that anyway? You. Oh! Me! <sighs> you, how can you say something so irresponsible? Do you understand? We've been doing our best to investigate this murder, even though we don't want to, just to survive. Wait! Mihiro, that's enough. You too, Fuyuhiko. Dumbass. Um... I guess we're waiting for Gundam. What happened? I am Sarah. right here. Now then, Remember this well. A main character arrives when he intends to. What? Hey. It seems you notice it too. <laughs> if I did, then I'm right. Well now. All right. Now that everyone's all together, he has his earring back. Uh. Anyway, let's take the secret entrance to the trial field. Wait. Please wait a second. This. My, my, Monami, just what are you doing here? Nobody asked for you. I... Well, what? Do you actually want to join in? You masochistic mascot. <laughs> Do you want to taste how powerless you are in the class trial? You're an even bigger masochist than I thought. Special bleeding service. I'm a big brother who dotes on his little sister. I shall allow your special participation. See ya later. I'll go on ahead and wait for you guys, so hurry over. Huh? What's going on? He mentioned something about a secret entrance, was it? Secret entrance? Hi! Oh, Monami! Ibuki! Oh, okay. Well? In RPG video games, it is common for secret areas to be underground. Comparing our situation to a video game. Because we are in a video game. So annoying. Jeez, how boring. You? Whatever, let's go inside already. <laughs> I don't give a flying fuck if that fat pig is dead. Who fucking cares? Seriously. Jesus. You humans have been spared! <laughs> okay. This is the worst. We gotta find the killer. If we don't, we're the ones who are gonna get killed. You were wondering about Gundam too, right? I mean, he found a way underneath. So that means that's where the killer was. This is definitely strange. Why is this happening? Why do we have to find the killer? It's Teru. Peck, are you doing okay? You look like you weren't feeling too well earlier. No. Don't worry about it. I appreciate your concern. However, there are other things that we should be focusing on. Damn it! I don't want to go. Is there any way that I can run away from this? That is a huge organization, so my kingdom has been cast in doubt. However, I do not think that my government would participate in something like this. Such a princess. That's weird. What happened, Hajime? Are you scared? Seriously, you're such a wuss. <laughs> this is our battle to avenge Byakuya, but I feel quite disheartened. It's- it's okay, buddy. It's okay. What the- something's shaking. Ooh, uh, 
This is dangerous. Everyone, please get down. Could it be he's... T it is it... Is he telling us to enter it? What? Such a suspicious aura! Even Crimson Steel Elephant Magazi is trembling with fear! Whoa! That's so totally suspicious! Hey, 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 hey! Forgive hey. me! Seriously, just forgive me already! Uh, <laughs> no way, no way, no... Stupid! Complaining won't get us anywhere. If you're really a man, then man up for God's sake! We've come this far. We have no choice but to keep moving forward. You're right, there's nowhere for us to run. We need to do it. Mm. If that's everyone's decision, I'll just follow you guys. Yep. If there were a video if this were a video game, it'd have a very high difficulty level. Let's do our best to clear the game. <laughs> Everything is a video game. Shaking with fear and nervousness, I hesitantly lifted my feet and stepped onto the escalator. I won't think- I won't think any anymore. If I think, I'll just run away. All I could do was stare upward intensely at the escalator as the escalator carried me. And when each of us entered Monokuma Rock- Oh god. Oh, we just got eaten. This is an elevator! I see this entire rock is an elevator! <sighs> Once again, Monokuma is doing what he pleases. However, however, if he's gone this far and made something like this, I don't think that he's playing around. <sighs> Even so, we're going pretty deep. You're right. I heard an unnerving chattering sound inside my head. I soon realized it was the sound of my teeth. All I could do was purse my lips tightly so everyone else couldn't hear it. Why does Nagito's hair always look so sus? Like, look at him. He looks so evil from this angle, man. Like, he looks like a fucking evil gremlin. Always, in all of these pictures. We were, there we were, listening to unpleasant roars as the elevator plunged deeper and deeper into the earth. Some time passed before the elevator finally finished ascending, and then the elevator door slowly opened. Ta -da! This is the class trial field. How do you like it? It's a special place that will decide your fate. Why, you? What the hell is he thinking? Locking us in a shit-looking place like Don't this? Fuck with me! Are you fucking crazy? Don't mess with me, asshole! <laughs> Complain all you like. I'm used to it by now. Yeah. <laughs> You're wasting your time and energy. Hurry up and take your seats where your names are written. It looks like everyone knows, even if we try to resist, it won't change a thing. Just as Monokuma ordered, we walked toward the seats we had been assigned. From this point on, we need to find out who killed Biakio! It was Teru. The ultimate affluent progeny, Biakia Togami. He was overly critical, arrogant, and condescending, but he also had a strong sense of responsibility. As we were panicking, he accepted his role as leader and tried his very best to keep us together. A guy like him... ...got murdered. The person who did it... ...is one of us? I can't believe it. There's no way I can believe it. But if it's really true... We need to find out by any means possible, because that's our only option. There is no way for us to survive unless we sacrifice the killer. And so, this life-threatening trial billowing with hope and despair has begun. Let's do this. Trial time. Oh, the music is back. Wow, they didn't change this? Okay. I didn't get any skill. Although they did say that I had to get them from the report card thing. 
Blue hue of our vacation is now a crimson red. Is the killer really one of us or is it someone else? The class trial starts now. Now then, let's begin with a simple explanation of the class trial. During the chocolate. class trial, you will present your arguments for who the killer Yo, is and vote for who done it. Oh my god, Mona in the background, correctly, Jesus Christ. Then only the blackened will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong person... Really needed water. Okay. I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and that person will earn the right to leave this island. S such a cruel rule. Before we begin, I'd like to confirm one thing. Is there really a killer among us? Most definitely. There's no doubt that the blackened is lurking among you. Such a sad state of affairs, isn't it? By the way, this class trial is gonna be 100% fair, so there's no need to worry. 100! I'm the type who hates favoritism no and bug. prejudice. Well, not as much as I hate Monami, of course. Wow. You Jesus. hate me that much? Now, let's begin. Y you're telling us to begin. But what are we supposed to do? No complaining, let's just settle this with our fist. <laughs> Were you even listening to the rules? Didn't that Byakuya bastard get killed in the dining hall, huh? Then everyone there is a fucking suspect. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what you're really trying to say is that you're not the killer, right? <laughs> No shit. You guys went off on your own and started killing each other. This has nothing to do with me. Uh, Callet, thank you so much for giving five subs to the community. I really appreciate it. Huh? That's really sweet. What does that mean? Thank you. Anyway, why don't we try talking about the most pressing issue on our minds? Huh. The most pressing issue on our minds? Is why is Teru Teru still really alive? Found the body. It's very strange to find a body underneath the table. That mystery. The reason why Bianca's body was discovered under the dining hall table. We can start with that, but ultimately we need to find out who murdered him. No shit. If we can't do that. No, thinking about if is a waste of time. We have to do this no matter what. The class trial has finally started! From this point on, I will provide simple tutorials. Yay! Please excuse my ear-tainting rudeness. As things progress during each class trial, you will engage in a number of non-stop debates. During these discussions, all your classmates will speak one another without any breaks. It's up to you to reveal any lies or mistakes contained within their statements. That means that you'll have to use your true bullets to review what they say out of all the true bullets you find during your investigation. Only the relevant ones will be loaded into the truth cylinder. Use the left stick to recite an X button. Okay. Please cl uh, pay close attention to each character's statements and choose your true bullets to blast the right ones. Note that if you run out of time, you will automatically fail, so please be careful. If you press the plus button during these arguments, you can review the controls. All right, cool. Gaps in the floorboard. Nice. Blood stain under the table. Gaps in the floorboard. Sounds more like it's relevant, but Why that's fine. Oh, wait, that probably private. is going to be later. In a place like oh, that. wait. His body was underneath the table. At the very back of the dining hall. After the killer murdered Byakuya, they probably moved the body there. Huh? Why? Obviously by hiding the body. They tried to delay its discovery. The cursor is always like moving. Like a dog burying a bone. Oh my god, Ibuki. The cursor is always moving. That's kind of annoying. Like even whenever it's just standing still, it moves. 
then that's not Joy-Con drift. What he just said was strange. It clearly contradicts the information I know. Why was Biyaku That's not Joy-Con drift. In a place that's just like the game. That. My drift is not like that. His body was underneath the table. That's so weird. At the very back of the dining hall. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Are they like trying to add difficulty? the body there. No, that's wrong. Definitely intentional. No, I don't think the killer moved the body. Oh, the music. Huh? Got something new here. Why? Try to remember what the body looked like when he found it under the table. Though there was a lot of blood everywhere, there was no sign the killer actually dragged the body through. So that's why you think it's impossible that the killer moved the body. I see. I get your point. Oh. And here I thought I had a genius idea. Too bad you're so stupid and boring and unpopular. Your life is meaningless. <laughs> Damn, girl. I respond better to praise, you know. Most people do. But if the killer didn't move the body, why was it under the table? Byakuya was probably killed under the table. What? You think he was killed under the table? So Byakuya snuck under the table for reasons unknown. And that's when he was killed. Then, shortly thereafter, we found his body under the table. Th that does make under sense. Under the table? Why did he go under the table? Under the table? Obviously, he was hiding so he could surprise us. That dude was always a big jokester. Chad, I hope you guys know where he was killed. The hell he was? You seriously couldn't I don't tell know if what you guys... kind of person he was? I hope you guys got that. Maybe he panicked during the blackout and dove under the table. Huh. Wow. I don't know. Maybe, maybe he was under the table. Just because the power went out doesn't mean he dive under the table. No, I think it was on top of the table. The reason why is probably connected to what Byakuya was doing during the party. Don't you think? The reason Byakuya dove under the table... If it's connected to what Byakuya was doing during the party, then it's probably... Oh, did I... Oh, no, this is part of the game. Um, oops. Display the problem. If it's connected to what Byakuya was doing during the party... Okay, oh god, the embarrassing pose. Can we just not? I forget everybody's account. Uh, oh, that's the bathroom. The autopsy. What did Kazuichi Soda say? Oh, he headed straight to the office. Jockey was saying, standing up, uh, guard outside so you can go came in after. Fire door, party dishes. The gas stove in the kitchen is powered by electricity. Uh huh. Irons. Ibuki said during the blackout, Ibuki was able to discern all the noise. Uh, the Durlian case. Okay, so the case. I think that's wrong. Okay, that's what he was doing during the party. He was getting all of the dangerous shit out. But okay, um, if it's connected to what Byaki was doing during the party, then it's probably. So this was found under the table where the body was found. It was above the table, actually. I hate looking at the embarrassing pose, Jesus Christ. Who thought that that was a good idea? <laughs> you could have like changed it, blurred it out, anything, but no, gotta have fan service in my video game. God damn it. Fuck off. No! Party dishes. Uh, it was definitely all the food he was eating. <laughs> Crap! I honestly don't know. Oh, the, the reason Byakuya dove under the table. Maybe the goggles? I 
don't know. I honestly don't fucking know. Why would he dive under because of the goggles, though? He dove under because he saw a knife. He dove under because he saw the, uh, maybe the blood stain was already there. I mean, there are a few options, I guess I have. I, I could say like three different things. Let's say he dove under the table because of uh, night vision goggles. <laughs> no. We're off to a great start. This is the first trial, by the way. Great start, great start. What if the bloodstain was already there? I think it was under the table. Oh, I had to go with the theme of, like, under the table, so, you know. Honestly, I'm so fucking lost right now. You get a lot more life in this game. I can prove it with this. Okay, so they're saying that he was collecting all the things, so he was surprised to see a knife there, so he wanted to confiscate it and it led him under the table. Okay. That's where they're going with that. Knife? Oh! You mean that thing that obviously screams, I am the murder weapon! But it can't be the murder weapon. Yaku, you probably noticed the knife was hidden there. So in order to get it, it moved under the table. He was particularly sensitive to the presence of dangerous items, so I cannot deny that possibility. But how did he notice that there was a knife under the table? He had his goggles. If he knew on. beforehand, he probably would have done something about it before the blackout, right? Tubiakio went so fast. Then, instead of knowing about it before, <laughs> under the table, he saw it right at that moment. Like, for example, he might have seen someone trying to take the knife out from under the table. No, that's not possible. Under the table. What? You seem rather confident about that. Of course. I have proof to back me up. <laughs> this is almost like a real trial! During the previous statement, there was only one weak spot. But from this point on, there will be various weak spots. Ooh! I have to rely on my logic, but what if I'm dumb? Knife! Oh my god, that is so many truth bullets. Okay, night vision goggles, AC timer, blood stains under the table, holy shit. I'm sure Byakuya ducked under the table. During the blackout. Probably the night vision goggles. That sounds correct. If that's the case... During the blackout, Mr. Ham Hands... Mr. Ham Hands, oh my god. Must have seen the killer take the knife. But it was super pitch black! It was so dark I couldn't see my boot! Byakuya couldn't see in the dark either. No, that's wrong! No, that's wrong! No, Byakuya was probably the only one who was able to see in the dark. Why do you say that? He was using those night vision goggles we found under the table. He could have seen what was happening. So, are you saying Byakuya was the one who used those night vision? Yeah, that seems to be the case. Your reasoning is out of focus. Excuse me, what? No, that's obviously wrong. It should be the other way around. Other way around? Seriously? The killer used those night vision goggles, not Byakuya. Were you surprised by Mihiro's sudden argument? I mean, just from how much she butted herself into it, yes, but no, not about what she said. Just between you and me, I was also surprised. Wow, that's crazy, I wasn't. Just kidding, I'm sorry. Okay, never mind. Dang it, this game keeps trolling me left and right. 
Now then, when this kind of argument surf surfaces, you will go in a one-on-one -on -one debate called Rebuttal Showdown. In this mode, you have to counter the other person's claim, draw out their weak spots, and argue against them. Please counter the other person's remarks with the left stick. Based on the shape of their remarks, it's important to know whether to cut vertically, sideways, or diagonally. And based on that, you can skew the debate's mood to your advantage. On the other hand, if you ignore the other person's remarks, it will skew toward their advantage. Huh. In the bottom right-hand corner of your screen, a number that shows the sharpness of your counter is displayed. This is the number of times you can cut remarks during one round of the debate. You will lose counts of sharpness even if you miss, so please be careful. When the mood skews to your advantage uh, for a certain length of time, the other party's argument changes. This means the conversation will develop. If that happens, they will end up divulging some weak spots. However, you cannot normally cut remarks that contain weak spots. Instead, it will skew the mood, mood toward the other party's advantage. Plus, it's going to be very big. Just like a regular debate, please refute any weak spots with X. Okay, I am... Uh, that completely went over my head. If you don't have the correct truth bullet, you will not be able to cut out your opponent's remark. Alright, truth blade. I'm terribly sorry. It appears that there's been delay in contacting you. I'll be make sure to the person in charge of contacting you takes a very long vacation. What the fuck? Truth bullets will be called truth blades. Uh, that's about it. Okay. Change in feeling is important if you plus Okay, okay, thank you. What the hell? This game. This game's on drugs. Okay, iron in the storage room, knife, uh, uh, we're definitely gonna present the case because it was just open. Use common sense. The killer obviously used those night vision goggles. That's gotta be it. I can't back down. I okay. Just a little bit more and I can draw something out next if time. You just use common sense. The killer obviously used those night vision goggles. That's gotta be it. Okay. If you just use common sense. The killer obviously used those night vision That's gotta be it. Ah! Oh. Oh. Let me hear her say what she wants to say and then find a point that I can argue against. Okay, okay. If you just okay. use common sense. Oh my god. The killer obviously used those night vision goggles. That's gotta be it. I can't back down. Okay. Oh my god. Got it. Where's your proof that the killer used them? Because if they used night vision goggles, then they could have killed Byakuya even in the dark. I mean, in reality, that's what happened. So those goggles were a plan in advance. The killer brought them to the crime scene. Ah! No! Fuck you! I found a hole in your argument! I'm sure Byakuya brought the night vision goggles. Need, uh, I need to refute Mihiro's claim with evidence. Because if they used night vision um, goggles, then they could have killed Byakuya even in the dark. No, I, mean, I still have the reality, case, man. That's what, so those goggles were a plan in advance. Okay. The killer brought them I'm to trying, the crime scene. I'm, I'm figuring this out. I don't understand. Because they were in the fucking case, woman. They were in the case, woman. I'm just going to keep slashing at you because I fucking hate you. They were in the fucking case. They were in the fucking case. What? Oh. I don't understand. Because if they used night vision goggles, then they could have killed Yakuya even in the dark. Slash. Oh, right. I mean, in reality, so those now goggles I get it. Oh, the easy game, easy game. Except I still fucked it up, and now I get it. You have to actually aim your thing at the words. Because if they use night vision I don't need goggles, to actually use a brain. Then they could have killed Yakuya even I mean, in reality. So those goggles were a Wait, I'm not even clicking the, the button. Scene. Wait, what? Oh, if I hold the left stick, it also triggers it. I thought A was the only trigger, but Damn if it. you just tilt to the left. I was over topic. She's gonna come back to the original topic. Uh, sorry. So also, just moving your left stick causes you to shoot. If you just use common sense. Oh. The killer obviously used those night vision goggles. That's gotta be it. So how does... Wait, I'm so confused about this. Overturn. That's for later. What is Kododama? What the hell?
Oh, you can still concentrate in this mode, too. If you just use... Or obviously use those night vision... That's gotta be it! Oh, okay, okay. Where's your proof that the killer used them? Use common sense, yeah! Because night vision goggles... And they could have killed Byakuya even in the enemy in reality. So those goggles no. were planned in advance. The killer brought them to the crime scene. Oh, that was the uh he brought them to the crime scene. No, they were in the fucking case. But no, okay. Let me look at my because other they use night vision goggles. Irons in the shortage room. Then they could have killed Byakuya even in the dark. Night. There's literally only I these three options. Reality, ah, so ah. those goggles were planned and the killer brought them to the crime scene. Wait, he brought the knife to the crime scene. Wait, how do I change? No, I'm getting all the controls mixed up. Oh my god, I cannot. I'm sorry, my brain is overloaded. The, the knife was brought. Uh, uh, it was later. Even in the dark. I mean, in reality, that's so those guys. The knife was uh, already planted there the way beforehand, scene. bitch. He brought the knife. Uh, uh, wait, the killer. The killer put the. Okay. I'm sure uh, Byakuya brought the night vision goggles. I need to refute with a claim because of evidence. Oh goggles, god, I don't fucking know. Byakuya, even I mean, in reality. So blue that, good. So those oh. goggles were planned. The killer brought them to the crime scene. Why does? Oh, there. Okay, there we go. Retreat. No, don't retreat. Do I suck. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Ah. If you just use common sense, the killer obviously used those night vision goggles. That's gotta be it. Whoa, what's going on? Where's your proof that the killer used them? Lord, uh, Lord Arceus, thank you so much for the t 20 gifted subs. Oh my god. More panic. Then they could have killed Byakuya even in the dark. I mean, in reality, that's what happened. So those goggles were planned and the killer brought them to the crime scene. Ah, uh, that's where it get fucks up. I was doing good. Um, thank you so much for the 20 gifted subs. I appreciate it. Ah, that's... Ah, uh, thank you. Because if they use night vision goggles, then they could have killed Yakuza. I'm assuming even blue means good, like I'm doing the good thing, and it's pushing, so that's good. That's what happened. So and then the combo's going up at the same time. The brought them to the crime scene. But then it goes red there, um, at the end. Uh, maybe I should change it to the actual thing. Okay. Because if they use night they really vision don't goggles, explain this. Then they could have killed Yakuza. They're even like, in the by dark. the way, use these blades. Okay. And we, and we, so those goggles were planned in advance. The killer brought them to the crime scene. Why does... Okay, I guess maybe I'm just using the wrong blade. Because I'm doing fine until because the end. Use night vision, then they could have killed Byakuya even in the dark. I mean, in reality... Why do the irons matter? So those goggles were planned in advance. The killer brought them to the crime scene. I'm so fucking lost. I can do it. I can't do it, man. Ugh. Okay, I'm at least getting the blade thing. Now I understand the blade thing. Because if they use night vision goggles, then they could have killed Yakuya if, I mean, in reality, that's what happened. So those goggles were planned. The killer brought them to the crime scene. No, oh god. Maybe, can I just ignore it, maybe? Or maybe I press the because A button they, at then that. Then they could have killed if, I mean, Shut up. In reality, Shut up, woman. So those goggles were planned in advance. The killer brought them to the crime scene. What if I... Damn it. Because if they use night vision goggles, then they could have killed Byakuya even in the dark. What is Kotodama? Oh. Uh, um. I mean, in reality, that's so those goggles were planned in advance. The killer brought them to the crime scene. What am I? Why? Why? <laughs> Silence, woman. Yeah. He brought them to the crime scene. Uh. What happens if I just like? No. What the fuck? There is no such thing. Hold on. I am pressing the right button, right? Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. That is doing the if right just, thing. The killer obviously used those knife. That's gotta so be. So overturn it. is wait, overturn is for later. Oh, I can also use the D-pad. Why is that a thing? Where's your proof that the killer used them? I'm not trolling. No, no, because no. Use, this is not explained yuck, yuck, that well. It's annoying. like oh, you can use blades, but so it, uh, uh, unless I missed it, it, it didn't really explain how to. 
what to do about the yellow. The killer brought them to like, the I'm assuming scene. you just use the right blade on it? But I'm not sure what to do about the yellow. You just use common sense. Stop telling me to use common sense, woman. I will kill you with a real fucking blade. I can't back down! I f God, I didn't push it fast enough. If you just use common sense. The killer obviously used those night vision goggles. That's gotta be it. I can't back down! Yay! I successfully pushed buttons that time. Where's your proof that the killer used them? Fire Truth Blade. So... I guess... Okay, let's try that then. Time's up. Oh! My time's up! Oh, I finally got it though! So there's a difference between just slashing the things and actually firing the... It's the same thing. I'm technically firing the blades. God game. Okay. Anyway. Hey, we're back! That means you this two, Hajime. This is my end. No, we have to retry. You will never give up. Oh my god. All right, Mahiro, bring it back, bitch. You're going down. If you just the killer obviously used those Shut up! that's got I'm be so it. sick of you. Where's your proof that the killer used them? At because least we get a chance. They could have killed Yakuya even in a in reality. That's what so those so goggles were playing to do. We slash. Killer brought them to the crime scene. There. Allow me to cut through those words. Allow me to cut through. Oh my god. Not worth it. Not worth no. it. Yakuya was definitely the one who brought those night vision goggles. Definitely. So it's like the same as the For regular what? trial where you like use the X to like fire at something, but it's a blade this time, and you're also cutting. This is so stupid. Inside Whatever. So I'm just Yakuya gonna think of it like the important. same way. Uh, yeah, the case. He brought it with him. You're a dumbass. Never talk again. I'm now fighting you. Which means we can assume that the night vision goggles were kept inside that Duralumen case as well. Thank you, Ibuki. This is why you're a waifu. Woohoo! I said assume. Ibuki never uses such clever language. Oh my god. Plus, Yakuya was the only one who could have taken the night vision goggles out of the case. Since he was carrying it around before the blackout in the first place. I see. When you put it like that, it makes sense. Yeah, shut up, woman. <laughs> then, was that knife inside the case too? <gasps> oh. If there were night vision goggles inside, it wouldn't be weird for a knife to be in there too. It would be weird. I am weird. Oh. Ooh, you that knife was brought in the Duralumen case along with the night vision goggles too. No, that's impossible. The knife was hidden in the dining hall before the party even started. I should be able to prove it. The duct tape. It was literally duct tape under the wall. Under under the wall. Under the table. Ah, uh, under the table! I see! There was duct tape left under the table where the body was found. Bullying Mahiru? Oh, come on. I'm never gonna live this down. They probably hit the knife by duct taping it to the underside of the tape. Oh, so that's why we found duct tape there. Though Byakuyo was thorough. Even he couldn't have noticed a weapon taped to the underside of the table. This may be off topic, but why was Byakuya acting so paranoid? Not only did he bring a self-defense kit, but he had night vision goggles inside the case too. Well... That's true. He went above and beyond being a little cautious. Now that you mention it, that applies to the dangerous items he confiscated as well. It's one thing to be a little cautious, but performing a body check is a bit much. He probably knew someone was planning to commit a murder. Are you saying he predicted the murder? Could it be? <laughs> was he also in possession of the all-seeing eye? <laughs> I love him. You think so too, right, Hajime? Uh, Byakuya probably knew that there was a possibility that a murder would occur. Oh, wow. I wonder why he thought that there was gonna be a murder. I can prove it with this. <laughs> the Everyone, hair. Can you please take a look at this? Oh, wait, I know the big plot twist of the game. I figured it out. Guys, it's super simple. It's super simple. 
Nagito and Hajime are brothers. Duh. Just look at the hair. They both have one single spike of hair. <laughs> that is exactly the same, just a different color. That is so simple. <laughs> They're brothers. Because, I mean, the hair. Look, that hair definitely runs in the family, okay? Like, they don't just both have the same hair for no reason. It's definitely because... Okay, like, they're brothers. Okay, okay, okay. They're related! Anyway, okay. <laughs> Assuming hairs? Get out! No! Be careful, the first kill happens tonight, so we'll definitely kill someone. Hey, the hell is this? Hajime and I found this in Byakuya's cottage. <sighs> it looks like a threatened letter someone sent for him. So, who's the someone? I mean, we got a lot of similarities. Nobody besides Monokuma would write such a dumb, threatening letter like that. Wasn't me! Are you sure? The only lies I tell are friendly lies! Those are still lies! What's a friendly lie? Doesn't matter who wrote it yet. No point in finishing the game now. I know, I got it all figured out, man. He probably decided to throw yeah, look at that hair at the top of his head. It totally matches mine. What do you mean? We are brothers by uh, way of single spiky hair sticking straight out of the center of head. In one place. He tried to create a situation where everyone could keep tabs on each other. In doing so, he tried to put the writer of the letter in a situation where he couldn't act. <laughs> but the letter might have been just a little prank. As long as he was determined I like not my to theory, let any okay? of us die, he couldn't take that risk. A strong sense of responsibility made him believe the letter was legitimate. Oh, he should have told us he received a threatening letter. If he had, we would have panicked. Yakuya probably knew that too. So, he tried to do something about it without telling anyone? I see. The strong sense of responsibility as our leader was his undoing. Screw that noise! Who the hell wrote that letter? It was me! Well, obviously, the killer. Why does the girl have such an evil smile? She's like, hee hee hee, it was me. Like, look at her. <laughs> look at her evil face. <laughs> Enough already! Show yourself, you coward! If they were willing to come forward, they never would have committed a murder in the first place. Chat, you did it. I know you did it. Someone in this room killed Byakuya. There's no way I can believe that um, yet. Pardon me. Can I say something, please? Anything, Sonia. What is it, Miss Sonia? <laughs> I regret that I must return to this topic, but I just realized something concerning the night vision goggles. What? If Byakuya was indeed wearing those goggles, how did the killer manage to navigate in the dark? You're right. They wouldn't have because been able he to was see outside. The night he was underneath goggles. of the floor. But if the murderer had the goggles when they took the knife, then how did Byakuya see them? Even if the knife bore some sort of mark, it would have been difficult to see it in that darkness. No, the killer definitely used a mark. And because of that mark, the killer was able to get to the knife from under the table into his hands. Wait, what are they trying to say here? Uh, sure, yeah, but the glowing paint. I see! What if the glowing paint was the I mark? like the under the that, thing be able to theory, the even, in the dark. even though it's not realistic at this point, but... In actuality, the knife we found I still under think the this table. is bait, whatever. <laughs> Maybe two people attempted? Eh, I'm gonna be... They were both marked with glowing <laughs> paint, right? Does that mean the killer painted them in advance? But painting them with glowing paint? It's as if they knew the blackout was going to happen. No. They had to have already known. That's why they used the glowing paint as a mark. Which means whoever set up the blackout is the killer. That seals it. The killer is whoever was in the office with the circuit breaker. 
No. How do you get to that logic? Which means it was you, Peko Pekoyama. Poor Peko. She doesn't deserve yeah. this. Peko killed poor Biakuya. Oh. Was this island not big enough for two glasses wearers? I'm not the killer. <laughs> Not, not big enough for two glasses wears. Oh my god. Oh, I guess she's not. How can you believe her so easily? But with Echo's height, I don't think she'd be able to reach the circuit breaker in the office. Echo didn't do it. I don't care about a technicality like that. Echo's the one who tripped the breaker and caused the blackout. Shut up, soda. By tripping the breaker directly from the office, Pekka was the one who caused the blackout. Is that really what happened? No. Blue-colored weak spots will start appearing. Argue spots. The blue-colored weak spots will be called agree spots. When shooting agree spots with true bullets, you need to flip your way of thinking. Oh. Instead of arguing that the other person's testimony contains lies or mistakes, fire, tr fire the truth bullets that prove that the other person's testimony is correct. With you, when your truth bullets merge with their weakness, it will become a logically sound agreement. Isn't it a little hot in here? From now on, you must infer whether it's best to argue or agree based on what's being debated. If you press the plus button during these arguments, you can review the controls. Okay. How am I supposed to remember everyone's account? Neko Maru's account was the bathroom, Taro was the stove. Since Pekka was in the office, she could have caused the blackout at any time. That's impossible. Huh? Why is it impossible? I don't remember everybody's account. Wait, Chiaki's account was the outside thing, so that's not relevant. Because I was not in the office. Not even before the blackout. What happened to your guard duty? Sorry. Oh, you weren't in the office? Shut up. That's clearly a desperate excuse. Oh, poor Pekko. Since Pekko was in the office, she could have caused the blackout at any time. I actually like this idea with agreeing thing. That's a good idea. Huh? Why is it impossible? Because I was not in the office. Not even before the blackout. I don't think this is it. No. I agree with that. Oh, wait, is it? I, uh, it's the only thing that made sense. The other two accounts didn't make sense. No, I think Pekka was telling the truth. Don't tell me you're crushing Consent? on Peko. Consent? <laughs> it's nothing like that at all. Mikumaru's account is actually Peko's alibi. It's true. Someone was occupying the bathroom for a long time shortly after the party started, and it was finally freed up after Byakuya's body was discovered. <sighs> Then the person who was in the bathroom that whole time was actually... Everyone else besides Pekka was in the dining hall after the party started, right? Oh, I poor Pekka. So there's no way anybody else could have locked themselves in the bathroom except Pekka. I... I guess that would be... true. What do you mean you, you guess? You locked yourself in the commode? You should have said so earlier! There's no way she'd actually say that. Gosh, you are so insensitive. If she locked herself in the bathroom for that long, there's no doubt. Shit. It's shit. It's <laughs> shit. Women oh, take no shits, man. There's no way she'd admit she was taking a shit. Hey, weren't you guys taught any basic manners, or were you raised in a locker room? No, I'm sorry. It's fine. Poor Pat. How about we stop talking about this and... Don't worry. The smell wasn't that strong. I used the bathroom right after, so you can trust me. Not helping, bro. <laughs> I said it's fine. Oh, poor Pekka. But still, you were in the bathroom for a really long time. Did you get food poisoning or something? As soon as I stepped into the office, I felt this sudden rush of pain in my stomach. Because of that, 
I was unable to leave the bathroom, including when the blackout occurred. Hey, how did it feel to... Seriously, stop it. Thank you. But still, your stomach pain. Was that really just a coincidence? Hey, what's the deal? Don't butt into other people's business, especially if you didn't do any investigating. <laughs> I'm only butting in because you fucking idiots are out of your element. Stop this <laughs> childish nonsense. Just what do you mean childish by Childish nonsense. What I mean is, is it possible someone slipped her some laxatives? Laxatives? If so, the killer could have tripped the breaker as soon as that girl left the office, don't you think? I see. That might have happened. Poor Pecco. This guy needs to go to fucking jail, dude. <laughs> so bad. This question is whether Pecco's stomachache was a coincidence or if someone intentionally caused it. Depending on the answer, the outcome of this trial could change drastically. AC timer, embarrassing pose, party dishes. Oh god, all of these answers I do not like. Did you eat anything weird? Oh, the party dishes. Please be Taro. I really want the killer to be Taro. Now that you mention it. You brought food to the office, right? Just a little bit from the dining hall. There might have been some laxatives in it, don't you think? Taro Taro cooked the food, how suspicious! Mm. I, I wouldn't do anything like that! Uh-huh, uh-huh, you'd be sweating. Laxatives would ruin the taste! Uh-huh. Whether Pekka's stomach ache was a coincidence or if someone intentionally caused it. So we Did have... Did you eat anything weird? Uh, AC timer. I don't remember eating anything weird. Now that you mention it, I guess I'll try the, the party office. dishes. There might have been some laxatives. Tara, Tara, cook the I wouldn't do anything like that. Laxatives would ruin the food. Did I miss? Oh, I might have missed. Oh, it's not it. Okay. I didn't put any laxatives in my dishes. Crap. I just want you to be the murderer so you can die. Did you eat anything weird? Uh, I don't remember eating anything weird. Definitely not wrong. Now that you mention it. Why well, I don't understand why the embarrassing pose would help you. You brought food to the office, right? Just a little bit from the dining hall. Whoops. There might have been that. some laxatives in it, don't you think? I don't know. Do it there. No, that's wrong. That's wrong. No. It's impossible that laxatives were slipped into the food in the dining hall. Because Pekka wasn't the only one who ate that food. Akane ate some of it too. If the food had laxatives in it, I'm pretty sure Akane would have had stomach issues as well. I feel totally fine. Like I said, the, the dishes are innocent. Don't go making weird accusations. I apologize for causing the scene. Fuyuhiko should apologize, not you. He's the one who made the laxative accusation. What the fuck did you say, bitch? Cease this bickering. Oh. Okay, go off, Queen. Let's just dismiss Pecco's stomachache as a coincidence. Yeah, yeah. We already know that, you trashy skank. You don't have to tell us. T trashy skank? As long as the murder happened during the blackout, then the blackout itself is what is actually important. So we need to make it clear how that blackout occurred. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, irons in the storage room. I think it has to be the irons. Or, like, wh something- Who the breaker and how did they do it? No, no, no. If you can't answer that, I'm gonna bop you on the head. Terra Terra's account was about the stove. Did they throw a stone and hit it? Maybe they used a remote control? They probably messed with the breaker. No? Okay. If they were able to their gear, I think they'd be able to trip it as well. Am I wrong? Crap. No, 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 no. You're not wrong, honey. I was trying to agree with you. Who tripped the breaker and how did they do it? If you can't answer that, I'm gonna bop you on the head. Oh. Did they throw a stone and hit it? Maybe they used a remote control? They probably messed with the breaker. 
It does not have to be the breaker. Oh, I should have kept going. They may have tampered with the power supply and transmitters. Let's go with that. Damn it. <laughs> I should keep going. <laughs> they overloaded the it. And how do they get it? I'm going too early. Maybe they used a remote control. Probably, but it does not have to be the thing. They may have tampered with the power supply and transmitters. Or maybe they caused a power surge? Yeah, that one. It's gotta be that one. Thank you. <laughs> I, I agree with that. A little bit too ahead of myself. It's just as my Lou said. The blackout was caused by a power surge. Of course, that's not a coincidence. Someone caused it. Which is why those three irons were arranged to cause the blackout. And you found them right after the blackout. The irons were still on, right? So by leaving those irons on in the storage room, they deliberately caused a power surge. Yeah. It seems that's how the killer caused the blackout. Stupid fool! Oh no, don't fight me. I don't like this whole fight thing. Hold on a second, let me speak to- My first experience was bad, man. But I think I got it now. What the heck? You say the irons in the storage room were used to trigger the blackout? That's inexcusable! It's just an iron, man. Why are you getting so worked up over this? AC timer... yeah, probably that. If the irons in the storage room caused the blackout, then for the killer to turn the irons on, you're saying they went all the way to the store, and that means everyone who was in the dining hall when the blackout occurred can't be a suspect. And then No, just because people were in the dining hall doesn't mean they're not a suspect. But the people in the dining hall weren't able to cause the blackout. If the, then the killer had to go to the storage room before that and turn on the iron. Now do you intend to take back what you said? No. The irons were responsible for the blackout. That shouldn't be the only reason. The people in the dining hall weren't able to cause the blackout. If the irons caused oh, the, shit. the killer had to go to the storage room before <laughs> that. Shit, shit, shit. I was supposed to press X. Retreat! Damn it! If the irons in the storage room caused the blackout, then for the At killer to I turn understand. the irons on. You're saying they went all the way to the storage room? Then that means everyone who was when the blackout occurred can't be a suspect. Whee! Exceed! No, just because people were in the dining hall doesn't mean they're not a suspect. But the people in the if the then the killer no! had to go to the storage room before that. It's fine. Everything's iron. fine. Don't now worry do you about it. you intend to take back what you said? I'm not taking back what I said. Cause if it's weird, because if I wait the too long, the, the thing will disappear. Able to cause the blackout. If the irons cause so, the blackout. It's a little bit strange. Allow me to cut through those words. Yeah, cut through those words. The irons are just one reason the blackout occurred, but they weren't the direct trigger. The direct trigger was when the air conditioners in the dining hall and office clicked on. The air conditioners! The timers for both air conditioners were set to 11.30 p.m. 11.30 p.m.? Mr. Ham Ham's died around that time, too! I see. When the timers activated the air conditioners, the breaker was tripped and caused a blackout. I see! I understand! In Indubitably? Indubitably! They probably That's a big word for him. ...building's energy usage in advance. So once they set the air conditioner's timers, they just had to wait until they started up on their own. If so, even if Pekka was in the office, it still would have been possible to cause a blackout, indubitably. Indubitably. Indubitably? Miss Sonia, not you too. Indubitably. Regarding the energy usage, they probably asked Monokuma about it. Dun, dun, dun. Is she right? Such a hateful fear. You deserve to die a thousand deaths. A thousand, you say? If I died that many times, I might really stay dead, you know? Shut up! You guys just stay quiet! I couldn't have prevented the blackout even if I was in the office. Even so, no regret. If I was in the office, I could have reset the breaker in time. And maybe the murder wouldn't have occurred. No. The breaker in the office was built into a high area of the wall that's impossible to reach. 
Resetting the breaker in that darkness would have been impossible, no matter what. Sounds like you don't need to blame yourself. Even so, the killer is so sly. I'm starting to worry we may never actually find them. It's all right. You don't have to worry. Because they're just a petty killer, right? They can't defeat symbols of hope like you guys. Huh? There's no way everybody will lose now. This little incident will just be a stepping stone for you all. In the end, hope always wins. That's what I believe. N Nagito? W what happened to you? Huh? What do you mean? Well... You have been saying this whole time that there's no way a killer could be among us. Oh, huh. is that so? Well, let's just put that minor detail aside for now and talk about the incident. For now, uh. we found out how the blackout occurred. Uh. The question is, who caused it, right? Anybody could have hid and set the timers for the, the air conditioners. The hello. Setting up the irons in the storage room could have been done before Byakuya set foot in the old building. What a shame. Any one of us is capable of that. What are you implying? He's just saying, after all this time, we still haven't made any progress. Huh? Even though we have been arguing for so long? Unfortunately, this is the truth. Despite the fact that we've discussed this at length, not even one clue that leads to the killer. But that might be because there's no way any of us could be a killer. You, you're changing your story again? Uh, is this guy on drugs? Anyway, I have an idea about what we all should do at this point. Has anyone thought about our situation like this? Instead of surviving by doubting others, isn't it better to get killed for believing in others? Doesn't that mean... Are you saying we should all just give up and die? He's on hopium. Get out of here. Nagito, there's definitely something wrong with you. <laughs> you guys only think there's something wrong with me because there's something wrong with you. Suspecting each other like this. There's no way that's healthy behavior. Let's stop this already. We don't have to find out who the killer is. It's you. I can't stand this anymore. I don't want to do this to my friends. I... I don't want to do this either. <sighs> me too. Please, take me home already. <laughs> Shut up, no one cares. Stop it. If everyone acts like this, I... I'm gonna... Everyone calm down. We're all friends, aren't we? There's no way one friend would murder another. Are you and okay? why did Yakuya die? Who cares? Let's just give up already. There are no clues that lead to the killer anyway. Not a single one. That's wrong. I think. Uh, mods, feel free to be more harsh on the chat. Like, longer than 10 minute timeouts. Just go ham on people, I don't care. Did you say something? I see. We've already found a clue that might point to who the killer is. You know who the killer is? The killer? I don't know. But we do have a clue about a suspicious person. Chiaki best girl. She's the fucking waifu. Let's go. I see. Then care to tell me, what's this clue you're talking about? First of all, let's start thinking about how the killer was able to obtain the knife during the blackout. Didn't we already cover that? They use glowing paint as a mark. No, not that. I mean before that. Before. Is she asking how the killer got close to the table? 
Even if they had to obtain the knife by relying on the glow from the paint in order to do that, they needed to get close to the table while it was still dark. Let's try examining the situation. My hero's diagram might be useful to you. The diagram of where everyone was standing before the blackout, right? Um, here it is! Oh, no. Nagito was right there. And it's clearly shown in this diagram. The music is too loud? Uh, like over my voice? Or you mean like in game? I don't know if I can, uh... Over the in-game voices. Okay, okay. I figure that's what you meant. I just wanted to make sure. It's crazy because the, the the voices are already louder than the background music. Look at this. I guess I'll just take it. Uh, yeah, take it to the next dial then. Got it. It's already wow. I can't imagine what it would be if it was even. Holy shit. Okay, first we need to discuss how the killer was able to move to that table in the dark. The killer probably used something to help them move in the dark. I mean... Here! You just follow the cord. The killer must have used the desk lamp to move to that table in the dark. The desk lamp? I hope you don't mean they turned on a light or something. Come on, man. I was really hoping it wasn't you. There was a blackout. It's terror. There's no it's way terror. the killer could have used the desk lamp. It's terror. It's terror. Of course, there's no way that they used the desk lamp's light. The killer actually used the power cord to get there. I can prove it with this. Oh, God. It's terror. It's terror. They didn't turn the desk lamp on. They used its power cord. Power cord? They could have felt their way to that table using the power cord, right? By doing that, the killer was able to move to the table, then use the glowing paint to find the knife. And there's only one person here who could have done that. Who? It's Teru. It's Teru. It's definitely Teru. Definitely Teru. Definitely Teru. Am I sure it's that person? Yeah, just kill him. It's, um, it's actually Biakia. Biakia is the victim. Oh, really? I didn't notice. Stop fooling around. But what if I want to fool around? It's Teru. This is way too weird. Man, I suspected him early because uh, there's something weird here. Like he he was the person that cleaned the whole place, so obviously he would have time to set things up. But like, you're the only one. Nah, there's there's more here because this is this is weird. It was you, wasn't it? M me? Judging from everyone's positions before the blackout, the only person near the power cord was you. Which means I hung out with this the guy. Only one have felt I hung out. The, the only two people I've hung out with this in this game so far Nagito. is Byakuya and uh and Nagito, and they're the two people that are leaving. They're the two people that are dead. What am I supposed to do? I hung out with them. And they're both gone. This game sucks. I have nothing to live for anymore but my two waifus. That's it. Maybe three waifus. Sonia is getting pretty cool. <laughs> That's just a coincidence. But still, you had a chance, right? Nagito's chance to hide the knife under the table was when he was cleaning. I see! Nagito, weren't you cleaning the dining hall all morning? If so, you would have had a chance to hide it's the knife. It's Teru. 
That's... It's terrible. You factor in the power cord and the time you spent cleaning. You're the only one who could have done it. Seriously! That's all just a coincidence! If it was just one coincidence, it'd be fine. But when it's one right after another... Uh, Rose, thank you so much for the tier one sub. I really appreciate the support. I hope you enjoy the emotes. I wonder, is something like that even possible? Could it be? Did you give yourself cleaning duty on purpose so you could hide the knife under the table? Now that you mention it, Nagito did prepare the drawing to pick who cleaned the dining hall. Yeah, home. and you always clean in pairs. Like, why would one person do all of the cleaning when you can just have a buddy and make it done so much faster? You rigged the drawing, didn't you? That's how you got picked to clean the dining hall. I don't know if you're the killer or not, but regardless, it proves that you're suspicious, no, 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 right? No, no, no. It's it's still Teru. Uh 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 the guy, thank you so much for the tier one sub. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoy the emotes. No, 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 no. And a goatly, thank you as well. I appreciate it, guys. If that's the case, that strange speech you made earlier. That was part of your plan, too. You got us to lower our guard and tried to hide the fact that you did it, didn't you, you motherfucker? Well, just admit it already! It's Teru. <laughs> Even though you're still really weird, but like... Nagito, tell me you object to this. Frankly, I don't want to believe it either. We investigated together. You were so kind. I can't believe you're the one who killed Yakuya. <laughs> Nagito... Say something! <laughs> oh god, what's his face gonna look like? I'm so nervous about his sprite right now. His sprite's gonna be fucking insane, is it? <laughs> ah! The ultimates are working together to combat the despair of their friend's death! How wonderful! How beautiful it is! Huh? Those eyes! At that moment, Nagito's eyes! The darkness in his eyes shone brightly as if layers upon layers of darkness were folding into each other. As if hope and despair had been crudely mixed together. Let's cut to the chase. You're correct. It was my doing all along. I'm the one who hid the knife under the table before the party started. I'm the one who used the power cord to find my way to the table in the dark. And of course, I'm the one who caused the blackout. After all, there's no way I'd knowingly whip out a knife in front of everyone, right? Uh, is it just me, or does he seem a little nuts right now? Uh, he always was, but like, it's weird. But I never expected Byakuya to have night vision guns. Because of that, we had ourselves a little scuffle under the table. And, well, we all saw how that played out. Twist ending like this, I think we can all agree this ended up being a very interesting mystery. <laughs> Yakuya performed admirably. Just stop it already! Seriously! What the hell happened to you? Don't tell me. Is this your true nature? Were you lying to us this entire time? Me? Lie? That's outrageous! There's no way someone like me could have lied to you guys. I understand that than anyone else would be ultimately worthless. Too arrogant to have dreams or cling to hope. Too disdainful to actually try at anything. I've made peace with the fact that I'm a lowly, stupid, insignificant human who can't do anything right. Human? I'm convinced you're not human. Holy crap! He's totally the type of guy who spent his childhood killing neighborhood pets! He seems like the sort of person whose eyes light up while watching Friday the 13th. 
just like me. <laughs> Sonia. That's quite the hobby you have there. But, like, now's not really the time to bring it up. This guy, is he... Is he the real Nagito? Yeah, no. I, I, is he, like, a fucking... I don't- I don't think he's human, man. Hey, Nagito! If you were behind all of this, then did you also send that threatening letter? Yep, I sure did. There's nobody else on this island whose handwriting is that painful to look at, right? It's not that bad, I've seen worse. But why would you send a threatening letter in the first place? I think... somewhere deep in my heart. I was probably hoping to find someone who would stop my evil deeds. Well, I bet if that really was my reason, at least some of you would feel sorry for me. Are you making fun of us? By threatening Yakuya, Nagito was likely able to manipulate his actions. the office. Yep. Oh, I get it. If Peckle was guarding the storage room, Nagito wouldn't have been able to use the irons. The threatening letter, along with all your suggestions, it was all a trap to manipulate us. Yep, that's true too. But you're wrong about one thing. I didn't need to rig the drawing for cleaning duty, you know? <laughs> if that's true, then how did you conveniently get picked for cleaning duty? I see. Well, there's no way I'd expect you to remember it. A worthless talent for a worthless human. Akito's talent? I believe his talent was Lucky Student. Ultimate baby face. Um, ultimate baby face. You're the ultimate baby face, right? Everyone's just judging me. Why the hell are you looking at me? Do you want to sleep with the motherfucking fishes? <laughs> Calm down, Hajime. Don't say unnecessary things just to pick a fight. Crap. I really want to go through the other responses. U ultimate, uh, ultimate transporter? Yeah, that one. What are you talking about? A real man wears a white bundoshi. Shut up, both of you. Hajime, be more serious. Crap. He's the ultimate unlucky student. I understand what you're trying to say. An awful talent like that is what I truly deserve. That's really close, but you're wrong. That's not my talent. Crap! I see! You're the ultimate lucky student. Then... Did you? That's right. I just trusted my luck. I trusted I'd be picked for cleaning duty. You just relied on your luck? It's not just luck. It's true my talent sucks, but I'm still the ultimate lucky student, you know? I'm left with the red mark. For someone called the ultimate lucky student, don't seem very lucky right now. But he time, was! Hajime said I wasn't lucky, but it was actually the opposite. I was lucky. That's why I got picked for cleaning duty, just like I wanted. Enough. That... I don't care about that anymore. More importantly, why did you kill Byakuya? Answer me! Byakuya was a very capable leader. For someone like him to get killed? The despair breaks. It's only fitting that you symbols of hope should use his death as a stepping stone to shine even brighter. That was my only motivation. You're not making any sense! Fine. Let's start the damn vote already. I'm ready to fucking kill this psycho. Please! Monokuma! Please! Wait! 
to what she has to say? But we know who simply listening is acceptable. However, I won't allow this to end with mere play. Now then, let us lift the curtain for our bloody spectacle. From this point on, lines of white news will appeal. Okay. He has already confessed. Give me a second. I don't remember Kazuichi's account. I don't remember it. What was it? Oh, he had he headed straight to the office. Don't tell me it was you. Um, you know. That bastard Nagito is the one who did it. He killed Byakuya with a knife he hit. Wait, so Thanks for wasting our time, skanky bitch! Jesus Christ. The autopsy results. Oh, results. oh, the autopsy results. Okay. Let me make sure. I wanna, uh... Cause yeah, it's her autopsy. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Let me, uh, it was the 5mm... Cause it, it's not the knife, that's the murder weapon. Uh, 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 uh... We already had suspected that. Wait, where is... Uh, okay. Has already confessed. Um, you know, that bastard Nagito is the one who he killed Byakuya with a knife he hit. No, that's wrong. No, that's wrong. That knife might not be the murder weapon. That's what you wanted to say, right, Mikon? The hell are you talking about? It's obvious the knife was the murder weapon. But based on the entry wounds on Yakuya's body. The actual weapon should be roughly five millimeters in diameter. Five millimeters in diameter? That's like way skinnier than a knife. Hey, that better be true. If you screwed up, I'll sell your fucking ass to a whorehouse. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Not a whorehouse? Hey, why are you threatening her? Is this what you're trying to say, Nikon? As long as we can't prove that the knife is the murder weapon, we can't assume that I'm the killer. What are you saying? No one else can be the killer. It has to be you. Hey, Teru. don't blame me. Mika's the one who said it. I'm sorry. Hey, Nagito. Are you still hiding something? Oh, he's hiding a lot of things. Uh, hiding? Like, during the blackout. Did something happen between you and Byakuya that we don't know about? Who knows? Oh. <laughs> Bro. After all this, what else do you intend to hide? Jeez, the moment your back's against the wall, you get all silent. You piss me off. What happened during the blackout? Hmm. Oh! <laughs> If you cross your eyes like this, it gives you double vision! Don't get distracted! Our lives are at stake, you know! Huh? Who's 
life is at stake. Seriously, how long is it gonna take for you to understand the damn rules? Nobody can see in the dark, no matter how hard you think about it. The truth is beyond your sight. Don't you think that's a pretty clever metaphor? Despite the fact that it came from me? Bro, I don't know what to think. You're fucking with my brain so hard. That's not it. Not it? What's not it? The truth is beyond our sight. No, that can't be it. There should be some way to find out what happened in the dark. I didn't actually want to present the fire door. Mm. Crap! <clears throat> I wanted to look at it. Uh, oh, hello? I wanted to look at the fire door. Oh, it doesn't really say anything. Maybe shut the the fire from spot. Um, anyway, so the... do we... Do we mention this here? Uh... Kind of makes sense, let's hope. No, okay. If someone was below... okay, never mind, okay. Are you bored too? Our lives are at stake here, so you better get serious. That was a good guess! Ugh, oh, not the embarrassing pose. I hate that I- I hate that it looked- Ugh. I hate that I looked at it. No, no, no. No. I'm not sure where they're going with this right now. This is one of those classic moments where it's like, I know where this is going, but I don't know what they want me to say right now to get it kickstarted. That's why I thought the gaps in the floorboard would do that. There's a lot of deleted messages. Yeah, go ham. Go ham. Uh, mods. I'm kind of, like, tired of it. Just... If you need to just ban people, do it. It's annoying. Or emote only, whatever. Okay, so technically we have this. Oh, that's probably where they want me to go. Oh, uh, that would make sense, because she's the one that heard the people in the darkness. I can prove it with this. Right, okay. Let's go this direction. Even if we couldn't see what happened in the dark, I'm pretty sure someone could have heard it. Isn't that right, Ibuki? Oh, real? Don't act so surprised. Remember? Everyone was shouting during the blackout. Uh, everyone, calm down. We gotta stay calm in a situation like this. Ah, don't step on my bee. What the hell? What's going on here? This, this is. Ow! Turn the damn lights on. I can't eat like this, you know. You guys, where are you? W wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? Perhaps the breaker overloaded? Hold on a sec. I'll go along the wall and do something about it. Hmm. Such perceptive hearing. Impressive. Mm. I'd expect no less from the ultimate musician. It's a good thing your ears are awesome because your face, style, figure, and personality totally suck. <laughs> You've cut me deep with your knife of truth. Oh, it's not a knife of truth, honey. Ibuki, you're a waifu. Just don't listen to her. She fucking sucks. However, after hearing what Byakuya and Nagito said in the dark, 
What the hell? What's going on here? Th this is... Ow! It almost sounds like... Byakuya fought back against Nagito or something. Well, that's actually what happened. As a sign of respect for Ibuki's talent, I have a small confession to make. This guy is so weird. I was actually shoved out from under the table by Byakuya. He shoved you out? Just as the blackout occurred, I hurried to duck under the table and grab the knife. But Byakuya, wearing his night vision goggles, caught me and shoved me right out from under the table. That's right. I'm so incompetent that I couldn't even grab the knife. Byakuya stopped him when he was trying to get the knife. He got shoved out from under the table before he could even grab it. Sounds plausible, I mean, just from listening to what they both said at the time. What the hell? The, the, Ow! I didn't need to hear it again. I can interpret it like that. No, actually, now that I think about it, that sounds like exactly what happened. After getting shoved out from under the table, I was just as confused as you guys. I lost sight of the glowing paint. I didn't even know where the power cord was. Before I realized it, the lights had come back on. Yakuya's body was lying under the table. Ho hold on! Are you saying you're not the killer? From the very beginning, the idea to throw a party, hiding the knife, setting up the blackout, it was all going according to plan. But unfortunately, my plan failed. And all thanks to Yakuya's night vision goggles. What happened after that? Even I don't know. You failed? Then you're not the one who killed Byakuya? Then we're right back to square one! But how can that be? I we spent all this fairy. time talking back and forth! Meaningless. Meaning oh, meaningless. Okay. So much to spare. Oh my god. But you can't give up. You need to have hope. Do your best and move forward! Bro, you are some kind of... My brain can't comprehend literally anything you're saying. Rising to the challenge again and again is why you guys are the symbols of hope. I've never been so perplexed with a character. <laughs> is Nagito really not the killer? This guy really the Nagito I knew before? I don't fucking know, dude. I don't think he's human. No, there's no way I can say that. I just thought I knew him, but this whole time I didn't know anything about this guy. I didn't know his true character. It's as simple as that. But now is not the time for me to dwell on that. I, we need to find Byakuya's killer by any means possible, because if we don't... We'll all, we will all die here. Oh my god. Trial suspended. Wait, suspended? be jamming! Stop! It's like painful jamming. I don't want to be jamming. Stop! What's happening? Okay, here's a question for you. What's this? To those of you who figured out who it is, how about you try out the Guess the Killer Challenge? Whoever fails to guess the right killer will have their save data... No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> if you... Excuse me? If you guess right, I'll reward you with ten billion dollars! Ten billion? Of course, for those of you who don't know who the killer is, you can just continue on! Now well then, what are you gonna do? Wait, I can't make a joke? A button, continue on! Oh, guess the killer tra- I don't even have that button! A circle? Circle doesn't exist! Wait, that doesn't exist, mate. Bro, 
miss it. I don't have a circle. <laughs> I wanted to guess Teru, but if they delete my save file, I can't make a joke. This just got real serious. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh God. I fucking hate this game. I'm quitting. I'm fucking out, dude. Jesus Christ. Ah! There's no way you'd be able to guess who the killer is. It's Teru. <laughs> and of course, there's no $10 billion either. You're so evil. Okay. Hi, Mona Me! And my heart is throbbing like crazy right now. The group leader, Byakuya, got killed. And his killer is among this group of students? Bro, I don't know anymore. Uh, my mind is so fucked up. Nope, I'm not gonna believe it. I'll never believe it. I'm getting chocolate. I in everyone. So do your best. And don't forget to save regularly. What? Well, what now? If the knife isn't the murder weapon, there's no definitive proof that I'm the killer. Sh shut up! We'll be the judge of that. You say you were shoved away, but you can't actually prove it, right? That's right. Even if a different weapon was used, it does not mean Nagito has been cleared of suspicion. But, but there's another reason why I don't think Nagito is the killer. There's still more? Based on what we've discussed, Yakuya was killed under the table, right? Is there something wrong with that? Well, even if that's true, I feel Nagito looks, you know, clean. Nobody's ever complimented me on oh my, my appearance God. before. Not even my own mother. No, Bruh! I'm not talking about your looks. I'm gonna need, okay, I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna be real. I, I literally, oh, this is timed, whatever. I literally need Nagito to stop talking for like a good while because like my mind is so fucked right now that I can't handle any of his dialogue anymore. Like, I'm, bro, I'm just so fucking done. Like, I don't understand anything that's happening. My brain just hurts. Like, I just want him to stop talking. God, never thought I'd say that. Okay, I got 33 seconds. Um, why does Mikan think Na Nagito looks clean? He doesn't have any blood. Jesus Christ. Are you trying to say something like, why didn't Nagito have oh, blood God, stains I on him? I cannot. My brain. Is his definition of hope? Like, a giving hope to people to murder others? Like, that's what my question is. Like, is he is he setting up somebody else to murder with the hope that they will achieve it successfully? But like, I don't, I truly do not understand the motive, the, he's so confusing. I, I, that's why I'm convinced that he's not human. Like, what? What kind of motivation do you have? I don't understand. Like, uh, you want people to die? Like, I don't. Are you giving people hope in death? Like, I don't. I don't. I don't understand the message. I don't understand <laughs> what's happening. I just. I just wanted to stop talking because I just can't handle this guy. I'm just kind of mind fucked right now. And I'm like freaking the fuck out. I don't I don't know what to yes. think. <laughs> That's it. Truly. Truly. Because under the table, there was a lot of blood splattered everywhere, right? There were even blood stains 
on the inside of the tablecloth. If he stabbed Byakuya to death, it's strange he did not get splattered with an appropriate amount of blood. I'm like, I'm fucking losing my mind. I didn't get any blood on me. That is weird. Bro, you're not human. Like You just used something to block the blood, didn't you? Something that might have been Stop used talking. to block the blood splatter. What do you think it could have been? Please stop. Hmm. I guess we did see something I could have used. How in the course of Isn't like 30 right, minutes Hajime? have we gone from me wanting this guy to talk more and I wanted to get to know his character more to now I just don't want to know anything anymore because I'm like so fucking terrified and confused. Like the mix of feelings I've had in the past 30 minutes the flip-flop of my emotions. Like, I literally am so overwhelmed with this guy in a matter of, like, literally 30 minutes. How does- how does someone do a 180 that fast? I mean, he's already been sus for a while, but, like, goddamn, dude. Oh, there's one thing he could have used to block the blood splatter. I'm so fucking- oh, the tablecloth. Ugh, fuck it. Where's the tablecloth? Oh, there, there. Jesus Christ. I can prove it with this! You're talking about the bloodstained tablecloth we found in the storage room, right? Oh. If there are bloodstains on it, that settles it. Nagito used the tablecloth to block the blood splatter. But that was found in the storage room, right? Are you suggesting he hid it there after the murder? You mean after the lights came back on? What would he have done if we'd seen him? That's true. The tablecloth was pretty big. So even if you tried to hide it and take it with you... Wearing a tablecloth, going under the table, getting a knife in a blackout, and stabbing someone. It's not just impossible for someone like me. Wouldn't it also be impossible for you guys, too? Yeah, but if you're not human, that kind of defeats all then arguments. What does it mean? Maybe the killer didn't necessarily stab Yakuya under the table. He's like... No, there's no mistake that the uh, murder no. occurred okay, under okay. that Stop, table. stop, stop, stop. Okay, let's go back to my game theory. If we're in a game, then maybe... Yeah, maybe Byakuya is just not... Not Byakuya. God, he's fucking dead. Ah, fuck! I hate that! Uh, if Nagito is... If we're in a video game, maybe Nagito is like the, the game master. So... Uh, never mind. That theory fucking sucks. Even the inside of the tablecloth was bloody, so there's no denying Yakuya was killed there. I refuse to have a game destroy me with my theories. I refuse. I will fight. I will come up with good theories, and I will fucking... Mm. You cannot stop me! I don't understand at all! The place where Byakuya got stabbed and where the killer did the stabbing are different. I just... Look like you're on to something. Shut up! Really? I feel like I'm on to something, but it's still not clear what that is. Under the table, but not under the table. If it's somehow possible, it's the only way that makes sense. Moving forward, we should put aside all unnecessary preconceptions and just choose the answer. I think. Now you're a gamer. Oh, okay, in scenes where you have to figure out important words, improved Hang's Gambit. Okay, thank you. This better be improved. Hangman's Gambit sucked ass in the last game. You better improve that shit. Line up the right letters in order, to, in order so it reveals a keyword related to... Okay. Little puzzle game. The various letters will be flying across the screen in all directions. There are two rules. Two different letters clash, you'll take damage. If two of the same letters clash, they will fuse. Oh god, wait, this sounds like shit. You must make two of the same letters clash while you try not to let two different letters clash. Oh Jesus. 
You've been giving a technique to clash, catch and release. When you move the rectangle with the left stick, I'm going to comprehend the things this time. Okay, when you move the rectangle with the left stick and press the A button while it's on the top of the letter, you can snatch the letter like a vacuum. That is what it means to catch the letter. Okay. You can only catch one letter at a time. When you press the A button while you have the letter caught, you can shoot it where your cursor is aiming. And you release. Okay. So you can make letters. Okay. Make sure you hit the same letters so you confuse them. The fused letters will freeze and get bigger. By pressing the A button, you can blow it up and erase it from the field. This is called firing the letters. Catch and release with the A button, and after you fuse them, fire with the A button. That's a whole lot of A buttons. You're fucking right it is. If you just erase the letters, you won't be able to clear the game. Ultimately, the main goal of improved Hangman's Gambit is completing the keyword. Display the question with the Y button and figure out what keyword will answer the question after lining up the keyword. Instead of putting pressing the A button to fire that letter, press the X button. Okay. The sent letter is correct. It will fit in the keyword list. Uh-oh. Also, if you leave the fuse letter alone for a while- okay. In that case, it will still damage you, so please be careful. It took- I took so long to explain it, but do you understand- No, I fucking don't. This sounds really stupid. The place Byakuya got stabbed and the place where the killer did the stabbing aren't the same. Using those words as a clue, I should put aside my preconceptions and try to think about it. Something, something is coming to me. Just a little bit more. I have a feeling I can see something. Um, Pinky, thank you so much for giving a sub out to the community. And uh, last nerve, thank you so much for the five month resub. I appreciate it. Don't let the. So I click it and then I make it bigger. Like that. And I do it again and I just make them, make them click like that. Oh, I see. Oh! 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 Wait, I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to move it, but I forgot I already had one in stock. Wait, so I do that, and then I go- This is dumb. Oh my god. Improved. Honey, this is so much worse. Who thought that this was a good idea? I didn't want to do that. Oh my god. What is- I, I, I get it that you have to do it in order, but like, Jesus Christ. Really? This is your solution? No, don't clash! Fuck! Jesus Christ. I didn't- Who thought this was fun? Who thought this was a good idea? Who thought this was a fucking good idea? That is so many U's. What the fucking shit? Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. Don't fucking clash, I swear to fucking god. No, the answer is no. This is not a good idea. What the ass? What the ass and the ass, dude. I'm just pressing random letters because I don't care. What the hell? I don't even know what the word is. I'm just making them all go in. N? Okay, it's not D, it's not N. Oh, under the table. Oh my god, is it really under the fucking table? Don't run into each other. 
Okay, this is significantly worse. Don't run into each other. I will fuck it. I don't know what I'll do. Oh, god damn it. I am going to kill these devs. Holy shit. Under the floor. Um, okay, uh, uh, fucking hell, fucking hell, that's not what I wanted to do, but sure. Um, at least I have a lot of time. Uh, H? Anybody got an H? Okay. Oh god, don't destroy my H, I need that. Under the floor. Are they gonna clash? I need the F. Please don't go anywhere. I also need this. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Oh, jeez. I, uh, I don't need the T anymore, actually. You can fuck off. I need an E. Hello? Anyway, can I buy an E? Can I buy a- can I buy a vowel? Oh, it's up there! I can't- I can't use it because it's not big enough- NO, MY E! not press the wrong fucking button jesus christ just fuck off okay well this is significantly worse than the last game shit improved hangman's gambit my ass Press the wrong button again. Floor, floor. I just want to buy a fucking R. I pressed the wrong button. I pressed the wrong button. I pressed A instead of X. Disappear. Nope. I got it! The killer must have stabbed Byakuya from under the floorboards. Uh, under the floorboards? Yeah, you know, somebody's under there and they go just like, poke, poke, poke. And hope. Hope? No. His name is Nagito. Nagito. Just like, sets it up so it happens. The floorboards in the old building are full of gaps. And there was no carpet laid out under the table. If they stuck the weapon through one of the gaps, they could have stabbed Yakuya to death. If so, that means the killer was able to get under the floorboards. Where? Wow. No, my name is Hope. Your name is... It, it, yeah, sure. I don't know that yet, but I have a feeling there's someone here who does know. That's right, if I remember correctly, one person here should know how to get under the floorboards. It's Teru. Because he did it. You're the only one! Hey Gundam, you dropped your earring in the dining hall, right? Are you referring to the Hellhound earring? <laughs> the Hellhound earring? About that earring. I said, are you referring to the Hellhound Earring? You gotta say the full thing, Hajime! About that Hellhound Earring. There you, you go. dropped it beneath the floorboard, right? I have found it, truly. That is the Hellhound Earring. I don't need a flashback, thank you. <laughs> Just a bit longer, and I would have reduced everything, including that old building, to ashes. 
However, it's just as the old legend said. The Hellhound Earring has returned to its owner, to me! Yeah! Is it safe to say that that earring is the one hanging from your right ear? Huh? Gundam wasn't wearing an earring during the investigation. And if he had it on by the time... And that means Gundam was able to retrieve his earring from beneath the floorboards during the investigation. So, Gundam knows how to get under the floorboards. <laughs> it's understandable. After all, you fools only view the world through eyes of glass. But I am different. With the power of my four dark devas of destruction, it is of no concern. <laughs> True, this is the evil fourth eye. Oh. Before the might of the evil fourth eye, all visual chaos is rendered asunder. What should I do? I'm embarrassed just listening to him. I'm embarrassed listening to you talk, too. It's amazing. Oh! Man up and speak more clearly! Fine. I shall tell you all. The answer was in the storage room. One of my four dark devas of destruction, Mirage Golden Hawk, Jumpy, has seen beyond the chaos. A secret passage of doom leading to the underground lurks beneath a large assortment of random boxes. After securing a lighter from the supermarket, I threw caution to the wind and ventured below the floorboard. And as a result of that, that coffee. battle, I just realized I was able to recover the hellhound earring with my own two hands. That is a fuck ton of boxes of coffee. <laughs> Tremble with fear, fools! Behold my power! There he goes, blabbing about power and crap. You're ridiculous. You're just a breeder, you know. <laughs> anyway, it sounds like you can go under the floorboards from the storage room. Then that has to be how the killer did it. If the space beneath the floor is empty... It's not that far to move from the storage room to the dining hall. I see. If they pass through the storage room, I understand why the tablecloth was put there. The killer lurked under the floorboards during the party, and from there... Stab! 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 Good job, Ibuki. Huh. Are you sure? You don't like Stab! Stab! Stab? Should it sound more fleshy, like... <laughs> no, I'm not talking about your sound effects. You're saying they snuck under the floorboards, but that means they would have had to leave the party. So, was there anyone who was able to do that? Then whoever wasn't at the party is the killer. They must be the one who was waiting under the floorboard. Who wasn't at the party again? I didn't participate, but I was guarding the entrance, remember? Monomi over there can be my witness. Yes! This Monami over here is your witness! I believe there's no need to discuss this matter further. But I was unable to leave the bathroom. I was in the kitchen for a long time, but I frequently went to the dining hall to deliver my dishes. Um, the only person who wasn't at the party... Judging from the photo I took before the blackout... Obviously has to be him. <laughs> Yay! It's decided! What, what the fuck are you saying? I'm not the killer! Oh, really? What happened to the tough guy who was saying stuff like, I can do it? Don't mess with me! I'll fucking kill you! He's a... I, I'm convinced he's like a sweet baby that just puts on this front every time he talks. Because he has to. See? You're making threats again. Yep, yep, that's right. Things are starting to get exciting. Good news, you're allowed to use a silencer. Oh, good news, something I will never use.
Chiaki's account. That's what we're gonna be using here. During the party, the killer was lurking under the floor like a cockroach. And we could have stared at panties all day. Good thing no one cares. Without going to the storage room in the dark. Is that true, Fuyuhiko? Don't act like I'm the fucking killer! But when the party started... Nobody saw you, you know? That means you have no alibi! No, that's wrong! No, Fuyuhiko definitely has an alibi. Isn't that right, Chiaki? Um... Oh, you're right. I saw Fuyuhiko after the party started. You should have said that earlier, dumbass. It's still your fault. Like, why were you... Ch Maybe there really is a secret passage to go under the floorboards from outside. What'd you say, motherfucker? <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> wow, he got chewed out, but he looks super happy. Regardless, Awkward. it's impossible to go under the floorboards from outside. Chiaki and I already confirmed that. Then someone definitely went under the floorboards through the storage room during the... During the party. Well, if someone disappeared during the blackout, no one would have noticed. But walking down that dark hallway to the storage room is like trying to make eggs benedict with any eggs. You're right. I couldn't even see the office in that darkness. And that room was much closer. But is it really? It might be better if we examine that possibility a little bit more. It was super dark, you know? There's no way you'd be able to find your way to the storage room. Can't stop thinking about it. I feel like there's something I overlooked for clarity's sake once again. Here's Getting close to the final stage. Can you not talk? The blackened or the spotless? Which is superior? I think it's time to settle this. Uh... Ooh, this might be a doozy. It was really dark during the blackout. Moving to the storage room like that. It's like making a seafood bowl without fish. Is it really not possible? What if they used a string like the cord? Maybe there was another pair of night vision goggles? What a pain. I'm gonna go with my gut. What if they used a light? The hallway was really dark during the blackout. Moving to the storage room like that. It's like making a seafood bowl without fish. Is it really not possible? Uh, give me a second. The Duralumin case, what do they describe it as? A lot of security equipment and had a hard plastic case as well. Like the key to the other Duralumin cases inside here too. I was thinking like maybe there was a flashlight also in the Duralumin case, but we looked inside of it. I don't remember what we saw. Uh... What if they used a string like the cord? And also the equipment. Maybe there was another was... pair of night vision goggles? The equipment list didn't have anything that would provide a light. Iron plate for barbecue and a portable stove for cooking hot spots. Portable. Huh. I'll go with it. What if they used a light? I agree with that. Teru, 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 Teru. The killer had a light with him. Oh, I was right? 
But where could they have found a light? There was one nearby for sure. See? It's written on the kitchen's equipment list. It's the portable stove. Portable stove? The portable stove isn't powered by electricity, and it's also small enough to carry around. So, the killer used the portable stove to terror, make the power to the terror, stove. Terror, 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 terror. I never considered the portable stove. But there's a hole in your argument. Why are you still talking? A hole. What kind of hole? Oh my god. Oh, I wasn't making- Repeating yourself just makes it even more- Now then, Hajime. Will you battle against me? Oh god, me? against you! No, that's wrong! Wait, what are you doing? Oh, Will shit. Will you be able to break through my argument? Oh god, I don't know, dude. You fucked me up real hard. My brain can't comprehend anything you say anymore. Sounds like he's enjoying a game or something. Yeah, because we're in a video game. I'm convinced. Okay. Did you forget what Kazuichi said earlier? He said the hall was too dark to see the office. The light from the stove that you mentioned. It contradicts his testimony. Or are you intentionally doubting his testimony? I don't doubt what Kazuichi said. What are you trying to say? The reason Kazuichi couldn't see the office was because the hallway was dark, right? So if a light was shining in such a dark hallway, wouldn't Kazuichi have seen it? Shit. After all, he was walking near the hallway, right? Oh shit, okay, that's good. Uh, uh, that's hard to comprehend really fast. It's true that any light source in the dark hallway would have stood out. So if the killer did have a light, the reason Kazuichi wasn't able to see it the was- The reason Kazuichi couldn't shit. see the office was because the hallway was dark, right? So if a light oh, I need to pay attention. Dark hallway. Ah, fuck, 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 fuck. Did I was it? trying to figure out what to use for the truth blade. Did you forget what Kazuichi said earlier? Fuck he you, said the hall fuck was too dark you. To see the I'll use this opportunity. The I don't know what to present. It contradicts his testimony. Or are you intentionally doubting his I'm gonna testimony? say the fire door. Maybe he went in the fire door by accident. I don't know. I don't oh, doubt what Kazuichi said. What are you trying to say? The reason Kazuichi couldn't was because the hallway was dark, right? So if a light was shining in such a dark hallway, wouldn't Kazuichi have seen it? No, that's not it. Allow me to cut through those words! That can't be it. What? Nagito, did you forget? Or are you just pretending you forgot? Huh? What are you talking about? There should have been a wall that blocked light. I'm talking about the fire door in the hallway. What? If you close it, it would form a perfect wall in the hallway. Oh, that's what they're going? Okay. Plus, the hallway rounds a corner just beyond the fire door. So even if there was a small gap in the door, as long as they passed the corner, the light still wouldn't peek out. I see. I actually noticed the fire door. Just as expected of the ultimate... Oh, you still don't remember your talent, Okay, do you? really? Stop fucking with my brain. Not now. now. Who cares about that right now? Yeah, like, let's move on. Nagito, what are you plotting? For someone who insists he's not the killer, you are quite nosy. You sound so scary. If you're that angry, why don't you take a deep breath? You sure like to piss us off. How about I shut your fucking mouth for you? Hey! It's okay if you guys fight, but I won't allow a burly brawl that might offend people. More importantly, can you hurry up and decide who's the blackened already? Time runs out when I get bored. Fine, I get it. You're telling me to pass the torch, right? Pass the torch? We're going to ask the real killer, not an imposter like me, to show themselves. 
You're obviously the killer, right? If you think I am, I really don't mind. Yeah, that's fucked up! Whatever conclusion you ultimates arrive at, I will accept it. No matter what it is. You're telling me to call out the real killer, even though I really don't want to condemn that person, but there's no other way, right? It's terror. The person who used the hallway's fire door as a cover and used the portable stove to move in the dark and snuck under the floorboards to stab Yakia to death using the glowing paint as a mark. So the only killer I can think of... Get him out of here! We're... Oh, Jesus Christ. You're the only one! Thank... God. Teru Teru, could it be you? I hope everybody is celebrating. I hope. Huh? What? What are you talking about? Um, Captain Kathy, thank you so much for the prime. I appreciate it. Teru Teru's the killer? Get him out true? of here! What are you talking about? There's no way! Kill him! Make it slow! Of course, that's simply my assumption. So if you have an objection, please speak free. Wait, I was like, okay, I'll be honest. Like, I got I got it was Teru from before. But like, at the very beginning when I accused Teru of being the murderer, it was a meme. It, I was memeing at the beginning. That was not a legitimate guess until halfway through this trial. <laughs> uh, objection or not, why am I being treated like the killer? Because the portable stove used in the murder came from the kitchen. That's it? That's the only reason you're treating me like a killer? This is your cruel, cruel, too cruel. Uh, Rizet, uh, ZD, thank you so much for the three months. I appreciate it. Uh, but I'm that also convinced that like Nagito so set it up too, like set up the failure, which is weird. I don't know. Well, the ultimate cook to get so upset. Call me shit. If you fall to aspersions like this. Who will be there to support the future of the culinary arts? Stop talking. The, the future of the culinary arts? That's right. For the future of the culinary arts, you must face this and fight it fair and square. You, you're right. Yeah, that's totally right. So what's an aspersion anyway? Did you know asbestos is yummy too? You should try some later. Girl! Nagito, why are you interfering? Let's assume that the killer used a light. And that they used the fire door to mask that light. Oh my god, Nagito. I'm convinced it's Teru. Literally, stop. And that they moved to the storage room and snuck under the floorboards. Then what? It's dark under the floorboards too. So how would they be able to stab Byakuya? You're not gonna say they shined the light on Byakuya, right? The plan would have been ruined if he noticed. You're literally under the floors with a tablecloth covering the light. That's right. What do you think about that? That's... There's no way you can answer, right? What are you doing? Personally, haven't investigated what's beneath the floorboards. What? Are you doing? If that's the case, then Gundam should know. He actually went under the floorboard. No. Fortunately, there was nothing related to the incident. Please under the cease! The it's terrible. The only thing I found was a strange liquid shining in the darkness, near where Biakuya's blood was dripping. What? A shining liquid in the dark? That sounds super important. If there was a shining mark like that, they would have been able to move to it in the dark, right? doing so, it might have been possible for them to use that mark to target the victim. The victim was targeted by a mark. What was the mark? <laughs> Fucking... <laughs> the embarrassing pose. I can prove it with this. The mark you're talking about is the glowing paint that was applied to the knife, right? Ah, by using the glowing paint as a target, 
They were able to judge where to stab, even in the dark. I see. The killer didn't target an actual person. They just struck the moment the glowing paint moved. That would be the moment someone grabbed a hold of the knife. So, the killer used the mark that I prepared for finding the knife as a mark for stabbing. I see. That's why Byakuya got killed when he took the knife. But if they were able to do that, wouldn't that mean the killer knew about Nagito's plan all along? Well, Teru Teru! Seriously, I don't know anything. Really, I don't know anything at all. Then can I ask everyone a question instead? No, please don't. You again? Just now, now. We should get... If Teru Teru is the killer, that would mean he went to the storage room during the blackout. And just what did Ibuki hear during the blackout? Yeah, but if he talks from under the floorboards, like, you would still hear his voice. What the hell? I did think about this that, but, like, technically... Turn the damn lights on! I can can't talk eat through. like this, you know! You guys? Where are you? How do we know he was in the dining hall? Doesn't that prove Teru Teru was in the dining hall during the blackout? That's right! That's exactly it! But Teru Teru was in the kitchen the moment the blackout occurred, right? So, why was he in the dining hall? Because he wasn't. He was underneath I the dining hall. the blackout was only in the kitchen. So I panicked and ran out of there. Of course, the hallway was dark too. But somehow, I managed to move along the wall toward everyone's voices. Oh. Well... It's not that far to move along the wall from the kitchen to the dining hall. That sounds fishy. If I remember correctly, you can tell when a person is lying by making their steps. So, if you want. No way! But I heard Teru Teru's voice in the dining hall! If That's right! Teru Teru was in the dining hall, not the storage room. Which means he's not the killer. No, that's not it. Why? Why do you want to keep falsely accusing me? It's not like I want to blame you. I want to blame you. Hajime, shut up. You want to blame him. You should be Everybody so does. proud of yourself, Hajime. You'd be fucked up You're if you didn't. You're progressing toward the hope you believe in. Now, Hajime, show me more of your hope. Will that be enough to crush Teru Teru's hope? Wow. You are interesting. The gaps in the floorboard. Let me ask you again. Did you go to the storage room during the blackout? There's no way I went to the storage room. I was somewhere totally different. I definitely heard Teru Teru's voice. It's handsome, unlike his face. Ha! Ah, yes! Maybe it was recording or something? Nope, definitely a live voice. Right, as long as I have her testimony. The fact that I was in the dining hall... Shut up. I'll shoot through that contradiction. Yep, bye, bitch. Just because we heard Teru Teru's voice in the dining... Huh? Why? Remember the floor in the dining hall? It was full of... So even if you shouted from under the floor... It's... But, 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 but... I see. So he brazenly shouted from under the floor to make us think he was in the dining hall. Is that true, Teru Teru? <laughs> Hold on a second. Can you explain this, Teru Teru? I told you to wait a second, ain't I? <laughs> what are y'all even saying anymore? I'm telling you I was in that there dining hall during the blackout. Well, that changed. Where are you from again? Where are you from? Born in West Asabu and raised in South Ayuyama. Hey, you guys! This guy's a major lie. If Teru Teru was in the dining hall during the blackout, he should have been there after the power returned, right? Quack. Well, I believe so. There's no way he could have gone back and forth in that dark hallway. Huh? Was Teru Teru actually there during that time? I, I sure was! I was there the whole damn time! Something like this shouldn't be decided by gut instinct. 
people's lives are at stake. Damn right! You guys should have been deciding this on the spot with your hazy memories! His accent is getting even worse! He's definitely lying! However, I am not sure. I believe it's fine, that he don't was think there, about it. And I believe that he was not there. No! Oh, is there any way we Why don't we consult his memories? Gosh, yeah, don't be saying things like that don't make no sense. Can you even prove I wasn't in the data hall? I probably can. Oh, you again! Uh, whether or not Terra Terra was in the dining hall during the blackout in order to know for sure. Just need to throw that question at him. Oh, the embarrassing pose. Oh god, no, I don't want to. I can prove it with this. He would have if you're yeah, claiming okay. that you were in the dining hall when the power came back. Then you should know how Mithran was positioned at the time. Whoa, what? No! no, this is a very important question. Uh. Well, Terry Town, if you were really in the dining hall at that time, you should know the answer to that. Huh? huh? It was a pretty we don't need to see it again. Poor hey! Mekong. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, how about it? You can't answer, Terry Terry? Um. Uh, There's no way it would slip from your mind. Uh, uh, not... hmm. I guess you might have to give up now. He counted on Nagito. So, yeah, give what's up. going on there? What do you mean, give up? Teru Teru. I'm disappointed too, you know. It's lonely watching someone I admire reach the limits of their hope. It kind of feels like a broken dream. Okay, one. If you would if you really admire Teru Teru, you are dead to me. Like you are absolutely dead to me. Nagito, what are you doing? Why are you messing with the killer like that? Oh, hold on a sec. Don't go moving this along on your own like I really am the killer. Huh? But it's already decided, right? Now the mother weapon hadn't been cleared up yet, Chef! It's no use. I can't understand him anymore. It appears he's saying the murder weapon hasn't been cleared up yet. You understand him? But it's such a sad defense. This is too cruel. Oh, you calling me the killer? Then where's the weapon? Come on, Manumi. Enough with the whimpering and translate. Um, he said if you're calling me the killer, then where's the weapon? The weapon, huh? It's not the knife, right? Judging from Kaki's wounds, it was a thin edged tool that's roughly five millimeters in depth. Also, if they stab from under the floorboards, the after all this, who cares about the weapon? Not good enough! Not good enough at all! He said, not good enough. Fine, I got it. Let's try thinking about what the weapon was. Wanna do it? Wanna do it? Um, he said. Try to get... What a confusing accent! We need to focus and think about this. Thin edge tool. Okay, yeah. Uh... Equipment list. Oh, no? We have to actually iron skewer. Okay. Whoa, here we go! Honestly, I would rather they just give me a fucking keyboard and I just type it in. I would much rather that. Oh shit, I, uh, oh crap. God, uh.
important K? Can I get a K? Skewer, hello. I would like to buy a K anywhere. Am I spelling it wrong? Skewer, skewer. I need a K, right? Like, Jesus. I hate this minigame. I literally hate this. Ugh. God, that Got is it. such a slog. Ugh. I'm gonna dread this every time it comes up. That's it. The weapon must be the iron skewer. Huh? The iron skewer? Before the party. So that missing irons? An iron skewer would match up with the wounds perfect. Hey, Teru Teru. Ah, ah, Avril Lavigne! I love Avril Lavigne. Avril Lavigne? I fucking love her. I'm going to her concert, actually. Huh? Did he really just say that? He's just saying random shit to fuck with us. You probably dumped it somewhere on the island, didn't you? This school trip has a no littering rule. If he had violated it, the island sirens would be ringing non-stop. Island sirens? Just for littering? Jesus, that's a little bit... Wow. Also, I was on guard duty. Who? And I never once saw... Ryder, you uncultured ever. swine? Bruh. I literally am calling you an uncultured swine. Not knowing Avril Lavigne, like, I will personally ban you. Which means, we obviously hid it somewhere in the old building. It's probably the kitchen again, right? Teru Teru, just man up and be straight with us. Oh. Man up, this, this, he's barely a man. I consider him a worm, actually. Soul, what? Probably pain you to condemn your classmate. No, it doesn't. <laughs> this game thinks I'll be in pain for condemning my classmate. Ah! You're funny. I don't give a fuck. You must argue against your opponent and destroy their soul shields. High speed dispute battle where you beat down a panicked opponent is excuses and nonsense. That's the bullet time. Uh, sorry, panic talk action. PTA, oh God. During PTA, you must destroy all of your opponent's soul shields so we can deliver to the final strike. Oh, the tempo thing. Oh, no. We gotta do this. They're only doing the A button for now, I think. Four words uh, will be displayed on the screen on the top, bottom, left, and right sides of the screen. Each of those four words corresponds to A, B, X, Y. Okay. Press the button in the right order. You will be able to compose the words of your final strike. Okay. That's new. Okay. Oh. What the hell are you even saying, you do a cut He said, um... Oh, what the hell are you even saying, you stupid cunt? I guess. We had no choice but to somehow find out. Hiding it in the kitchen would be the easiest way to slip it, a slip by it, but Bayaki and I checked the kitchen pretty thoroughly before the party started, which means was the weapon already hidden somewhere we couldn't find it? Think I'm carefully. I'm a dink! He said, I'm a hot and dink! I'm a hot and dink! Panic talk action. Here we go. Shut up! That's impossible! Nonsense! Harris Hilton. Why am I missing so much? I'm literally pressing on the B. Unforgivable! I don't know, I don't know, I don't know! Harris Hilton! Harris Hilton. That's your argument? If Shut I'm not up. supposed to press on B with the music... 
That's impossible. I hate this sense. <laughs> Unforgivable. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Paris Hilton. Paris Hilton. Ah! Unforgivable. I'm gonna say it, Avril Lavigne's better. Where would the weapon be? Bone on the meat. You really put it on the fucking Shut bone? Up! Wait. That's I impossible. had to press them in the right order. Nonsense! Bro, are you fucking serious? Meat on the bone. Unforgivable! I said it backwards. It's meat on the bone. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Paris I'm Hilton. so bad at this! Where would the weapon be? Meat on the bone. This is the end! Meat on the bone! That's fucked up, bro. Could the iron skewer have been hidden inside the piece of meat on the bone? <laughs> what are you saying? There's no way I'd hide anything. In a place like that? Th that's clearly Rider is impossible. banned. Wait, what did I he? Mean, that's inside the food. Are you trolling? Wait, I have to pause this. That's what Bianca and I thought. Are that's you trolling? You like you know. don't actually? Like, you do know Paris Hilton. You, I know you're trolling. Rider. Even if you're not American. These two people, like Avril Lavigne and Paris Hilton, are worldwide celebrities. What? Oh. But in fact, the only place you could hide the weapon was inside the food that couldn't be inspected. Out of all the dishes you prepared, the only one that can hide a weapon as long as an As long as you've heard the name. Okay, you've heard the name, that's good. The meat on the bone. What now? I'm using my right to remain silent. There's no way that exists here. We need to confirm this now! Did he really just... So if we eat that tasty-looking piece of meat and find the iron... All right. One minute. Just give me one minute. Oh my god, a car. I'll eat the whole thing! Wait, uh, hold on a second. Time out, time out. What are you doing? Hurry up and bring it over. Uh, about that. Huh? Monokuma already is going. I'm right here. I'm already eating it. Oh, a bear that eats me! Uh, wait, now that I think about it, that's pretty normal. Oh, no. oh, what is this? <laughs> so yummy! Damn it! That's my meat! That's a Connie! I've never eaten anything like it in my entire life! This, this is bad! My, my! There's something inside the meat! Look what came out! <laughs> Isn't that... Is that... An iron skewer? Check it out. The handle looks like it's made of bone. The sword of destruction! <laughs> Encased in bone and sheathed in meat! It brought catastrophe unto Byakuya! The sword of destruction! <laughs> As expected of Teru Teru. Such a fantastic <laughs> weapon from the ultimate chef. I love him. <laughs> You're wrong! I'm not I killer. love him so much. I'm not the kind of person who would kill someone. I got it. You all set me up. You guys set you me, set up, me so up. You can blame this on me. Jeez, what a disappointment. Such an unseemly defense for an ultimate like you. Can you really call that hope? Hey, Nagito. I'm sorry, but can you just be quiet? I am with her, man. Just be quiet. You are so confusing. Chiaki is ultimate waifu. Thank you. You don't need to translate anymore. Somehow I can tell what he's trying to say. Never, 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 never
Let's just deal with Nagito later. More importantly, we should first... I guess we need to settle this. To do that, we need to go over the entire incident from beginning to end. And Why do we need to do this? We've... <sighs> okay. That's right. If we don't do that, we can't end this no matter how much time passes. So, we need to do it. One set, uh, use up all the correct panels, correct set, clear the challenge, all right. You recognize the song from Avril? That's fair. Cause sometimes you like listen to a song but you don't know the artist, but you just know it's really popular. That's fine. As long as you like have heard Avril music. Cause I feel like you cannot go, unless you're a Zoomer, unless you're literally a Zoomer in this chat, like most people grew up with Avril or like a song that a song of hers that went super popular. Like you, I feel like no matter where you are in the world, it was impossible not to hear an Avril Lavigne song. You would have to be like in your teens right now, I guess, if you haven't heard Avril. Like major zoomer. For those of you who plays the previous game, you might hesitate at first, but it's basically the same concept. Good. Certain trick. Uh, if you move the rectangle into the gaps in each page, it will display hints at the top of the screen. This type of hint will ask what kind of scene is drawn in that gap. Oh, okay. Hints? I don't need hints. I'm a god gamer. Oh god, these are like super, super pixely. I like the art in the last one. Okay. Poor Biakia. Oh, they actually label these. Oh, probably Akane eating. Oh, I guess. Oh, wait, they tell you off the bat. Uh, okay. Wow. In that case... Do I have to do it? Plus 10 seconds. Oh! The light didn't go off yet at this point. Same scene as the office room and the dining hall. Oh, these hints are weird. So, iron's on, so the person set up all of the things to use. Uh... Borrowing the tablecloth? I mean, this cut- this probably would be after. Yeah. No, wait, the hints are actually making me more confused. Am I missing some panels? Like, is that what's happening? I'm only getting five panels here. Oh, I guess, are we supposed to just use these? There's, there's no more. I'm pressing all the buttons. Okay. I guess, I guess I'm just confused. Okay. Um, portable stove. Oh, hey, that's Akane eating. Poor Byakuya. He grabs the night goggles and then he sees this, a knife glowing in the dark. No? Oh, would it be the other way around? Up here? No? What the fuck? Ah! Ah! Crab please after Teru's gone? Crab please! This is literally just a picture. <laughs> Crab, please, dude. Oh my god! The shroud. Oh my god. It, it, holy crap. Nagito! This is very long. Ah! 
I'm very confused at the whole, um, hold on, let me look at this. Navigate up or, uh, up or put down the truth panel. Navigate page, navigate page, navigate page. Okay. Just seems very weird. Like everyone's chilling. At least we did the iron, right? So we got the portable stove, we got Akane eating, but like Akane eating... Akane keeps eating during the blackout. <laughs> I mean, that's literally right here, so we would not use that. The tablecloth... Let's try to figure out where that would go. Because that would be after. Maybe try putting it unlit. Oh, it's unlit at this point. Why am I more confused? Okay. Planning chant Pog? <laughs> I like how you guys are planning out the chant whenever Terra dies. If we even get there! I hope that his execution is slow and painful. I thought I'd never say that about someone. Wait, this is- can I just drop it? Yeah. There we go. Got one! Look at this little dot. You have the perfect chant on my con. Biakia. Biakia! Come back to me, buddy! Okay, there we go. Stock two. Okay, so that's... We just have to do a little bit at a time. I don't know if I like this, but whatever. Ahem. <clears throat> What is this? Switched on? Oh, the this is the portable stove. So this probably switches it on. Okay. Um, Nekumaru is holding it in. Oh my god. Oh wait, he's put right here, so oh my god, that's actually a battle. Okay, okay, buddy. Is he not? I'm just... For all of, like, the character things to have... Just, okay. So, Nagito, we can actually skip to the one where he's here, I think? No, later. That wouldn't be right. Oh, we already have a picture of Nagito doing that. Okay. Okay. And then the probably the beginning, maybe this? I don't know. Oh my god. I'm finding this a lot harder than the first one. containing potential weapons. Oh, it's literally just this picture, so that means it's not used. Huh, so the Nagito picture is used? Nagito trying to duck under the table. Oh, it's probably here? Because the light, the light goes out here. Oh, wait, no, that can't happen yet, because the uh, at the office room where the blackout occurred. At the off- wait, what? Maybe uh, I'll try it? No. Oh. Because this would be... That would be after. Wait. Oh my god. I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose! Oh! Barely made it. Stock three. Okay, I can't... Oh god. Okay, don't fuck up, Crystal. No pressure! Not that picture. Chiaki is guarding at the entrance. Yeah, probably that one. 
Oh, fuck you. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. The pressure. Okay. Okay. Nobody panic. Um, closing the fire door. And then we also have this set at... Okay. Same scene as the office room and dining hall. The AC. Yes. Okay. If that wasn't it, I was going to be fucking mad, dude. Closing the fire door. This is the Nagito section. Okay. It has to be here. It has to be here. Oh, God. Phew! I don't want to fuck up. We're so close. Okay. We did the beginning. Beginning is done. Beginning is done. Okay. Now we have this. Um... Ooh. Ooh, ah, uh, ooh, ah, uh, ooh, ah. Uh. Okay, I think this has to be here. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, at the office room where the blackout occurred. I think it has to be this. Okay, 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 okay. One more. And then she hears it. Woo! Here's Billy! everything that happened in this case. The one HP Let's clutch, try going yeah. Over the whole incident, beginning with right after the party started. Yaki and I gather in the dining hall at the old building near the hotel. He was extra cautious about a murder occurring that night because of a threatening letter he received. Therefore, he decided to throw a party so he could monitor us. Though one person didn't come, the rest of us assembled at the dining hall, and the party was underway. But at that time, the trap set by a certain someone was already in motion. They plugged three irons into the outlets in the storage room, which nearly kept the power use. Additionally, they prepared something else that would activate at 11.30 p.m. The air conditioners in the office and dining hall. They had already set the timers for this. Thanks to the irons maxing out the power usage, the breaker was tripped when the air conditioners kicked on. <laughs> I can't Once the windows so in the old building were covered, the blackout plunged the dining hall into total darkness. But when that happened, Byakuya took out a specific item that he brought in his You did case. great. Aw, thank you. I'm glad you think so. I didn't, I didn't do too great. I don't think so. <laughs> that item was the night vision goggles. Byakuya was so concerned about a murder occurring that he brought a variety of security equipment with him. Damn, Byakuya. When he put on his night vision goggles, Byakuya witnessed a certain summer making a suspicious move. He saw Nagito guiding himself with the desk lamp's power cord so he could get under the table. That's right. Everything up to that point was all part of Nagito's plan. The murder warning to Byakuya, the source of the blackout, it was all Nagito. While the blackout was happening, someone else, the real killer, began making their move. Look at those cheeks. I know. Byakuya's cheeks that you just want to pinch. I'm going to miss them too. I'm going to miss them Nagito's too, guys. Plan. So they knew a blackout was coming. That's why the killer prepared all the items they would need to commit their crime in the dark beforehand. They needed a light source, which was provided by the portable stove in the kitchen. They needed a weapon, too. This had also been hidden in the kitchen beforehand. <laughs> The long iron skewer used in the churrasco dish. The killer hid that inside that meat with the bone in it. With the weapon and portable stove in hand, the killer stepped out into the hallway. First, they closed the fire door in the hallway so their light source wouldn't peek toward the dining hall. Then, guided by the light, the killer headed toward the storage room and grabbed a specific item. That's right, a tablecloth to block the blood splatter. 
With this, the killer finished their preparations and snuck under the floorboards through the secret passage. They probably turned off the portable cooking stove at that point, or left it near the entrance of the door. The floor in the dining hall is full of gaps, so there's no way they could have safely held a light source. But thanks to the glowing mark they painted earlier, the killer was able to get beneath the table. Under the table, Biakia found the knife that had been hidden there. Poor Biakia. If only he had retreated, he probably wouldn't him. have gotten killed. He had to retrieve that knife. And at that moment, the killer lurking beneath the floorboard stabbed straight up with the iron skewer. The killer had been waiting in the dark for the moment when the glowing paint began to move. Maybe he's not dead. Maybe this is like a body double. I don't like Byakuya After dying. they murdered Byakuya, the killer purposefully shouted from beneath the floorboards to make it seem like they were still in the dining hall. Afterward, they came out from underneath the floorboards and rushed back to the kitchen. And then, after hiding the murder weapon in the kitchen, <laughs> they rejoined the group as if nothing had happened. There's only one person who would have been able to commit this crime. <laughs> Especially if that person is someone who'd think of an unexpected way to hide a weapon inside food. Isn't that right, Teru Teru Hanamura? Get out of here, bitch. No one wants you in this game. That's what happened. How about it? Did I get anything wrong? Th this is a mistake. A mistake, I tell you. I would never, I would never kill anyone. Would never. <laughs> it seems this is the end. <laughs> Oh god, oh god, oh god, all these points. Oh god, phase three, zero points. Oh god, oh god. That's a lot of hundreds, though. Okay, you know, I'll take a B. I'll take a B, I'll take a B. Oh my god, no. <laughs> it looks like your argument has come to a close. Whoops. I lost control of my wild side for a second. Was that it? Well, putting that aside, let's move along to the nerve-wracking voting time. It's not nerve-wracking. Execute then, this please bitch. Please pull the lever in front of you and cast your The world vote. is going to be a happier place, man. Oh, just a reminder, make triple sure you vote for someone. If you don't vote, I'm going to eat you up just like that meat from earlier. <laughs> Why did this happen? Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? <laughs> Let's just kill him. Yay! I've never been happy for a execution in my life. Thank God he didn't live that long in this game. I, I don't think I could have handled it much longer, even skipping all of his lines. So triggering when you are Correct. a <laughs> Yahoo! That's right, this time the black and responsible for killing Byakuya Togami is Teru Teru Hanamura. No, 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 Get no, no, fucked, no. bitch. You serious? Out of all these people, are you seeing a ponce like him as the one who killed Byakuya? Yeah. <laughs> why did you kill him? Yeah, why did you kill Byakuya? He was the best character. You got it wrong. Hey! Hey! I...
When that happened, he... You caught me? W what Hey! <laughs> I'm planning to kill someone, of course. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Just to let you know, it's pointless of you to stop me. If you stop me now, it doesn't matter. I'll never give up. Whether it's tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, or the days beyond that, I'll definitely start killing. Impossible! I see, so that's what you think. Well... That's not it at all. This isn't about my survival. I just wanted the killing to start. What? <laughs> I love everyone here. That's why I want to be of good use to them. I love all the ultimates, and I admire them for being symbols of hope. Amazing! That hope in the name of hope? I love everyone's talents from the bottom of my heart! <laughs> I don't want them to lose against something like killing. I want them to prove to me that hope will never lose, no matter how daunting the despair that they may seem, they, <laughs> they face may seem. I want everyone to prove to me that hope will hope, never hope, lose hope, to hope, despair. No, 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 no. See? Isn't it typical that if you face a strong enemy, you will become even stronger yourself? Which means the stronger the despair you face, the stronger everyone's hope will become, right? I... I want to see that brightness, and in order to see it, I'm gonna- I'm going to become everybody's stepping stone. So yeah, he is egging every- okay. But still, holy shit, you are confusing. I want to make your hopes shine. It's as simple as that. <laughs> I yearn for a powerful hope that can overcome any kind of despair. You're kidding, right? Man. You don't understand. That's fine. I don't really mind. <laughs> I'm just an obsessed fanboy, so it's alright that this love of mine is unrequited. I suppose I can be called the ultimate, ultimate fanatic. No way, no way, no way! <laughs> really? Do you think, really think so? Do you really think that there's something wrong with me? Hey. But isn't that what love is? Nagito, what is the meaning of this? Explain it to me! I don't understand anything about this story at all! See? You see, if you have a favorite boxer, don't you want him to fight against a strong opponent and win? Don't fuck with me! You better not compare us to that! What? Huh? Am I wrong? It's a given that trials are necessary to become strong. And the harsher the trial, the stronger you become, no? <laughs> For mere humans, killings are simply a tragedy, but... For worthy humans, a trial such as this can elevate their status to an even higher level. Amazing! It's amazing to me that someone as untalented as myself can become that trial. There's no point in someone like me surviving. It's far more significant for me to die as everyone's her trial. Great! There's no greater honor than becoming the foundation so that your values may ascend to brave new heights. What's going on? Stop it. Seriously, you're starting to piss me off. What's going on? I don't understand at all. Are you saying that you basically wanted to commit murder for fun? It's not the same as someone killing for fun, but I guess it'd look the same in your eyes. I... I have no intention of surviving and leaving you all to die. Is that why you didn't mind when Terra Terra discovered your plan? That's wrong. Or perhaps that was intentional too. So... Nagito wanted to involve us in the killing. P plus, it'd be better for him if the mystery was more complex. Is that why you blatantly revealed your plan? You expected to pique Terra Terra's curiosity and you look forward to the mystery becoming more complex. Well, you're basically right. It's true. I was looking forward to that. That's why I took the time to tell him about the secret passage I found while I was cleaning. What? That was your doing as well? You're right. I just casually mentioned it. Oh, it's dangerous if you fall, so don't get too close to it. <laughs> and he took it like candy. Like he was like being fed candy like a baby man. Hey, 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 hey! This dude, he's seriously batshit crazy! He's insane! I that's right. That's why I tried to stop him. However... Why? Why did you kill Byakuya instead? Whoa! 
Nope. I don't think that's it. Perhaps... Byakuya was probably trying to protect Nagito. What? What did you say? See? Byakuya said so, didn't he? Don't worry, as long as I'm the leader, I won't let anyone become a victim. I will guide you all. That much I promise. In order to keep that promise? Hmm. As long as he was wearing the night vision goggles, I'm sure he saw someone moving under the floorboards. And that someone was aiming for Nagito. Why? Yokia gave his life to protect Nagito even though he was trying to take the knife? <laughs> Byakuya is amazing. He do be amazing. To keep his promise to protect everyone, he actually threw his own life away. And yet... Such despair. I never expected an ending like this. Such despair. <laughs> we shouldn't let him die in vain. I'm sure everyone will become even stronger by overcoming this despair. No way. You knew Byakuya would protect you. So you set him up to fail? Someone like me. I'm not that good at calculating. Just took some precautionary measures. The results of that were going to be my fun for later. Just kidding. How unexpected. But I never expected it would turn out like this. I never thought I'd be the one to survive. But since it was my life that had been saved, I didn't want to just waste it. So that's why I decided to help Teru Teru. <laughs> because Teru Teru decided to commit his crime. Because he also had strong hope, right? Which means his actions were motivated by hope. If he was willing to go that far, I thought he might truly be the person whose existence I was waiting for. <laughs> I thought he might be the hope that could defeat any type of despair. In order for me to confirm it, I decided to help Teru Teru. What do you mean, confirm? Well... I couldn't really help myself when I also empathized with Teru Teru. After all, he wanted to kill me, but he ended up killing Byaki instead, you know? Uh, if I left him in that confused state, this trial might have been ruined, Isn't right? Isn't that right? In order for our hope to grow, this trial was absolutely necessary. That's why I decided to help him. I told him, I don't care if I die, so you should just focus on escaping this island. Right? Those were my exact words to see to him before the investigation. Isn't that right? Man. In the end, my help just wasn't enough. And this turned out to be a bad ending. <laughs> but you should be proud of yourself. You'll not die in vain. Great. You'll become a splendid sacrifice for everyone else so their hopes can grow and even be more powerful. Impossible. Shut up. Shut up. Stop it already. I'm going to go crazy just listening to you. Hey, hey. Is, he, is it really okay for us to just leave this crazy bastard alone like this? Huh? Isn't it better if we just fucking kill him off? Yeah. -ha! Kill, he said. My school students are so violent these days. But the person who's gonna get killed now isn't Nagito. It's Teru Teru. Good. What's the matter? You didn't forget, right? Because I told you already at the beginning. If the blackened killer loses, a fun punishment awaits them. Wait. No, 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 no. How should I put it in an accident? Okay, whatever. It doesn't matter if it's an accident, self-defense, or intentional. A murder, it's still a murder. If you kill someone, that's murder. Hey. Impossible. That's... Hey. Why, you? Be honest. After learning about Nagito's plan, you saw an opportunity, right? You probably thought nobody would find out if you killed him after messing up his plan, right? That's what you thought, right? How many times are you going to say right? Jesus Christ. There's no way who, a person who has no malice would kill someone like that. <sighs> In truth, you were just desperate to kill Nagito and willing to sacrifice everybody else to survive, right? Just be honest already, at least in the end. That is... Why? If you didn't try to kill Nagito, Byakuya would still be alive. Answer me. Why did you try to commit murder? Answer me. <laughs> I just want to go home. I'm a mama's boy. I had to go home. Mom, oh my god, I was kidding. Okay, I'm going now. 
When I come back, I think we should talk again about opening an Aoyama and... Oh, my. Oh, I'm serious. The Academy guarantees success for its grad... So? I know it's gonna be difficult. Yes, you're right. Then I'll just have to do my best to keep... Mom, you don't have to work so hard. I'll be fine. Moms are strong. I won't lose to some illness. Could you have raised your kid a little bit better? I, That's I my only that. request. Oh. Promised her I'd become a full-fledged cook and save the Hanamura Diner. Oh well. That's why I need to go home! <sighs> hey! Damn it! Wrong! There's no way I can believe it. Yep. That's why I want. It's not that Teru Teru didn't believe it. He believed it more than anybody else here. That's why he kept denying it, because he believed it. He needed to deny it. If oh, I only knew how he felt, something like this would have never happened. <laughs> eh. Fine, fine. So, you wanted the first kill? I'm sorry. I think I'm the one who went crazy. <laughs> as far as motives to kill, to kill are concerned, wanting to see your mom is bull! Ring. So, yahoo! There's no point in basking in the afterglow, so let's hurry up and begin the punishment. You can't. Jeez, get out of my way. Ugh. Well now. Now that little annoying, annoying little sister has been dealt with, let's get back to business. Wait. Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment! Hey! P please! Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment, punishment time! time! Lies! I won't believe this! Mama! Sorry, dude, I have a really hard time feeling bad. Oh my god. Oh god, he's cooking. Oh, he's cooked. Oh god, he's <laughs> actually cooked. They buttered him up, coated him up, and then they threw him in the oil. Oh god. is rushing through me! Damn it! You fucking serious? Blah, 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 blah. Goes great with Mondo butter. Aww. Oh no. Thank 
you, Emerald, for the eight months. I appreciate it. And also, Jubilee, thank you for the hundred bits from before. I appreciate it. How cruel. Why did you do something so cruel? Well, what didn't you learn when you were in elementary school? If you badmouth someone, the teacher writes it in a note and makes whoever you badmouth read it to you in front of the class. No. When that happens, only then do you think about how it feels to be badmouth. The same applies to murder. What are you saying? You were the one who drove in to do it. Oh, so cool. Just so cool. Nice. It can't be helped. Rules are rules, and this is the killing rule after all. What rule? You're the one who's breaking the rules. Mm -hmm. I can't just let that slide. What do you mean? When you mentioned the motive, don't you also... Didn't you also promise something? There's a catch. Ah, we need our memories. Didn't you tell Teru about his mom or his diner? You, we ha He had a right to know. Us too, we all have a right to know. Bastard! <laughs> I did promise to return your memories after the killing began. <laughs> Telling them is kind of... <laughs> I never told you guys that I'd tell you right away. What? Not fair. Of course! I'll keep my promise to return your memories someday. It's still not clear when that someday will actually be. <laughs> I must excuse myself as well. There is something that I need to do. Huh? What the heck? S so cruel! They both ran away? Then... M Monokuma had us wrapped around his finger after all. Stupid! Such despair. An ending like this is just full of despair. Seriously tragic despair. But still, at times like this, <laughs> as the symbols of hope, you guys need to keep doing your best. You. Why are you smiling? Crap! How can you smile in a situation like this, you creep? Nope. Hold on, I'm sad too, you know? Didn't I tell you? From the bottom of my heart, I truly love you all. You ultimates who inspire hope and your splendid talents. There's no way I can be happy when we've lost such a talented individual. Don't fuck with me! Don't go saying creepy shit, I'll fucking kill you! <laughs> Please, kill me anytime. What? <laughs> if you hate me, I don't mind you killing me! I've already prepared myself to become your stepping stone! So if absolute hope can be born from that, then my life is nothing special. How messed up are you? Hey. However, if you're going to kill me, make sure you discuss it with me beforehand, okay? You see, if you do that, then I can cooperate with the killer. Are you seriously intending to help the killer? <laughs> It's really not that big of a deal. If you're students of Hope's Peak Academy, if you're the symbols of hope, who, pos who possess the chosen talents, Great. then it shouldn't matter to you guys at all if I cooperate with the killer, right? Declaring so confidently that you'll side with the killer. Hey, maybe this was his plan all along. Since he's willing to work with the killer, he wants us to think it's better for us not to kill him. I don't mind what you think of me. In actuality, thanks to Byakuya, I'm starting to feel small desire this is to exciting. live. Small desire. Mostly, I just want to watch everyone destroy all the despair that comes for you, one after the other. <laughs> just kidding. Piss me off. Can I punch ya? I just won't be satisfied till I punch ya. Fine, let's stop this already. It's just gonna be a waste of time if we keep dealing with him. What? Even Hajime hates me now? How unfortunate. That stings. I felt you and I were quite similar. Yeah, we're brothers. <gasps> what is that? Isn't that right? You hold a special feeling towards Hope's Peak Academy, just like me. Don't put me in the same category as you. Hey. How can you say that you're not? Monokuma said it himself. We don't know anything about each other's true nature. <laughs> No, if it's true, then our school that our school memories were stolen, it's the same as not knowing our true selves, too. Especially for you, right? What are you guys conversing about? Mons, just feel free to time out people that are being annoying. I don't care. <laughs> 
somehow who, who someone who can't even remember what his talent is. Akane, feel, please feel free to punch him. <laughs> Holy Jesus, Booba. Wait, hold on. Please stop us at once. Nothing will come from fighting like this. There, there is something else that we must do. Huh? Something else? Please listen. We must not argue with each other in a place like this. There is something more important that we must do. Let me ask. Hmm. Do our best. You fiend. Well, we must first leave here and get some rest. And then we shall all work together and do our best. Do our best so we never have to come back here again. Perhaps. That is what I believe that we must do right now. I am sorry. If only I was a better motivational speaker. That really touched my heart. You're totally right. What we need to do right now is do our best. If we do our best, it's definitely going to pay off, right? Yes. That's right. Like... But what do we have to work hard at? <laughs> I do not know, but we must do our best. I don't get you at all. Are you some kind of moron? Well, it's fine if you don't know. What matters is that you hold on to the feeling that you have to do your best. Right? So let's do our best. Let's make sure that killing game like this and never happens again. But... Or killing like this. It's scary, but doing our best is our only option. There's no way I'm doing what Nagito said. I'm gonna do it! I don't know what you're all talking about, but let's do our best for now. Fine. Very well, even if we are not able to change the future. I guess I should at least change my tomorrow. Damn fiend, I won't give up until the very end. I won't die in vain. I'll give my entire existence, my entire power, my entire body and soul and fight to the very end. Yeah, you're right. Let's definitely work together and leave this island. Do our best. We kept using that phrase over and over again. Mods, you look like you're having fun. Even though we knew that they were just cheap, meaningless, empty words. Regardless, we still said it. And we continued to say it over and over again without stopping. Totally, I'm so sorry you guys deal with this. Uh, chat, please be nice to the mods. They work really hard in these streams <laughs> to make them so nice. For the chat experience, please be nicer to the mods. They deserve all the love. <laughs> Thus, the curtain had fallen upon the class trial where Byakuya and Teru, Teru were sacrificed. Afterwards, we left the trial grounds and returned to the mainland of Jabberwock Island. For the first time, for the time being, we decided to go back to our cottages. From a lurker? Aww. Yeah. Bonds need more love. <laughs> they deal with a lot of bullshit. <laughs> After experiencing something like that, there's no way I could fall asleep. I gave up, I got out of bed, and began walking around the hotel grounds for no real reason. After not doing much of anything, I duly looked up to this in the sky. Thank you, chat. Aww. And there, just like before, there it was. The night sky brimming with stars. Stars that looked like they were about to fall into my hands like fluttering snow. As I looked up at such a beautiful night sky, I can go anywhere. That thought crossed my mind for some reason. This sky is connected to anywhere, even to my daily life. That's why I might be able to go home. That's right, I'm definitely going to go home. That's when it happened. As I stared up at, at the night sky, I felt a strange convergence of sensation. And then, while I continued to stare at the night sky, I felt my entire body stiffen with that sensation. Isn't this... Is someone watching me? Yeah, this is like the Truman Show. Except like a video game Truman Show. Nineteen days left, oh Jesus. Oh, Now chat's being all sweet. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for flipping it upside down. I don't know what happened earlier, but thank you for being all nice now. Oh, we got a present! Three stars! 
three star badge. I miss Biakia. He was. Man, Biakia, no! Okay, it kind of like didn't hit. Now that like the chapter's over, I'm like actually kind of sad because Biakia is one of those characters that I love, but primarily because he makes the plot very interesting. And now he's dead, and Nagito makes the plot really interesting. But like, I'm infuriated also. Like, I, I get. I, I get frustrated when I don't understand people and characters, and I just... <sighs> that's taken hope and, like, flipping hope in such a weird... Uh... You're, like, taking the concept of hope and you're turning it into a bad thing, and I'm just... It's so weird. It's not bad. It's it's not bad. I guess it's just like fucked up. It's just it's a weird uh it's a weird way of looking at a hope. I, I I don't I don't quite comprehend where he I, it's it's really hard for me to comprehend where he comes from. I always try to put myself in people's shoes. Always. I like understanding. For a long time, humans have been taught that if you try hard enough, I'm not going to continue from anything. here. Oh shit! Can I like? Uh, but, but yeah, I'm going to stop here. Like, damn, it's just I, I can't put myself in his shoes. I, 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 I'm trying, but like, I don't understand. It's so frustrating. I, at least this is a good stopping point because I truly would like to comprehend oh um i need to like sit on this character over the weekend man it's gonna drive me nuts like i just <sighs> i want to understand you know save did i not just save oh i i don't know how uh, i thought i thought i just did even if we weren't told this directly, I'm pretty sure I just did. You'd know it just by looking at the world around us. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I also don't know how. Um... System, save. Haha. Last one interrupted. Oh, wait. Did it save? Yes. There we go. So if I try to load it, look there it is. Oh shit, I didn't actually. Woo! Alright, there we go. Alright. I'm gonna get off stream. My brain is totally fucked up right now. Let's go raid somebody. And we continue this on Tuesday. And we also start Dark Souls 3 on Monday! <laughs> Woo! I'm excited about that, finally. Starting Dark Souls 3. So, that being said, I hope that you guys have a wonderful weekend. Thank you so much for for being here. I, I I do appreciate it. You guys do make the streams kind of fun, despite all the like the the things that happen. But it's not it's not too too bad. I'm still impressed at the end of the day. The chat's generally being okay. Just keep it up, okay? 